Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hi everybody, Managing Director Scott here and I've got something incredible to bring you. So, myself and Wayne went to India not too long ago now and we found some of the most incredible cuts of gemstones that we've just never seen before. And I thought, myself, I've got to bring them back to you. And it's taken a little bit of time, but join me on Monday for Gems from Jaipur. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Good morning, lovely jewellery makers. How are we all? Are you excited for the new week, the new Monday? And I tell you what, well, I don't know why it's a new Monday. It's not, it's Monday. But we have, well, it is a new Monday, I suppose. I suppose we've got a fantastic, fantastic start. There are some of our favourite gemstones included in today's show. Brand new premier strands, ones that we've never, ever seen before. Also, we are going to be doing some lovely closeout deals. Now, feast your eyes on this beautiful display um, and you'll see some of the wonderful treasures. Now, these massive Baroque ringed shell pearls. They're coming up very soon. In about maybe 10 minutes time, we're gonna do an amazing, amazing deal on them. Um, I th to my knowledge anyway, I think they're the only strand that we've done in your shell pearl, which have that Baroque shape. There's only 80 of those available, so you will need to be quite quick on that. You're also admiring some beautiful, genuine type A jadeite. High goo strands. Well, um, normally we have to buy our high goos individually, don't we? Um, you've got an entire strand of high goos. They're coming up at a closeout deal. I don't believe we've got any new high goo shapes um, uh, on order. I've also got a wonderful showcase. As part of your deal of the day, we have one of my all-time favourite gemstones. It's completely and utterly natural. Um, I'm talking about the beauty that is Chrysoprase. That's the electric green that you see there in the centre. Um, so that's coming up as your dealer day today. Uh, again, I reckon we could count on our little digits how many strands of Chrysoprase we actually have within our entire vault. It is uber rare. Um, very, very, very much desired. I guess no surprise really, particularly with uh, so the Chinese market and its distinct similarities to that of your imperial jadeite so they are coming up again we've got an amazing deal of the day at savings for you at 10 o'clock today we've got last the stock olmec blue jadeite to bring you as well in this hour so you haven't got too long to wait for those we've got stunning kits and i'm not on my own you've got lovely hannah but she's literally just setting up setting up um <laughs> there she is you're making it you're, you're making it jewelry maker aren't you at the moment 
So Hannah's got some absolutely beautiful kits. One of my favorite all-time kits in actual fact, that's the Cleopatra. Um, now it features a koi of pearls. I mean, how amazing is that? A koi of pearls um, and described as the Cleopatra strand. There is only one of those strands ever that we've launched here at Jewelry Maker. Um, and that's because Cleopatra had a very specific way of drilling her pearls. Um, so I'll talk some more about that during that opportunity. So absolutely beautiful. You've got diamonds as well in that kit, by the way. Yeah, absolutely amazing. So it's going to be a completely and utterly jam-packed, beautiful Monday morning show. I hope you're all well. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Tell us what you're up to. Come and say hello. Did you go to the fireworks? Did you stay at home? Um, have you just been making uh, making some lovely more pieces of jewellery that you can send into the Wall of Fame? Just say text in and say hi. So without further ado, shall we get cracking? Shall we? Shall we show off your wonderful creations? It's the Wall of Fame. Starting us off this, norm, uh, this morning is number 396 and it is Norma. Norma, you've been very busy. And I think I recognise a few of those gemstones. Absolutely stunning. Love the addition of the red. And Norma says, hi all at JM. I was recently sorting my handmade jewellery collection and couldn't believe just how many suites of jewellery um, I've made with jadeite and pearls bought from Jewellery Maker over the last couple of years. I know lots of people moan about too much jade on the show, but for me, there's no such thing, obviously. Have a great day and good luck to all in the draw. Um, Norma, you're not alone, darling, honestly. Um, it is our number one most popular gemstone selling. So, And look at the end results. My goodness me, they're absolutely beautiful. Keep those photographs coming in, my darling. You have been busy. We love them. What, look, look can, we, can we just for a second, Norma, Norma, just, just consider the value of what you have created just there. You've got some red jade I, I can see in there. You've got some Buddha carvings in there. See some beautiful, beautiful pearls in there. Absolutely amazing. Just consider how much that table is worth in terms of genuine gemstone value. Amazing. Number 397 is from Melanie. Hello to you, Melanie. Oh, that's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, and Melanie says, hi, everybody at JM. This week, I'm entering a crochet necklace. All components are from JM. It took ages to make uh, threading all the nuggets on and then crocheting. There are seven different gemstones for the chakras, uh, and that's quartz, turquoise, sodalite, tiger's eye, citrine, and garnet. And um, for the life of me, I can't remember the seventh, uh, she says, but I hope you like it. Keep safe. Uh, sorry, keep, I can't talk today, Melanie. Sorry. Keep safe and making waffetiers. Love it. Love it. I like that waffetiers. I'd like to be a waffetier. They sound very valiant, don't they? We're allowed to be waffetiers. No, we're not allowed. We'd have to be honorary waffetiers. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're not allowed. We can't enter into it. <laughs> uh, number 398 is from Marion. Good morning, Marion. Gosh, again, you've been super busy. I think I see some green opal. Um, and Marion says, good morning, everybody. I hope you like my green opal memory wire bracelets. I was initially disappointed at the amount of brown, nug uh, brown uh, on these nuggets. Um, and I was about to return them, but then decided to separate some of them and made um, a brown bracelet. Uh, interspersed the, uh, the remaining dark nuggets, and I really like the earthy designs. Uh, truly ripe for this season. Best of luck to everybody. Marion, absolutely gorgeous. And I agree. Just if we embrace them, like we would do, say, with your, uh, with your turquoise, embrace them for those lovely features. I mean, if you consider... Uh, matrix opal that the majority of that is actually the, the you know the host rock so absolutely love it and I like that you've persevered with those beautiful number 398 is from Karen good morning to you Karen wow some amazing silversmithing. Uh, Karen says, hi all, here's my entry to the Wall of Fame, a sterling silver and green onyx fidget ring. Uh, this was inspired by a similar copper ring Gemma demoed back in June 2019, which is when I bought the green onyx. I was one week into learning silver, uh, silver jewellery making, uh, so not competent to make it, but the vision had stayed with me for more than three years, and today I learned how to make a rivet and finally made my ring. 
Thanks to everybody for your continuous inspiration, which is every bit as important as the beautiful products. Here, here, Karen. Absolutely stunning. And do you know what? Do you know what the boys in the gallery are saying about that, Karen? They don't like it. They love it. They absolutely love it. I love that. Genius. See? Um, see, three years on, you've, you've finally succeeded in that design. Um, last but by no means least is a friend of mine. Hello to you, Kayla. That's absolute. Oh, is that Stitch in the background? Isn't it? I've only just... I, for the first time... In, how long has Lilo and Stitch been out? Years? Uh, yeah. Well, more than two yeah. years. It's more like two decades, isn't it? Um, as first time I watched it the other day. Anyway, let's focus on your beautiful Wywood tree. And Kayla says, hi, hope everybody is well. I made another tree with sunstone and chrysocolla for a, birthday, a friend's birthday in December. I really hope she likes it. I love the dragon cup. Um, it's in uh, so much. I hope my friend likes it as much as I enjoyed putting it together. Good luck to all and hugs. P.S. Um, I'd love a win to get some diamonds for my mum. Well, we'll keep everything crossed for you, lovely Michaela. Absolutely beautiful. And again, I love the little stitch edition in the background. And here we go. Ross says, I don't like it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, you're all amazing. You really are. Keep those entries coming into the Wall of Fame so we can admire them and show them off on air. Amazing. Right then, should we get cracking? Don't forget, you can shop ahead. Oh, can you? Can, can, can our lovely viewers shop ahead on the Brock Pearls? Can our lovely viewers shop ahead on... What about the old mech? Oh, go on then. You can shop ahead on the Olmec as well because we've got last of stock and we're taking those to a clearance deal as well. Amazing. Right then, let's get cracking. What should we start with? Ooh, let's have a little look. A little pet, an OM pendant. So this is, I mean, I am by no means an expert on this, but I know uh, it's something that Susie has, has spoken about very passionately about. And it was this very, very, uh, very, very pendant. So it's the symbol and the meaning behind it. So I guess that relates to sort of your meditation and your mindfulness and your peace of mind. Um, so you've got a silver plated base metal pendant. So if I put my finger, hands behind it, you get an idea of perspective just there. If I turn it this way, you can see it comes complete with a beautiful little base. So literally just feed that onto your uh, your necklaces or maybe in amongst your stretchy bracelets. I think that would be absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, and research sort of the meaning behind OM. I should imagine it is very much about sort of the meditation and those kind of things. £2.99. There are nine left. Snap them up whilst you get the chance. Should we get it under £2 today? That's the way to start your week, isn't it? That's the way to start your Monday morning deals. That's the way to do it. An OM <laughs> pendant. OM. I, like I said, I, I, I'd love to be able to sort of, you know, really educate on the OM symbol, but I am, um, yeah, I'm not clever enough on that. Maybe so homework. That's homework for yeah. me. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know either, so I can't really. <laughs> it's all it's surely about sort of your mindfulness and um, relates to your chakras um, and your zen and, uh, and peace of mind, meditation, all of those things. One pound and 99 pence, but I only had nine of them. So again, you're gonna have to be really quick snapping these ones up. Good morning, Heather. Hello to you, Wanda. Hello to you, new customer. Nice to see you there. Um, Helen in Dumbartishan, nice to see you as well. Make sure you do check out those baskets, lovely jewelry makers. Hi, Joe um, in Hampshire. They're on the verge of selling out already. So um, yeah, don't dilly-dally. No dilly-dallying if you've got your heart set on owning those. Um, okay, moving on to, should we do a bundle of pearls? Oh, these pearls are lovely. I was actually eyeing them up. They'd be perfect alongside the chrysoprase that's coming up as your deal of the day, don't you think? Pearls and chrysoprase, I think they're the new pearls and jadeite. Just putting that one out there, what do you think? Pearls and quite surprised, the Got new it. pearls and I've, jade. I've got, I've got pearls with grand digerite, like. Ooh, I know. Same kind of feel to it, yeah. They got that same vibe, haven't they? I'm just going to grab one of the deal of the day strands. I just think they go so beautifully together. Christ of praise. Uh, three gorgeous strands of genuine cultured pearls. I love the fact that you've got a mixture of your shapes. You've got some of your ringed pearls, your baroque pearls, um, and of course your uh, mixed sizes in there. Um, the rice pearls are the slightly e more elongated ones. But these, look at, look, look at those there. They're big old nugget sizes. Absolutely beautiful. How many do I have of these? Oh, I'm sorry, I've only got five left. So we're gonna go straight down to it. One price crash. So Norma, this would be lovely for your stash, wouldn't it? 
Perfect for your stash, because I um, like many, you like to see jadeite alongside cultured pearls. I love that combination as well. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. Maybe to mix it up, you can include your chrysoprase or the grand digerite with Hannah. That would be stunning. Wow. In fact, that grand digerite with Hannah, I think that might be a first, you know. Grand digerite in nuggets. I, I've, got, I've got some incredible kits, really have. I mean... I, grand digerite nuggets. I haven't had... When have we ever done that? ages, anyway. And it's just like, oh, my gosh. I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> it justified singing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Down to the final two. Make sure you do check them out. Hello, Colleen. Hello to you, lovely. Hello to you, Barbara. Uh, a new customer. Make sure you press your option one. Hello, Sheila in Hampshire. I can see you there as well. Down to the final two. That's for three strands of beautiful, genuine cultured pearls. But they're not allocated to you unless you make your confirmations so first come first serve shall we do some beautiful little flowers these remind me of snow drop snow drops let me pop that there for a second they're so pretty so pretty um snow drops and bluebells i don't know for me they're a flower of my childhood yeah spring childhood yeah. and yeah just running through the forest yes and those kind yeah. of memories that you Long have. Dog walks and things. I was always, I was always told never to touch the snowdrops, never to touch the bluebells, you got to, and cows, uh, cowslips as yeah, well, aren't they? Yeah. Um, there are only eight of these, so look how pretty they are. You don't need to do anything to them. Um, you don't need to do anything to them, and you can see just underneath you've got that really beautiful little stamen detail. Final eight, solid nine two five sterling silver. You got well over a gram of precious metal invested into these. Never really done a design like these before. So clever, isn't it? Actually, it's quite Alex Munro in its design. I think they're very pretty. I mean, just in their own right. But the minute you've got a gemstone in there as well, oh, uh, yeah. I mean, how elegant is that going to be? Gorgeous, absolutely Stunning. gorgeous. Yeah. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Well done, Jane. You're straight on in there. Hello, Suzanne in Norfolk. I hope you're as well. Uh, you're good this morning. Uh, Jane in Sheffield. Eunice in Surrey. Margaret in Cambridgeshire. Up and down and all around the UK. Well done. They're so sweet, aren't they? So maybe maybe I'm sort of uh, um, highlighting some of your lovely childhood memories. For me, it was always a case of going to see my aunt and uncle who lived in the Forest of Dean. And we'd go for a nice walk with the dogs after, after dinner. You know, you'd walk through, uh, there was a little uh, field we used to call Bluebell Woods which was really nice, literally surrounded by bluebells. Um, and you'd have the little, the little snowdrops popping up as well. But you were never allowed to touch them, certainly never allowed to pick them. Yeah, oh, no, you're not allowed to pick them. No, but, definitely not. But that, I mean, it was just, I don't know, there's just something about the ambience. If, like, if you're walking, like, oh, like woodland walks and you've got bluebells and snowdrops everywhere. It just reminds you of fairies, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, cause we, there, do you remember the flower fairies? I do. Yeah. Do so you remember I, Victoria Plum? Yeah. Yes. Part of our childhood, you see. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Right, shall we do? Well done, everybody. Now, there is only five of them left. It's only been on air once, and they absolutely flew. The, and I'm not surprised. The quality of the gemstones that you're about to see are absolutely unbelievable. So it was on air a month ago, uh, a month today, in actual fact. I'm going to literally bowl you over in the quality of the stones. Um, and if my memory serves me correctly... Yeah, the price that you're going to pay for the entire collection, you're an immediate collector here, is really the price that you should be paying, say, for that tanzanite um, or for that peridot or for the emerald um, or the appetite or the moonstone. There are literally five available. I mean, take a little look at that quality. First of all, um, on the right hand side, second one down, that is emerald. Look at the quality of that emerald. It is absolutely unbelievable. Amazing! It's got to be a Z it's got to be a Zambian. It looks very Zambian because you've got that blue presence within. Um, have a little look at the tanzanite as well. So you haven't just got one tanzanite. You've got a full parcel of beautiful tanzanites, and then just further along, you can see an amazing opal. That's working out at five pounds. Look at those tourmalines. Five pounds per gemstone collection. How amazing is that? We are no way near. There are five of these left. We had hundreds and they literally flew out the door. Well done, Yorkshire. You're there straight away. The size of the peridot. I mean, you know, if that, that is a peridot. Let's have a little look. And they do depend on, uh, you've got round on your screens right now. I've got a trillion cut. But let's just say they're about a that's about a carrot. Okay, that one's a topaz just there. But the peridot, let's just say that one's um, about a carrot in its size. 
You'd pay £14.99 for that on its own. Certainly the Tanzanite, certainly the Ethiopian Opal, certainly uh, at the Emerald. Goodness me, Sean, you've done it in Pembrokeshire. Well done. Vivian, Annette and Cheryl, you've got to check out your baskets. I only had five. Um, it's a giveaway deal, isn't it? An absolute steal of a deal. Well done. An immediate collector. That's a nice little stocking filler, filler present. Um, we're going to do what? Pearls in one more auction. Okay. Um, <clears throat> pop that back there. And we're going to do what? Sorry, Ross. Sapphire. <gasps> there are five. How about if I told you today, this Monday morning... You can get Kachan, Kachanburi, Kachan, Kachanaburi, Kachanaburi, different pronunciations. How about a pound per sapphire? That amazing, rich, regal blue is going to a pound per genuine sapphire. And they do have a drill hole in the centre. So if you wanted to, yeah, they're like tiny, they're like lovely little beads. Um, so if you wanted to, just maybe feed these onto a delicate little, little sterling silver chain. Maybe you want to put some diamonds in the centre. We've got diamonds in today's show. I think that would be absolutely beautiful. You're looking at round about three quarters of a carat. Two ninety nine for sapphire. Seriously, I don't know anywhere else on this planet that can make deals, uh, uh, possibilities and opportunities um, as accessible as this. Just another idea. I've only got 12 of these within the vault. Just putting a, a sterling silver head pin through the centre glue it into place you just made some lovely stud earrings i mean absolutely i mean why wouldn't you because like that's that's just crazy crazy value 2.99 i know it's just like nobody would believe that they were real if it was anywhere else and this is the thing the tie sapphires yeah. which are on the verge of depletion i know and here we are here we are bringing it at two pound 99 shirley's multi-bought liz is multi-bought um you're not on your own ladies because i've got jacqueline fiona ella cheryl linda mary tracy wanda darren and a new customer and those are the people that i can see on my call screens you do need to check them out every single person that has confirmed today has multi bought on this opportunity jane in lancashire you've got two well done eunice is there ella in essex has just got two well done to you i've only got three of them left linda in yorkshire well done jacqueline well done eunice well done congratulations right are you ready for your early bird are you ready remember there are only 80 of these opportunities available. And to my knowledge, this is the only strand that we have ever done in Baroque shell pearls. They're a big statement look. They look absolutely beautiful in finished pieces of jewellery. And they're up next. I think it's fair to say that if we wanted to recreate this this suite of jewellery with cultured pearls, that it would obviously be, be much more of an investment, not just to, not to buy at retail, because we know that, but to make ourselves. It would be more of an investment because you're going to probably have to buy these ring baroque pearls maybe individually in those little white boxes, meaning you have to multi-buy. It's going to be considerably more than what you're about to see on your screens in a few moments. Now, we've been broadcasting for 12 years here at JM, and to my knowledge, the only, this is the only strand we have done like this. Um, I remember it quite vividly because it was actually launched with Fleur, um, who created, who did some chain mail alongside this design. It was absolutely wow. One of those amazing pieces that you just remember that just sticks with you. Now, why don't we see, bear with me, why don't we see baroque shell pearls very often you get round shell pearls or you get um even sort of the rectangular shapes but you don't often get baroque shapes and there is a very 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 good reason for that because a baroque pearl has sort of undulations and shapes and they're, they're quite alternative aren't they I mean, every single one of those shell pearls has got to have exactly that. It's got to have undulations. It's got to have quirks and interest to make them authentic, I suppose, in their actual appearance. 
But again, I have to go back to what I opened this early bird uh, uh, auction opportunity with, the statement. These would be, there's no doubt about it, if they were naturally purple, if they were natural cultured pearls, they would probably be, even here at Jewellery Maker, best part of £50 each. And that's because of the sheer scale of them. Well, let's just have a, have a, just for kicks. Let's just count how many you're getting on this strand. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16. Let's, let's, right, right, Ross, we did a, we did a Baroque pearl individually, granted smaller than this the, the other day for 24 pounds and 95 pence. Sorry, $29.99. So let's do $29.99. I know they're not the same thing, but I'm just working out how much it would be if they were cultured pills. Time 16. They, this, that means this strand would cost you £489. There are lots of pluses to shell pearls. Not only they're all more affordable, but also the fact uh, um, they're durable, they're robust, you can wear them with, yeah, not without being quite so worried uh, and cautious about uh, about them cultured pearls. But yeah, best part of five hundred pounds this would be if they were genuine cultured. These are shell pearls with a beautiful, beautiful soft lilac colour, enormous in their size. I mean, how often do you see a Barock pearl of 23 millimetres? I'm not saying these are Barock. These are shell pearl, so that it's, it's made up of natural components, so your shell and your pearl, which is reconstituted into, these, into the desired shape. I could genuinely count on one hand the amount of times that I've seen a, a shell pearl in anything other than a, a sort of spherical bead, which are absolutely joyous which are absolutely beautiful and definitely definitely have their place but I'm loving the fact that you've got these really beautiful statement shell pearls, pearls on this opportunity straight away lovely jewelry makers we've got people making their confirmations now remember I have just 80 opportunities they'll sell out today because I know exactly what Ross is going to do with these um from again to my knowledge I think this is the only strand that we actually have of shell baroque pearls so yeah I quoted earlier on what 24 pounds and 99 pence per pearl if they were cultured so let's do that let's do that oh no not each 24.99 for the whole strand see what i mean we're not stopping there though we brought i brought you a single baroque pearl in one little white box remember the ones that was 24 pounds no it wasn't it was 29 pounds and 99 pence for one these are shell pearls, so natural ingredients, if you like, that are reconstituted into this really beautiful statement, sizable shell pearl look. Through drilled, and we are not stopping there. Who wants these today? And I think my guess today only, under £20. There are only 80 opportunities. I remember the first time we ever saw um, your Baroque shell pearls. We were all absolutely bowled over with excitement. You know, let me, I, I'm not comparing. Please know I'm not comparing. But if I was to show you some Baroque pearl, jet cultured pearls alongside it, we all know that this is going to be more, con, you know, a considered price. It is going to be a considered price. They're natural Baroque pearls, natural. But if you don't have the budget for this, then this is a fantastic old alternative don't you think a great alternative and one that may be in these trying times that they are um, that more of us can achieve we're not even stopping there heather jane maker and sorry jane and east sussex well done you customers getting involved one of the only strands i've ever seen in baroque shell pearls we're taking it under 20 pounds 16 big statement pendants. 19 pounds and 99 pence. You wouldn't pay that for one um, in many locations. They are shell pearls. So you've got all that beautiful luster that you get in a cultured pearl, but they are that much more robust uh, than, your, uh, the, the, than, their, than their sibling uh, cultured varieties. Absolutely beautiful. Hiya, Liz. I'd sell the earrings for at least 35 pounds. What a great opportunity for Christmas presents. Exactly. Exactly. And you can say uh, these aren't these aren't cultured. These are 
shell pearls and educate your recipients in what the difference actually is. Now, when we say under 20, we don't normally, that, that's not an under 20 pound price tag for, uh, for to us because I don't know about the other shift side, but here we kind of round up. I do anyway. I look at that and that's 20 quid to me. That's 20 quid. I don't care about that penny. It's 20 pounds. <laughs> How about a pound per Baroque pearl? How about that? Sorry, per Baroque shell pearl. Would you be happy with that? I would. That means this suite of jewellery, granted you've got to add your findings, it's going to cost me three pounds. Three pounds for your shell Baroques. That's instantly Christmas presents then, isn't Immediately, it? Yeah, yeah. like Liz said. Okay, how about, never mind a pound. How about 75p? You've got 60 seconds. You've got 60 seconds. We only had 80 opportunities. I think this is the only strand that we've ever done. No, correction, we had it in white as well. We had it in the lilac and we had it in the white. And they absolutely flew. You know, with, with this all actually, well, I think we know that, 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 that sort of your natural coloured cultured pearls um, are uber, uber, uber on trend, very, very much desired, but come with quite a hefty price tag. This is a fantastic alternative for the more budget conscious. Not £19.99. Angela, Meath, Heather, Jane, Jane, Glenda, Elaine, Marcia, hello to you, Maker in Bedfordshire, Valentina, Surrey, nice to see you. What a pretty name that is, Marcia. Marcia, isn't it? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Or Marcia, it might be Marcia. Um, absolutely beautiful. Loving, loving, loving your enthusiasm for this strand. There was 80 of these available. There is a slight queue on the phone lines, but believe uh, our call centre will get you. I promise you of that. It's worth the wait that you're investing. Worth the wait you're investing. The time that you're investing is what I meant to say. Wow, that's lower than you said to me, Ross. Wow, it's an absolute giveaway deal. Is, is that 75p? Is it? So you said in the production office, yeah, on my sheet it says £19.99. Oops. Um, but you said, Liz, you'd sell the earrings on their own for £35. I mean, granted, you've got to add your... Look at those, look how beautiful they are. Oh, they're amazing, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Where's El Gondo? <laughs> as soon as every time, every time I put something pearl related on there. Oh, look, El, where's El Gondo? <laughs> what are they trying to say? They're saying that I don't look classy normally but until I put pearls on. You are classy and elegant anyway. That's what they're saying. <laughs> I'm so used to it, but though. It's a good job I love them. It's a good <laughs> job. <laughs> They've got broad shoulders. Well done, everybody. They're beautiful, aren't they? And they make quite a statement just on their own. Um, loving Anne and Sue's makes. Perfect. So you said there, Liz, that you would turn a pair of earrings into, what, £35. So you can make eight pairs. You do the maths, because I can't, basically. Yeah, eight times 35 pounds is not a bad return, is it? And I reckon they would absolutely fly. 280 pounds, there we go. Roscoe's just done the maths for us. There you go, 280 pounds out of an 11.99 strand. Lynn in Lancashire, hello to you, Lincolnshire, Linda, Eunice, Valentina, Elaine, Heather, Liz, Gillian and Frederick, uh, Jan in Oxfordshire, Leslie, Jeanette. Hello to you, Maureen, uh, Maker, Janet, Caroline, Bedfordshire. Sorry, you do need to check out. We only had 80 and I'm already looking at two rows of names. So um, uh, from my, again, from recollection, this is one of two strands that we've ever launched in your Baroque shell pearls. Um, I love them then. I absolutely love them now, even more so now they're at that amazing price tag. Congratulations, everybody. There is still time for you to do it if you haven't yet dialed through. There's still opportunities for you to, uh, time for you to get involved. Um, because they're not allocated uh, until they're confirmed. So if you haven't yet checked out on the web, they're not guaranteed to you. It'll be allocated on a first come, first serve bra uh, basis. I can't talk this morning. What is wrong with me? Have you had a drink yet? Have you had a cup of tea or something? I was going to say, I'm glad you, I'm glad you finished that sentence. A cup of tea, yeah. Um, no, I, I realised that it, it could have sounded terrible, but I'm, <laughs> I do mean of the caffeine variety. <laughs> No, in answer to that. That's probably what it is. There we go. Um, well done, everybody. Congratulations. Shall we do that amazing strand of Baroque pearls? In fact, I'm going to borrow this bust for a second. These are unbelievable. And this is true legacy opportunities. This is the kind of pearls that I am actually purchasing to... Uh, um, 
well, to, to, to put away for my two children. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll also be wearing them in the meantime. How could we not? Now, we know the five virtues. So they are the equivalent of the four C's in the diamond world. We talk about the shape. And it's no longer the case just spherical pearls command the highest price tags. We are hugely accepting of your Baroque, your Keshis and your Biwa pearls now. Colour is the next of those virtues that they discuss. Now, you can bleach and dye pills. There's nothing wrong with that. But natural are always, always more valuable. Guess what? These are completely and utterly natural. I'm going to hold up to the neckline first. They are so beautiful. They've got the most amazing colour. Um, borderline golden, golden papaya peach. It's absolutely stunning, this strand. I love it. I've seen it once before. I loved it then. I absolutely love it now. You don't forget something like this. It's very flattering as well, don't you think? It yes. Makes, it makes you look like you're, you're sort of glowing with the pearls. It's, it's you know, this, it's got that lovely sort of, um, I wanted to sort of say amber glow almost. There's an article, yes, like there's an article I've thing. read, and uh, yeah. Hannah, what you've just said there kind of reminds me of it, and it's saying pearls are not, um, pearls are the only gemstone um, where the, 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 how do they word it now? I can't remember. Um, the pearls weigh you, not the other way around. Yes. Not yeah. the other way around. So you, and they are so gorgeously complimentary. Super, super, super rare. And these are the pearls that we have been very transparent, very upfront and, you know, really kept you in the loop. We can't replace strands like this um, because the pearl harvest during the COVID, literally was decimated um, to actually match to actually match pearls of this rarity because it has to be a very specific formation, a particular type of mollusk that will actually produce this sort of papaya pink. Um, they form on the circumference of the oyster as well, so not in sort of the uh, sort of the deeper part of the mollusk itself. That's where you get that really distinctive colour saturation. And if you consider, you know, where um, on the outskirts of the mollusk, I mean, that's quite narrow, isn't it? So how large must these mollusks actually be in terms of their... Um, maturity to even start this process years and years and years goes into uh, um, culturing pills of this size literally years um, and even then it's not a guarantee that it will be of this amazing quality I mean look at that beautiful pink iridescence across the surface I'm looking down at your recording that pink iridescence can you see it literally glides across the surface the reality is and we've shown you loads of times previously you know pills are of this grade, even at wholesale, you are talking beyond the price that's on your screens right now. Dave was with us um, only the other day and he was talking about Sally Hewer and her uh, um, uh, Kasumi pearls, which have got their similarities. I'm not saying they are the same, but um, she's got literally the last harvest of Kasumi pearls, which Dave is hoping to purchase as well. They were way more than what's on your screens right now per strand regardless of its location. Pearls of this size are uber rare, very valuable and currently irreplaceable within the market. If we were to stop here, and I've only got a single figure quantity, that would be absolutely amazing. I'm thinking about knotting these with maybe a soft powder pink or a champagne gold with a beautiful 18 karat yellow gold clasp, then have it insured. Oh, absolutely. Because yeah. we have things insured, not just for our, uh, sorry, valued, not just for our, our, our ego, although that's lovely, because you know you get, you've, you've got an amazing deal. You've paid £499 and it's been valued at considerably more. That's going to be the reality of it. Um, but we have actually things valued for insurance purposes, you know, because if, heaven forbid, this did get lost or stolen, how much are you going to have to pay to replace it? Well, you're not going to be able to replace it, first and foremost, because we can't purchase pearls like this, and we are one of the leading pearl buyers globally. We're not even stopping there. How many... When you say single-figure quantity, there's seven. Okay. There were 45 at the launch. I've got seven of them left. It's that pinkish, beautiful luster, wonderful, wonderful iridescence that you're seeing glide across the surface of these totally and utterly natural pearls. Where we're taking this to, um, and I don't recall exactly, but I've got a funny idea, that's the price that we should be paying per cultured pearl, per. 
never mind an entire strand. We've shown you at wholesale. Right now, actually, Dave is, uh, Dave is on, on way to Hong Kong right now, isn't it? As he's, yes, as he's, yes, yes. I wondered why his car was in the car park. <laughs> I did wonder. Dave, Jake and some of our amazing buying team are literally en route right now to Hong Kong. What are they going to discuss? They're going to discuss jadeite and pills of this ilk, of this amazing caliber, because literally, it's one of, they're one of our biggest sellers, not just here at Jewelry Maker across the Gemporia partnership. And it's a worry for us if we're not going to be able to offer that to our viewers. Get them whilst you can. There are seven opportunities. That's crazy. That's the price of one. Amazing. Literally one yeah. on a gold chain. Do you think this is going to be, you know, when, when we talk about sort of vintage jewelry and things now, do you think this, this will be something that will be considered vintage in the future because you won't be able to get it as a, as a new thing? You know, it's, it's sort of, I've got no doubt. I think, yeah. I think the pearl market is going to, we know it's going to take sort of 10, 15 years to be able to start accumulating be, something yeah, like this cycles, again. Yeah, cycles, isn't it? And, and yeah, because they were literally lost. You know, generations will miss them, won't they? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, because you think diamonds, when, when diamonds, uh, the diamond mining operation when COVID hit, diamonds will stay in the ground the pearls were literally lost to the sea yeah. so it's going to take a full decade if not more to recoup from that all the while the prices are literally increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing um so yeah i've got no doubt uh, and, and this is like i said these are the, the pearls that i'm buying for my girls because they'll be able to get hold of cultured pearl rounds or buttons or, yes. you know, the smaller sizes. What they're not going to be able to get hold of is what's on our screens right yeah. now. Or um, I shouldn't say that because I can't read into the future, but they're less likely to be able to get hold of something like this, certainly at 249. I know, that's certainly. amazing, isn't it? Stay where you are. I can see you there. Absolutely unbelievable. Now, I have six. It's the Samsara. This blows my mind, this one. I'll go as far as saying this is probably my favourite type A jadeite. The fact I know straight away that it's called the Samsara. Um, the final, how many, sorry? Six. It, I can't even draw something like this. So how do you carve into a type A jadeite a three-dimensional shape? Like this. Do you remember as a child you used to do them? What were they called? Spirograph. Spirograph. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's like that in a hand carved jade. That's a Here, skill, isn't it? Yeah. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. You know, and I saw some interlocking links in Taipei jade. It, it, it's just staggering how skillful these master carvers are. Type A grade, certainly you've got a little splash there of red jade as well within this one. Absolutely double-sided too, so you get that amazing skill, front and reverse. It's one of the few carvings that is actually, look, if I show you this way, literally all the way around. Uh, unbelievable. You can see that wet luster. Um, type A grade, six remaining, certified totally natural, definitely, definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity. Uh, carved literally by, by hand. I've shared an article with you. I think it was Sotheby's that first wrote it. Uh, and they were saying this beautiful gemstone that is created by Mother Nature and shaped with human hands. And when they come with, uh, when we talk about jade, it's, it, we discuss obviously uh, the colour. We talk about the translucency and the texture. But we also talk about the artistry. Hello, Alison. Bought this the other week. It's mind-blowing. Love it. So versatile. Me, I, I agree with you. Alison, totally. Totally, totally agree with you. It is mind blowing, isn't it? That's the way to describe it. And where we take this to, that's going to blow our minds once again. Well done for yours, Alison. 55 carats of hand carved type A Burmese jadeite. The mine's closed. There are five opportunities left. This is called the Samsara. I can't remember. It was Jake that launched this, wasn't it? Unbelievable. Probably one of the most memorable carvings that we've ever... That's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. As, it's phenomenal. Absolutely agree with Alison as well, saying it's versatile, because if, if you're going to incorporate that into a piece of jewellery, there's... It, because it's, it's got those, so many like openings where you can actually like sew through or thread through... Yeah, it, put, like, a, you put could, a diamond in the centre there. Yeah, that, I mean, stunning. Unbelievable. Karen, you've got yours. London Jennifer, I only had six opportunities. 
that's it should be three four times that price tag and that's me saying a jewelry maker deal yeah if you saw this in Sotheby's and Bonhams and all those establishments which let's be frank is where we probably will see them moving forward it's not going to be double figures it's it's not going to be 99 quid or 33 pounds and 33 pence on split pay you know the, the closure of the Burmese mine which was announced only a couple of weeks ago is only going to have one uh, impact if you like um, on this gemstone you know uh, Sally Hewer who we're no experts here at Jewelry Maker or Gemporia we're not but Sally Hewer that's her business that's her bread and butter mm -hmm. that's her, her family's legacy she's actually said I predict this might be the first generation that aren't able to purchase Burmese jadeite not just because of the mine's closure but also because of how astronomically expensive it is Today, and here we go okay thanks for that Sally 99.99 then please you know we just to completely disregard the information we were given well done there are only two left i can see karen london and jennifer you can get that home today for a crazy 33 pounds and 33 pence on naught percent interest split pay well done the samsara absolutely beautiful look at that wet luster um, and, and that's again all all indications of the quality that you're getting but you know what if you see a piece of jadeite that is as exceptionally carved as this I bet you it's gonna be the best quality it's gonna be the best quality because a, a master carving wouldn't wouldn't even bother would they with something um, of lesser grade now the parcel of malachite that when I had the privilege and honour of launching, I said it's the best malachite I've ever seen. You were with me, weren't you? I was you? there, yeah. It was yeah. brilliant, yes. I now, can't believe there's any of that left. Um, there's not much. Limited, there's got to be. Not much. I'm going to start with the 12. I've been fortunate and lucky enough to see malachite throughout my career here at Jewelry Maker. And I've loved every single one of those. It's absolutely one of my favourite gemstones but this is the best grade I've ever seen. And I'm gonna share, share with you the words of an article that I found that just describes this gemstone so perfectly. Whilst I'm reading this, as soon as you see the graphics, that's your call to action. Malachite, eternal paradise in shades of green. It is, it is an eternal paradise. This is the gemstone that I think, you know, if they were little worlds, that's the kind of world I wanna exist in. These wonderful layers, these beautiful progressions and stories, concentric bands and lines and little nodules that just bring you poetry, I suppose, um, in a form of a genuine gemstone. I don't have many opportunities, and these are one of the biggest malachite rounds I've ever brought to air. They are huge, 12 millimeters in their size. Sorry, Roscoe, how many? 16 of this strand. They absolutely flew. Hannah, you were with me when we launched these. Uh, they absolutely flew out the door. And I'll read the first article. There's 15 straightaway people getting involved. 14. Malachite, highly distincted with its uh, variegated banding and rich emerald green colour. That colour comes from the copper deposits where malachite is often found. In fact, malachite itself is used as a source of copper via the process of smelting. Often malachite is found with azurite, a brilliant blue gemstone that also forms in copper-rich areas. Concentrically banded malachite, known as peacock's eye, is especially sought after as it is much rarer than the linearly banded gemstone you have both of those in this beautiful strand malachite is rather soft uh between three and a half and four on the most scale malachite is found all around the world usa brazil australia mexico and the democratic of congo we are bringing the final 15 opportunities certified completely and utterly natural the best malachite parcel that we have ever seen oh well i th i believe if you value my recommendation the best malachite parcel i've brought to it it's beautiful i mean look how distinctive those separations of colors are the, the you know the, the the actual the the actual patterning 18 carats per malachite sphere and i remember how low we took this you know this would be like the quad a to a tanzanite this would be the d to the diamond it's that level of supremacy. The final 16 when I started this auction, we now have seven left within the vault. Are you ready? It's from the Congo, which by the way is, is, is regarded as the best in the world. 
I know it, it sh we shouldn't be driven solely by um, the country of origin, but the Congo, Malachi, is regarded as the best in the world. At £199, uh, um, yeah, 199 not even 99 pence, that's the steal of a deal. You don't have to look too far to find Malachite pieces of jewellery at astronomical prices. Look at Chopard, look at Van Cleef and Arpels, look at Piaget. None of their pieces are a double figure price tag. The final six at £29.99, uh, 270 carats of natural certified Congo Malachi. I had only 16 opportunities and there's multi buyers on this as well. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Can we show a few of those pieces, Roscoe? Just because, you know, high end jewelers, you know, here we go. This isn't too bad, actually. I think I included this because I know that you could actually make it and also. Yeah, it's it's not too badly priced. Eighty-five pounds, um, a beaded malachite necklace. What about that? Netta Porter. They're only four mil rounds. What's that? Four hundred and eighty pounds. Simple beading. It's absolutely beautiful. But that's the gemstone, isn't it? It's not really the technique. It's the quality of the uh, of the of the malachite. Seventy-five pounds. Teamed alongside your beautiful tiger's eye. You could make that, couldn't you? And you could make it with change. With change. Make sure you do check out. But yeah, that's without me showing you the Dior pieces, your Piaget pieces, your Lola Rose. Lola Rose have done, I don't know if it is actually all genuine Malachite. Um, they've done a really lovely sort of Malachite inspired um, uh, watch, which I really oh, like. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it was the Van Cleef and Arpels as well that had their little clover in there. They Malachi. had the clover, the gorgeous. Alhambra, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Um, but the, like Lola Rose, that watch, their Malachite watch is about £100, I think it is, or £120. Yeah. But really beautiful and so distinctive because it's Malachite. I don't know if it is the, you know, the natural, genuine gemstone or maybe it's a synthetic, but it's beautiful. Angela Suja, Anne Maker, Jacqueline Gloria, Gloria uh, Pauline and new customers, well done. I've got the final one. Final one opportunity, well done. Let's bring you the next size down. Again, know that each and every single one of these are limited, limited in their quantity. Um, we launched it, about, I don't know, what was it, about a month or so ago? Not that long, not that long at all. Look at this quality. Absolutely beautiful quality. There are only five of this one. Love this strand, 10 mils in their size. Tiffany's and Co. themselves used this gemstone, <clears throat> not just recently, but also in some of their uh, more vintage design. I found a necklace from Tiffany's and Co. One in stock that was one thousand and three hundred dollars. There it is. Could you make that? We're going to do this in one price crash. First one's gone, Maker, you've done it. They might well even sell out before we get to that price point. Um, well done, I wouldn't be dilly-dallying either. Down to the final two, Karen, you've got yours. Hello to Julia in Hertfordshire. I'm with you, this is one of my favorite, favorite gemstones, 24 pounds and 99 pence. And you do recognize the quality, hence why so many of you are jumping on the web um, and on the phone line. Suja, Jacqueline, oh, it's sold out. Well done, well done, well done. Now don't worry if you did miss out on that because I do have one final Malachite opportunity. It's a bundle, beautiful, beautiful quality. You've got that lovely graduation. Oh. The banding on these is absolutely amazing. There's only three left of this bundle. So you've got your four mil, your six mil, and also your eight mil. Each of these are 20 centimeter strands. So I'm just visualizing maybe that graduated necklace, Hannah. Yeah, I mean, you you know um, when Mark does hit the um, tubular netting, like the kiss yeah. cross, you could use like graduated sections. Oh, nice. Um, and then just like little seed beads between, and then, you, and then you can have like sort of like slightly larger sections and just put a piece of chain between oh, each one. Oh, beautiful. I can, really, I can really see that. It would look amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. 29 99 that's for all three of your strands. Again, this is from the Congo, and I think it becomes quite, oh, it's sold out, well done. It becomes quite obvious because of the uh, sort of intensity of the colour. Now, the only, uh, the only malachite that we have left from that parcel is in the 12 mil so have a little look and see if you can snap that up now um no i don't know now 
There's two left of the samsaras, just to give you a little stock update. We're massively over-allocated. Um, and I think if you asked a lot of the crew, their favourite master carvings, quite a few of them would actually say the samsara. It is mind-blowing, as Alison just said, the intricacy and the detail of that samsara um, shake. It's three-dimensional. Look at that. Look, unbelievable, isn't it? Absolutely unbelievable. Remember, type A jadeite, a beautiful rare gemstone shaped, created by Mother Nature, shaped shaped by human hands, but not, not just anyone's hands, the most skillful master carving. Um, this was so over allocated. I've got Patricia, Sandra, Karen, London, Jennifer and Dorset all with it in their basket. Use your 30 days, get that home, fall in love with the piece itself. And if you don't, for whatever reason, then send it back to us. But I know you will. I know you will. That's a crazy deal at 99.99 or 33.33 on your split pay. The intricacy, I mean, I can't even go about, I can't even comprehend how you carve something like that. Amazing. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, shall we do? Don't forget, you've also got a closeout deal of your Olmec Blue Jade Eye. It's a beautiful little leaf. Um, I'm deliberately not showing you that, so it can be a, um, an amazing uh, sort of surprise. Um, now, three of the big five. Here it is. So I've got Sterling Silver, Slider Bracelet, still our most, uh, most popular component. Then I've also got your Ruby. Then I also have your emerald, three of the big five. So you know what I'm going to say, don't you? I'm, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but something like this back from 2007, well, it wasn't, wasn't like this. A slider bracelet, when we launched it, them back in 2017, without any genuine gemstone additions, plain sterling silver in a popcorn design, you know what they were. They were £24.95. And they absolutely flew. Absolutely flew. Now, they do have ruby, they do have sapphire, and they do have natural emerald. We can't even crash that high, even though there is the additions of three of the big five. Should we put a 60-second clock on our screen? We'll do it in one price crash... Because today, not base metal, 925 sterling silver with ruby, emerald and sapphires, you're going to get them today for £10 each. £10. I mean, sold. Brilliant. £10. <laughs> <laughs> the Tanzanite one's my birthstone as well. So, I, so I, Sapphire. I, that's sapphire. Oh, it's sapphire. I see. I need to pay more attention. But um, I was just thinking you could you could absolutely buy them as birthstone. Um, yeah. It was three birthstones right or there. Just, just because they're beautiful. It doesn't have to be a bracelet. It could be a necklace as well. And if you wanted to, you could have that as the front and just attach a yes. piece of chain around the back. But very, very elegant. Pounds. I know. You, we, we break that. If they were base metal, that would still be an amazing deal. It would. It, I mean, and, and they were synthetic beads. They're not, though. They're natural, genuine gemstones. O stands for oiling, which is basically like us putting moisturiser on in the morning. It doesn't, it doesn't detract from the value um, of, the, of the emerald. The other's completely and utterly natural. £10. I'd pay that. I'd pay that for the gemstones, let alone the investment of sterling silver that you're getting within here. So perfect with the festivities that are around the corner. It's, uh, for me, as soon as you have uh, you have bonfire night, that's, that's it. it. I'm in full ball. Free fall towards mode. it now. Christmas I am in coming. Christmas Yay! mode. I'm not quite <laughs> putting my decks up. It has to be December for that. But I'm 100% no. No, no, no. Roscoe, no. No, what's going on? Is, is the web broken or something? Ross is just saying the samsara hasn't sold out either, so he's he's curious. These should be gone already. Before we even drop that price point. Ten pounds for a sterling silver slider bracelet. You've just seen Tiffany's and Co. All right, not even remotely the same piece of jewellery, but it's still nine two five sterling silver for thirteen hundred dollars. We're at ten pound per slider bracelet. I mean, take some of those beautiful pearls, take some of your jadeite, take some of 
I don't know, your amazing kit, Hannah. I mean, I've got a coir pearls, so, you know, you could put just a couple of those, like even one, and just have that in the middle, and, and it would just be such a prestigious, beautiful piece. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm literally shocked. I do like the idea of having that as the front of the necklace, though, you know? Yeah, like a lariat, like a yeah. cowboy lariat. That's sterling silver and, and sapphire. That's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. It's a tenor. I'm shocked they haven't, not nearly enough people got involved on in that opportunity. But also, I mean, if you're, if you're doing craft fairs and things like that as well, it's a quick win. You've got, a, a, you know, a prestigious metal. You've got a well-known gemstone. You wouldn't need to do much to it to then turn it into a, a finished piece of jewellery oh. and then make a huge profit and on you those. can say, no, that's sapphire. Yeah. No, that's ruby. No, that is genuine emerald. And you can get the certificates for it yeah. as well. Fabulous. Exactly. Yeah. For your Christmas markets. How amazing is that? OK, leave that one with you. Now... OK, we can't mess around on this opportunity because this is literally from the lost treasures of Guatemala. Literally for hundreds of years, this legacy, this mystery of Olmec blue jadeite uh, um, almost sung around the gemstone industry. It wasn't until, I think, the 70s, in the mid-70s, that it was rediscovered to the world by a husband and wife duo who literally followed a treasure map to rediscover this amazing gemstone. This is the only location of jadeite which offers you this very rare, this beautifully distinctive Olmec blue. I'm about to do something completely and utterly bonkers. We're gonna do close out deals on a gemstone that is really only just rediscovered and launched to the world. It's up next in a star buy. So we knew that there was a possibility that in Guatemala there was a mining location. The storybooks told us of this beautiful, beautiful uh, source that unearthed a variety of jadeite that no other location on this planet could offer you. Olmec Blue. We had seen ancient artifacts that were photographed and displayed within the Smithsonian Muse uh, Museum. And it wasn't until a couple called the Ridingers actually embarked on the most bravest expedition to find this lost treasure. Here they are. Uh, there are the Ridingers, husband and wife team. And in 1974, Jay Ridinger was on the trial for the lost source of Mayan jade. He, he uh, ran across the Smithsonian publication, Mineralogical Studies in Guatemalan Jade, written in 1957 by William Foshag the curator of geology at the Smithsonian, Washington, D.C. Foshag published a map which indicated X marks the spot. Ridinger and his wife, Mary Lou, travelled to Guatemala and found the jade source exactly where he had said. This was situated on, uh, on, on the Montague Valley. This is on the tectonic plate boundary between North American tectonic plate and the Caribbean tectonic plate. Now, uh, that, that, that paragraph almost makes it sound like it was a simple thing to do. Like, yeah, just drop me off in Guatemala. I'll, I'll, I'll find where that X is. I'll have a little wander and I'll see if I can find it. But just to put into perspective the scale of that expedition, I've got a map which shows you the variety, the Montag there you go, the Montagua River, uh, that tectonic plate in Guatemala. It's a vast area and it's a vast area of jungle of jungle terrain. It's not like walking down sort of our local town or street. Um, it's jungle terrain. So to, to rediscover the lost treasure that was literally guarded by the Mayans um, for, you know, for civilizations. These are the kind of pieces, there's the article in the National Geographic, and that is your Olmec blue mask. The Ridingers announced to uh, their find to the world, but no one believed them. They knew there was a source, no one believed that they'd actually found it. They were laughed at and called crazy until 1987, the National Geographic article, Jade, came out uh, that they were vindicated. At the time of the Spanish invasion, the Jade sources were lost because the reverence uh, the Mayans showed towards the Jade were considered 
I never know how to say that word, idolatry, and the sources were abandoned. 450 years later, the Ridingers re-established the jade industry in Guatemalan. The Mayans literally guarded the terrains, sent, deployed the locals uh, um, to sort of source or protect this hidden treasure. And ultimately, when the Mayan people literally died out, so did the location of that source. It's 450 years later. It was pieces like this that have been uh, displayed in the Smithsonian Museum that really kind of held that, that legacy, that, that uh, story, if you like, um, in the current world. They knew it existed, but they just didn't know where. This is a really beautiful, ancient, hand-carved, all-neck blue Mayan mask, and you can see the, bead, uh, the beads surrounding it. There's also a spearhead, which I can show you. Um, which is very distinctive in that old neck blue. There it is. There we go. Guatemalan blue jade, 12th to 16th century AD. It's pieces, artifacts like this that we have seen, knowing there is a source of old neck blue jade, but where exactly is it? The lost mines. Jadeite was the most valuable material uh, the ancient Olmecs, Mayans, and um, Zapotecs and other Mesoamerican cultures. In the 16th century, Mesoamerican, sorry, uh, whole of the, uh, sorry, in the 16th century, whole of Mesoamerica was conquered by the Spanish. Mayans who controlled the jadeite mines dispatched guards to guard their treasure, mines of the most valuable material known to them. Again, it's just absolutely fascinating, this story. Fast forward 450 years and probably a little bit more because it's taken us from what is discovery in the 1970s and when it got launched to the world in the 1980s once again and written about by the National Geographic, it's taken us until 2022 to be able to launch it to you guys at home. This is from that amazing, amazing lost treasure. This is certified natural type A Guatemalan Olmec blue jadeite worth getting your certificate of authenticity. So the story that we've just shared, that legacy of this treasure that dates back literally centuries, we're about to bring to you at a close out deal. The only location that we know of anyway that you can get Guatemalan Olmec Blue Jade from, there's probably other places, but the only one that we know of and we recognize and we trust as well, would literally be from the Ridingers website themselves. So here's the rainforest necklace. You've got a beautiful sort of graduation of ombre colors, very dark at the, at, the, at the front. Really, it's sort of the side colors that would be the most desirable. But look at that price tag, $569 for that beaded necklace. It's beautiful, there's no denying that. Or maybe take a look at this ring. It is opaque. It's beautiful. It's got that really very distinctive Olmec blue jade color. $1,250. I'm going to do a closeout do deal, not just on, not just on a cabochon, on a master carving. How many do I have, Ross? 50 available opportunities. A close-out deal on all neck jade is one thing. But a close-out deal on a master carving of all neck jade. Those same ancient techniques that we saw with Burmese jade. 50 chances available. Ten carats that you're getting. Here it is. It is carved, so really easy for you to suspend it from a beautiful sterling silver chain. 
hand carved, certified completely and utterly natural. 10% of the stock has already gone. Lovely jewellery makers. I mean, look at that. The cabochon's amazing, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful at $1,250. There's only two of these in stock. I've got 50 opportunities for you today. Do you notice the translucency that you see with the piece that I'm actually holding right now? The same as your Burmese location, you want a level of translucency within your jadeite. The, the ring, whilst lovely, the Mary Lou ring, named after the, um, the rediscoverer's wife, there, there she is, uh, Mary Lou Ridinger. It's stunning, but it has that level of opacity. 10% of the stock has already gone. When you say close out deal, Roscoe, Lowy says, might be the lowest price that we've ever seen on all neck jadeite. Can you see that drill hole there? All you need to do, bear with me a second, is literally attach that to a sterling silver chain. Or maybe if you're a skilled uh, with your sterling silver, your wires, um, or, or, or your gallery wine, you could create the most beautiful, beautiful pendant. Even here, we're matching the price pretty much, not far off. Um, that ring that we saw on the website where there's only two of them available. It doesn't have the translucency. It doesn't have the fact, the artistry that has gone into um, an amazing piece like this. We're going to do a huge price crash. Maybe this is the first time that lots of our lovely jewellery maker audience get the opportunity to, to own, to be custodians of the lost treasure of Guatemala. Today, it's an ideal chance. This is not your price, but this is your call to action. We're at double figures and we're not even stopping there. 50, 50 opportunities. Look at that color, look at that really beautiful, distinct. It's like a bluey green, the only location on the planet that actually offers you this really beautiful, beautiful, uh, so like an inky, almost grand digirite like blue. We are not stopping here, but straight away collectors and connoisseurs getting involved. That beautiful leaf carving done literally by hand. Almost half the stock has gone already. We're going to give a 60 seconds clock. And at the end of the clock, we're going to half that price tag. This is the perfect size. For me, this is the perfect size. Did you just say half the price, Ross? Sorry, I was a little bit slow, slow on the uptake there. Literally one, two, three at that price tag. I mean, you could that, make it, a it's, suite of Guatemalan yeah, jadeite. You could. It's fabulous. I, lo I love the, the backstory of it. It's very Indiana Jones to me. And, well, and funny but, you should but say. Real. Yeah. Real. They, yeah. they, they literally. They literally came up with the uh, Indiana Jones on the back of the Ridingers. Well, there you go. That, I mean, they that, were the that's, inspiration. That's, I mean, well, that's why, that's why it resonates. And it's, I love it. But I, I, th I think that particular colour is so distinctive and unusual. Yeah. And I, I think you're right. I mean, I've... It, it probably really, yeah, I think it probably would work with um, Grand Girai. It would work with like, mm. other, other jades. It would, it would probably work with malachites as well. Yeah, like, Different beautiful. tones of blues and greens together. Absolutely beautiful. Fabulous, yeah. yeah. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, with your with your Akoya pearls that are coming up a little bit later on. That's the ilk of Taipei Olmec jadeite. Yeah, right. amazing. Here it is, oh my goodness me, look at that price, £24.99 on two monthly split base. <laughs> it's madness, absolute madness. This is Taipei certified, laboratory tested, so you can get your certificate of authenticity as well, which I would always suggest is worthwhile um, when it comes to jadeite, be that from Burma, be that from uh, Guatemala. It, it, it's, it's absolutely worthwhile having the documentation because you'll have to pay for it otherwise. Yeah. You know, you have yeah. to pay for elsewhere and that's not not inexpensive um so have that document it will say those magic words totally natural it will say not enhanced it will say guatemalan it will say taipei olmec blue jadeite you've seen the prices that olmec jadeite canon does fetch this is hand carved, a work of art. You know, look at that, look at that beautiful wet liquid luster across the surface. You need to check them out. Maker, Lanarkshire, Linda Kath, Karen, Karen. I've got people on the phone lines. Hello to you, Jackie in London. New customers getting involved. We've got multi buyers as well. Make sure you do check out those, uh, those baskets to secure yours. We've half the price of what was already an absolutely incredible, amazing deal. Well done, each and every single one of you. That perfect size. I mean, they're 12 by 22 millimeters. Hannah, not everybody likes the big, 
master carvings. Yeah. I love them. But if you want something that's maybe a little bit more petite or dainty, then this is a great idea. It's, it's more daytime jewellery, isn't it? Yeah. You'd absolutely use it as a pendant rather than it being like a real, you know, heavy talisman that is like some of the other ones can be. Yeah. Um, but yeah, absolutely. You could get three. I mean, that, that's incredible value. At that, you could maybe put a couple in a tassel. I mean, well, at the end of a lariat, how, yeah. you? Either, how beautiful yeah. would that be? Stunning, yeah, really lovely. How beautiful. Make sure you do check out their lovely jewellery makers. Absolutely amazing. And we do have some incredible pearls coming up um, throughout the course of the show. We've got some Akoya pearls with Hannah's awesome kits with yellow diamonds, which I think would be the most gorgeous combination. That's the quantity that we have left within the vault. Once they are gone, they're absolutely gone. So first come, first serve. I can't say any fairer than that. Hand-carved, certified natural type a Guatemalan Olmec blue jadeite and you've just secured that for an absolutely bonkers double figure price tag 99.99 was already bonkers for the rarity and the story behind Guatemalan jadeite literally they knew it existed they're just where where did it exist and it took a wonderful husband and wife team in the 1970s to go and rediscover it and launch it out to the world truly unbelievable well done everybody now we've still got so much to bring you i've got the cleopatra pills with diamonds with hannah coming up um as part of her kids for the first i think i think have we ever had i'm going to ask you the question have we ever had grand did you write nuggets before i i don't i don't know if we've had them or not i know i've never had cleopatra pearls before i've never used a coir pearls before so it's all new to me. And diamonds as well. I mean, You have been spoiled. I, the, I, yeah, it's one of those you open, open the oh. kit and think, oh, wow. Yeah, the <laughs> kits are going to literally blow you away. The level of luxury. There's so much to talk about as well because you've got diamonds, you've got Akoya pearls, mm -hmm. the fact they're Cleopatra pearls, and I'll explain yeah. what that is, and you've got strand, uh, nuggets in Grandidurite, one of the world's rarest and most collectible gemstone. Unbelievable. Uh, don't go anywhere because there's loads, still loads to bring you. Your deal of the day, we've got some stunning price appraise and more closeout deals on Taipei Jade. Hannah and I will turn after this. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi everybody, Managing Director Scott here and I've got something incredible to bring you. So, myself and Wayne went to India not too long ago now and we found some of the most incredible cuts of gemstones that we've just never seen before. And I thought, myself, I've got to bring them back to you. And it's taken a little bit of time, but join me on Monday for Gems from Jaipur. 
Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. It's Hannah! Hello. We were just saying then, it feels so bizarre not being sat alongside know, each I other. I used to you being there. It's yeah, like, oh, same here. Oh, yeah, I know, it's like, eh, <laughs> disconnect. I need to be over with Hannah. <laughs> Hannah. Hello. Oh my goodness me. I know. <laughs> I mean, you're an all-round good egg, so you deserve oh, luxury thanks. kits. I don't, I don't think I've ever even seen a kit quite, quite so premium as this. I mean, it's just incredible. I think that's exactly it. These are probably some of the most premium kits we've ever put yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Because in both, and there's two examples, so you've got a pearl and grand digirite nugget strand, which I don't recall ever doing. I might be wrong, but I don't recall ever doing yeah, one. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. And then the other kit features genuine natural Akoya pearls in the Cleopatra design, which yes. I'll, I'll talk about some more, and diamonds. But both of the kits also feature these. They're so cute, aren't they? They're really lovely. Stunning. Lovely absolutely stunning that little pink mother of pearl sterling silver tassel top aren't they yeah it looks very queen conch it, it does look like conch actually yeah. i mean i could believe it, it it is but it's you know it's it's mother of pearl so oh hannah it's just gorgeous quality now i'm going to start with um this necklace okay. um, and this kit and I know so many of our lovely viewers, and I know you want the demonstration, so I'll be as quick as I possibly can. S they are very limited, though, so um, I and obviously command a certain price point. But I need to make sure that everybody realises what Akoya pearls are and what's the difference with the Cleopatra stand. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, so firstly, Akoya pearls have long been regarded in the pearl industry as one of the best in the, uh, in the world, particularly in its its beautiful luster. Some of the most lustrous pearls in the world come from Akoya, and that is actually down to the water temperature. Akoya pearls form um, in the cold waters uh, just off the coast of Japan. Now, because they're colder, the nacre tends to be a little bit more compact without getting too scientific. That uh, sort of relates to the luster, but they take that much longer to form. So they take far longer to form um, than in comparison to your Tahitian pearls or to your South Sea pearls. But here's an article, and I'll literally, we'll read through it really quickly together, that talks about Akoya pearls and why they are so special. What is an Akoya pearl and what makes Akoya special? With the fashion world embracing pearls like never before, there's quite a buzz about pearls these days, prompting Vogue to ask earlier this year, are pearls the new diamonds? With the pristine white wonders of Mother Nature showing up on runways, red carpets and IG feeds, everyone is talking pearls. And we do mean everyone. 
not just the ladies. This gender fluid gem has captured the limelight with both males and female celebrities as fashion houses turn to pearls as a powerful symbol of status. There they are. This is the location, the science, they put it. Um, and what we're looking at, a really beautiful location, the shores of Japan. Um, you've got your Akoya, uh, your Akoya farms, effectively. But if you look at the photograph at the beginning, uh, sorry, at the top, there's the mussel. And that's tiny in comparison to the, uh, um, sort of the black lip oyster yeah. of, uh, of, of Tahiti um, or your South Sea pearl oysters. Absolutely tiny in comparison. And there they are, literally sorting through these wonderful, lustrous little treasures of Japan. Uh, Akoya culture pills form in the pink tada oyster. These oysters are thriving in the hidden, uh, hidden bays off the coast of Japan in the cold salt waters of the Pacific Ocean. Akoya pills come from Japan. These pills are harvested in a colder month, so only December to March, so it's not even all year round. Um, that's something yeah. I didn't realise. Yeah, I just assumed limited, they were, yeah, just December to March. And produce pills with the highest thickness of nacre. Uh, the highest quality of koi pills grow in the ocean up to about two years to allow sufficient time for the pearl to form a thick nacre and wonderful luster. So they have to invest that level of time. Otherwise, you don't get that beautiful, uh, distinctive luster that koi is celebrated for. Uh, the pink tada oyster is the smallest of the pearl producing oysters, measuring between three and five inches in diameter. It therefore produces smaller pearls than oysters that, uh, that produced in South Sea and Tahitian. We've already covered that. Akoya pearls generally range, uh, range in size between three and nine mil, um, with the occasional rare 10 to 10 and a half millimeter size. Whereas if you look at South Sea pearl, that's the opposite, isn't it? They tend to be much larger. Um, the Akoya pearl is known for its superb luster and its perfectly round shape. Okoyas also have beautiful colour consistency, making them often the pearl of choice for women's first strand of pearls. Okoyas were the first pearls ever to be cultivated. Um, in 1893, a Japanese man developed a scientific process for cultivating pearls inside an Okoya oyster. At first, very few of these pearls made their way to Europe and even less to the United States. By the mid-20th century, uh, Asile uh, had started distributing uh, Okoya pearls in America. Cultured pearls revolutionized the world of fine jewelry, making pearls more readily available to women of all types. Before cultured pearls, only natural pearls had been available, uh, so the supply was severely limited and often reserved for royalty. With culture pearls becoming available to the general public, the fashion world in New York, Paris and Milan took note. Now, it sounds like they're plentiful, doesn't it, that, that, that last paragraph? You know, yes, it, they are considerably more accessible than a natural free-dived pearl. I mean, can you imagine that, just diving to the bottom of the ocean in a hope of finding a pearl? <laughs> you know, the likelihood is, is probably like the lottery. Um, but yes, yeah, so all of a sudden, these are more uh, accessible, but they're still expensive because of the time that goes into them. Reading on, this is the price that we can expect for a collar pearl, uh, an Akoya pearl. That's one single Akoya, and it's not bad at £129. It's just the pendant. You don't get the chain, by the way. Not a bad price tag, but look at that beautiful luster. I'm not showing that to make comparisons because actually this strand's vastly different, but I'm showing you the simplicity, the scale, and the luster that you see within an Akoya pearl. How about a strand like this? So you go to Blue Nile, very much respected jeweler, um, three thousand pounds for a full strand of Akoya pearls. You no, know, I'm really, I'm really pleased to see that because I've recently restrung a, a, a pearl necklace for my stepmother that looks just like that. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can see the price. Look, I didn't even <laughs> click on the larger size. Yeah. Those are seven to seven and a half millimeters. So if they're bigger or smaller, obviously that's reflective, but £3,000 yeah, just over. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah? So ours, because it's graduated, are six to eight millimetres in their size. So there's some bigger coirs on here. And you're getting... Uh, 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 yeah, well, actually... Do you know what, Ross? You're probably getting more than that length because they're the Cleopatra, which I'll talk about in a few moments' time. I think I can show you another... Mickey Moto, there we go. Akoya pearls, seven to seven point seven millimeters. 
Um, classic rounds, totally natural, £3,690. Beautiful. And those are the prices, that's from Mappin and Webb, um, that we should expect of Akoya pearls. They have that, that supremacy. Again, it's South Sea, Tahitian, Akoya and Edison. They're the big ones. In salt water, it's, it's South Sea, Tahitian and Akoya. You've got three. You've got three. And again, randomly, I've just got a photograph of my children at the end of that PowerPoint. <laughs> I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Look at them. Just, just rocking around. Um, okay. <laughs> but what is what makes this strand, what can take a strand of Akoyas to another level? And you try and find Cleopatra pills. It's really difficult to do. Now, I was like, when I when I first saw this, I was like, what's Cleopatra pills and what, what was that all about? And I sent an email to our supplier. They were uh, not, not available at that given moment in time. Um, so I, and I had the show the following morning. I had to properly research it. And I found one necklace, one necklace. This is the only one I could find. Cleopatra pill necklace, $700. And I was like, aha, I can see the defining feature. Yes. And then I found it in the history books. Cleopatra loved her pearls to tessellate. So can you see how they alternate almost like a, like a Gemini design? Yeah. They uh, almost kiss one another. Again, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Kiss one another around the decolletage. That is what these pearls are all about. Now, it's much more advanced to actually drill your pearls into the, the, the Cleopatra design because they're not quite centrally drilled. They're ever so slightly off center. So the risk is that much greater. Just check this out. Even if you just re-stranded this with silk, you've just seen a necklace there without the rarity of colours. I've got blues in this one as I well. I know, I love those ones. They're stunning, aren't they? You've just seen that necklace there from uh, DBS Fine Jewelers for $700. I don't know the size of them. It doesn't, uh, I don't think it says. In silver, by the way. This strand is in Hannah's kit. And I'm still not done. Yeah, you, you get a far better deal. I launched these. These are Charlie Barron pearls. Um, yeah, I launched them. with Charlie wasn't with me at that on that occasion. And we took them to a higher price tag, I think, than the kit. But you don't just get the, the Cleopatra pearls. You're also getting... Wait, it's not even one. I know. <laughs> two strands of diamonds. Two. Look how perfect they are together. Canary yellow diamonds. And you're getting your beautiful sterling silver bale. Now, there are only 45 chances of this kit. It comes with split pay. Natural Akoya Cleopatra pearls. I launched it a good few months ago, I think it was. They absolutely flew out the door. We've got, I think this is the first time they've been in a kit, it's by the, the way. I've, I've ever had them, and, and I don't know if they've been in a kit before. Well, I don't not, think I've so. Not seen them. No, no, there we go. We can confirm they yeah. haven't. First time they've ever been in a kit. Only got 40 opportunities. And as we always say, you get a better saving when it comes to um, the components if they're in a kit. Because if we look at the level of luxury that you've got here, you've got two strands of beautiful canary yellow diamonds. You've got one strand of Akoya pearls, but even more than that, Cleopatra Akoya pearls. And you've got that beautiful sterling silver um, and a mother of pearl bale which can be a top of a tassel if you wanted it to in 11 seconds the graphics are going to appear and i've got 40 opportunities we can only allocate these on a first come first serve basis and again you will need to check them out hannah the designs that you've done are absolutely beautiful as always so instead of going for cleopatra's look you've scalloped them yeah well because of the way they're drilled so you've got that that's um it's not central it's slightly off mm -hmm. center it means that they they could sit like petals if you wanted to make a flower or beautiful. you can make a scalloped effect so all i've done is i, I i've um I've, I've sort of forced them to sit in the direction that i want and then the only ones that are facing opposite are, the, are these gorgeous sort of blue, blue grey coloured ones. Beautiful. So I've, because I'd only got a few of those on, in my strand, I thought I'm going to use those um, to sort of like punctuate the rest of them. Yeah. 
Um, and I just I just think they look fabulous together. They really I mean, do. But I've never ever used diamonds as spaces I was, before. Yes. I mean, I, honestly. I think, yeah, you've used diamond as spaces, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth, saying, uh, morning, Elle, Hannah, and JM crew. I have the Cleopatra pills, and they're stunning. I'm keeping mine in heirloom jewellery to pass on. Would, yeah, yes. me too. I, I would too as well. Because the reality is I had to really scour the internet, Liz, to actually find Cleopatra pills. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not something that you see very often. And, and, and the history books, actually, the write-up on Cleopatra's pills and why they're called that. Um, there's Obviously, there's history books and stories about, about her dissolving the pill and whatnot. Oh. Um, yes, there's, uh, but that's not the same. It wasn't... That was a huge pill. Cleopatra pills is referring to how they're drilled and how they tessellate together. Very rare. We've, I mean, we're already round about that price tag of that amazing necklace that I showed you at DBS Fine Jewelers. That was with a sterling silver class, really simple addition and components. You're not getting your uber rare blues which are natural as well. So those, in the strand that I have draped across my hand, I've got those beautiful, soft, uh, sort of silvers and blues. Ultra, ultra, ultra rare. But you're also getting two strands of beautiful diamonds. If we were going to stop there, that's all right. That's not bad. If Cleopatra Akoya Bills, it's actually not a bad deal. As if I'm just shunning diamonds. I'm not talking about the diamond. <laughs> We're nowhere near. You know that. I've got 40 opportunities, or rather I had. This is an heirloom opportunity. I agree with you, Liz. And at £199. Wow. That's a mind-boggling price tag for Akoya pearls. This, look, look, can, I, can, I, can I for one second? Sorry, Adam. Look, that on its own, it's a long strand. They're tessellated together. Yeah, so you do get loads. You actually get, lo you get you probably get more than what the length actually is, if that makes sense, because you fit more onto one strand. But if you literally put a magnetic clasp on there, there's your Akoya, uh, your, your Cleopatra Akoya pearl necklace. 700, yeah, job done. You don't have to reinvent the wheel here. Literally just a uh, choose a clasp of choice. Look at that. It is heirloom opportunity, like Liz says. Remember that single Akoya pearl? That single, one single solitary pendant on a split bale pendant for £129 in the sale. Yeah. That's, Just one. I mean, it's gorgeous. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So hang on a second, I can find that in my strand. Loads of them in here. There it is. So imagine, imagine that's the one Akoya pearl, but look how many you actually get. Look at that. Are you happy, Han? Yeah, I didn't even use all of them, so I got these ones left over. Um, I only used one of strand of the diamonds in, in the necklace, and then I've got all of those pearls left. So I could, probably could make a, a bracelet out of that as well, had I got a little bit more time. I was at the NEC the other day, so I was a bit, a bit, a bit pushed for busy, time. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, I mean, it, you get so much in there, and it's all premium, and even if you just kept it, as the strands, yeah, it's still like an heirloom, isn't it? Absolutely. It's something you ages. You know that one I just showed you? There's, I'm hinting. I'm hinting. You're hinting. Is that you're going like Christmas coming? <laughs> I'm, 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 no, 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 no. I wouldn't because there's only forty. I'd love to. If there's any left, I will. Um, so you know that single solitaire pendant at 129 pounds. How about I take? Do you get where I'm coming from? Oh my gosh. Didn't you get where I'm going? Oh my gosh. How about I take the entire Cleopatra, Akoya, Pearl and Diamonds and Sterling Silver kit to that price tag? Oh my gosh, you're not, are you? And by the way, when I launched the Cleopatra Pearls on their own, it was higher oh than the entire kit. <laughs> Often is the way, hence why so many times we get the question, oh, can you buy the, can I buy this on its own? Can I buy that component on its own? You can, but you'll pay more money pay for more it. Money, you yeah. are better off getting involved with our amazing kit with Hannah. We're not stopping at £199. I've said it out loud, we are going to drop that price tag. We are going to match a single Akoya pendant. And I'm not even talking about sort of the blue colours, which are uber, uber, uber rare. They're much more expensive, the blue pearls than sort of a classic ivory much more expensive 
We're going to take the entire kit with your canary yellow diamonds and sterling silver to that £129 price tag. I've said it out loud. Look, I'm doing that in 17 seconds. You're going to see it in black and white on your graphics. Those of you that have been with us for a length of time are saying, right, that's good enough for me, Al. You've said it on air. That means it's going to happen. It's going to happen, and I assure you it will. But there are only 40, or rather there were only 40 opportunities. Cleopatra's Akoya Pearls, that beautiful tessellation, stunning jewellery by our lovely Hannah. You can get, get it home today with your split pay, £43. £43. Wow. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Like, it is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. That's you should be disregarding your diamonds, isn't it? Do you know, we should be paying more than that for the diamonds. I know. <laughs> paying more than that for the diamonds. Never Fantastic. mind your, your, your Akoya Cleopatra mm. Pearls absolutely incredible and i feel sorry for this little component because it's so beautiful but i'm almost almost ignoring it aren't i i mean it's gorgeous in its own right but it's it's, it's like the little cherry on the top it is look at the size <laughs> of those they're absolutely stunning aren't they absolutely oh, gorgeous. gorgeous 129 pounds anna in derbyshire linda in devon dahlia in newport hello to you uh, um somerset maker in devon lorna's multi -bought. well done who was that then lincolnshire you've just got yours as well vivian lancashire devon new customer james Lindsay. um if you want the multiples that i can see in some of your baskets i would definitely definitely check out sooner rather than later you can get Cleopatra Akoya Pearls for £129. Says no one ever, by the way. I know. Says no one ever. It's, it's insane, isn't it? I mean, one of, one of the things I, I was going to mention as well is when I've had um, diamonds like this before, I've, I've mm. sometimes found it quite hard to actually uh, thread, like, thread them on mm. and I've ended up using the, the strand that they come on. These ones, have, they've actually got a, a good enough drill hole to then be able to use normal beading thread and that's why I was able to use them as spaces. So, oh. I, so, so it's like that. Can we just, can we just look? There's, I, there's diamond I can't spaces. Saying in diamond between. spaces. It's just ridiculous. It's not a it, knot. <laughs> that's a canary no, diamond. They're diamonds. Yeah. They are. I mean, they're lovely. That's and they, amazing. And the, I think the colours really. I mean, they're, they're, they're such a sort of a, a creamy kind of like unctuous combination yeah, of perfect. gorgeousness. It's the golden colour of the yeah. Akoyas. It's amazing that that's natural. See, there's almost yellow like uh, yeah. uh, luster. But that's why they go so beautifully with the diamonds. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Stunning. We've never done a kit like this before. Um, never had Cleopatra's Akoya pearls in a, in a kit. Never had two strands of beautiful diamonds in a kit. Um, amazing. You can get it home today for £43 on your split pay. Uh, but they are going. Half the stock has gone already. Christine in Shropshire, Alison in Suffolk, Zena in Yorkshire, Sandra in Warwickshire, Highlands, Lancashire, Devon, Maker, London, Lindsay in Nottinghamshire. Um, you can still do it because obviously it's got to be allocated on a first come, first serve yeah. basis. Um, now, before we dive into your very decadent, very luxurious <laughs> demonstration, um, I'm going to dive into the next kit because if you wanted to, you could mix these kits up beautifully. I would definitely keep your Akoyas exclusively to your Akoyas. Yeah. Um, as in, don't mix it with your um, sort of other locations of cultured pearls, is what I'm referring to. Now, asking you a question. Okay. We've had Grand Digger, right? Yeah. Let's not be, let's not just brush that off. We've had Grand Digerite here, haven't we? It's because we're fancy. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> One of the world's rarest, most valuable gemstones, $20,000 per carat. But I'll ask you a question. Have we ever done 84 centimetres of Grand Digerite? No, 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 no. Look at it. That's a, Dina, that's a, that's a Christmas Day strand. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love this colour. Me too. It's such a beautiful yeah. quality. And I will show you a photograph. You know, the quality of Grand Digerite that you are getting in this entire 84 centimetre strand, that really distinctive, that very almost Olmec Jadeite blue. It's almost Olmec coloured, isn't it? I don't know if we've done Grand Digerite in nuggets before. If this is a first, then thank goodness, thank goodness we did. Uh, we, we are, because it's beautiful in its nugget form. Certified completely and utterly natural. But to go along one of the world's rarest, top 10 most expensive gemstones in the world, I'm going to give you another Akoya Pearl strand. And look at these. <gasps> They're massive. 
Wait, Blue Nile, that website, had eight mils? Eight millimetre Akoya pearls. Well, you know it's more than 3,600 because the seven mil Akoya pearls were that price tag, weren't they? There we go. Seven to 7.5 millimetres, 3,000 pounds. If I click on, can you see the diameter? Eight to 8.5 which is in the realms of what I have draped across my hand right now, the price is obviously going to jump up. There's about three years invested into each Akoya pearl. That's amazing, isn't it? We know why Akoya pearls are as expensive as they are, but they're worth that price tag because the luster that you get is almost mirror-like. I know I won't have many of these. These are some of the largest Akoya pearls that we actually have within the vault. I've got 30. Ah, oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Akoya pearls teamed alongside Grand Digirite, full of beautiful luster. Sorry, I, I, Adam, I'm just seeing this recording. They, they are Gorgeous. literally metallic almost, aren't they? Liquid-like luster. Now I'm going to show you where the pearls on their own, where they launched. For, for up to eight millimeter size, Akoya pearls. So during the birthday celebrations, these pearls, on their own, launched at this price. There are 30 opportunities. What? Can I buy this kit? <laughs> if there's any left, yeah. <laughs> what? In 52 seconds, I'll share with you the information I've just heard in my ear. We're going to take this kit under £100. <gasps> Oh my gosh. This, this, this <laughs> Those pearls, oh. I don't honestly. know, but I think these this should be more expensive, this kit. So beautiful. Because they're bigger. They are big, and you've got Grand Digirite, which is much rarer than diamonds. No disrespect to the diamonds, but they are. Much rarer, much more. The phone lines have literally lit up in 24 seconds. My producer Ross has just said we're going to take it to a double figure price tag. Oh my goodness me. You can buy, no, again, please know that I'm not being disrespectful. You can buy freshwater pearls for £100. Yeah, you can. Not, not, cult, not, not cultured Akoya pearls, freshwater pearls. They've got, it's just so, I can't even get the, the words across it. It's just like, there's something about them. There's something about the It's texture, the luster. It's, it's the, the luster. luster. They're just so crazy and beautiful. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, I stop looking at them. I, I was parading around at home, like taking pictures of myself for, for, for I Facebook. I do not blame you. <laughs> do, seriously, gorgeous. you try and find an Akoya pearl strand like this for a double figure price tag. It, or, or if you go, uh, my mum's got some Akoya pearls um, that I'm, I, I look after for her now because she has carers in the house, out the house. But she's got some really beautiful Akoya pearls, smaller than this. Smaller than this, and I remember my dad buying them for her. Like uh, I think it was about probably about twenty years ago. He snuck them in a cracker, so it's a really in lovely memorial in a cracker wow. on the Christmas table. Oh and I know God. how much she paid. He paid two thousand pounds, and that's twenty odd years ago. Twenty odd years ago, ninety nine pounds. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. I, I mean, <laughs> oh Mr. B, I wish you were here now because I tell you what, you'd be all over this. He would. He'd be snapping up these Akoya pearls, they're, my dad. They're so stunning. I love that gesture. What a lovely thing to it do. It was the sweetest um, thing. <laughs> it was the sweet. He is the sweetest. True though. romantic. He was. Yeah. He used to. He literally pulled the little, pulled all the like the hat and the floaty fish and all that out there and stuffed a little, Aww. little Akoya pearl necklace Aww. in there. The sweetest. What a sweetheart. Um, yeah. Amazing. Right then, Hannah. I'm so excited about these beautiful designs. What are you going to demo? Um, if I can borrow that tassel top. You certainly um, can. Then I can show you how to make the tassel on the Grand Digirite um, necklace. Please do. Make sure right. you check out your baskets on that kit. It is there was very limited. There was only 30. Um, I'm down to the final. Oh, if everybody checks out. Oh, we're over allocated. Yeah, 20 people will miss out if everybody checks out. So make sure you do. Don't, I don't want you to. That, that's incredible. Akoya pills at £99. It's I, crazy. I can't believe we've just done that. Crazy. Well, £129. Pounds, crazy. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> um, okay, over to you. Fab. Okay, so I've got um, a couple of.
couple of couple of bits that aren't in the kit that I've added. So I've got some featherweight head pins mm. because they're great for going through pearls. Um, I've got some um, sterling silver chain which came out of a findings pack, and I've just I've got them on a needle so that I could actually make sure I cut them all to the same length. Yeah. And then what you'll find is in the, in the underside of the um, tassel uh, top there are little tiny loops. So one, two, three, four, five little tiny loops, and that's what we're going to attach them to. Um, but to start with, I'm just going to do some straightforward little um, creations, if you like. So take uh, one of your featherweight head pins, choose some pearls that are roughly the same size. So, uh, so I've gone for quite big ones actually here because I, I think they add to the sort of like the movement. I'm just going to pop that in there, and then I'm just going to have a quick look at the actual necklace because I think I put. I think it's like three. Oh, I've used a spacer bead as well, actually. Let me see if I've got any. Have I got a spacer bead I can add in there? Have I got enough spacer beads I can add in there? Yes, I think I have. Um, the spacers, uh, probably four mil, would you call it? Yeah, four mil. About four mil. We'll see if we can find some sterling silver spacers. You could do it with on smaller ones. It's just, it's just because that's all, what, what I've um, added. Now, the kit that Oops. you've got on your screens right now, there's five left. That's all we got left. So Lorna, Janet, Lancashire, Joan, James, Patricia, Teresa, and those are the only names. That, those are the names that I can see. I know there's more. I've got five left. So you're not you're not going to get an opportunity to get a coy of pills for under hundred pound again. That's crazy. Um, you know what? I did a lot of Christmas shopping over the weekend, just gone, so did I need you? to watch the purse strings. Ah. But I would be crazy to pass this opportunity up. So if they're not gone come the end of this hour, this hour I'm all over those Akoya pearls. I mean, honestly, they, they are so beautiful. I mean, I'm... I'm £99. Sort of... pounds. And that, the grand did you write should... The grand did you write should be more than that. <laughs> one nine nine for the strand on its own, if you want. They're really big as well, aren't they? I mean, that's the one thing that struck me with these high. pearls, apart, apart from the fact that these gorgeous sequoia in the colour and everything. Yeah. The size of them. Absolutely. And get your certificate as well. Hello, uh, Elizabeth saying, got mine. Thank you so much. Incredible, uh, incredible price. Absolutely. Well done. Well done to you. I don't blame you. It's a mad deal. Absolutely mad. You could literally walk that into a jeweller with the certificate and go, there you go. Some sequoia pearls. I know. Don't tell them how much you paid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do you want to buy them off me, maybe? Anyway, sorry, carry That's on. Amazing. Yeah, so basically I'm just making like the little um, tassel drop. So I'm adding a pearl onto a featherweight head pin, uh, then a little um, four mil spacer. And then I'm just taking sort of like a section of the um, Grand right straight off the strand. And then hopefully you should be able to then work those straight onto the head pin. Oh, drop that bit. There you go. Like that. And I want, just want to make sure they're sort of roughly the same, same sort of size as each other. Um, then I'm just using round nose pliers and I'm making a little wrapped loop just at the top there. And then these little um, pieces of chain that I've used. There we go. You just put some spacer beads on your screen now so yep, they you can don't, replicate what Hannah's doing. Yep, they don't have to be the formal. It was just so that there was a little bit of the silver there because I wanted to sort of pick up the silver in the tassel top otherwise it might sort of lose it amongst all these gorgeous pearls <laughs> so just wrapping the tail end of that round again so I'm securing the pieces of chain which I've pre-cut so that they're all roughly the same size or hopefully are the same size I might have made them a little bit long looking at them but you get the idea and I need to make all of them sort of yeah as I guess you don't have to make them the same. If you wanted to go for a more kind of quirky look. Like a layered tassel. Yeah. I mean, you could absolutely, you know, mix it up as to how many um, how many chips you put on there or what spaces you put on there. Anything you like, really. Like that. Just adding that in there. I don't know. It was just something pleasing about the fact um, when you've got, like, the, these heavy pearls on the end, they have that lovely sort of kind of pendulous swing when you're yeah, wearing them as well so you feel like you're wearing something luxury team so perfectly alongside the grand right nuggets as well don't they i absolutely love the colors together they look fabulous and the stone and the fact that it's just all so high-end 
you know, it's just... Oh, it's uber indulgent it's, today. It, honestly, I think I think it's pro probably the most prestigious kit I've ever had. Yeah, well, I'm I mean, I've surprised. had some pretty lovely kits, but my yep. goodness me. Well, there's three left of the Grand Digirite one. Just three. Um, and the Cleopatra one, stock update on that. I know we won't have many of those either because there was a lot of names on the course screen. Um, so I don't know, it might well have even sold out, but it'll be very, very, very limited across both those kits. So um, stay where you are on those phone lines. Make sure you do check them out. Love it. I mean, how amazing would it be to, like, to open like Cleopatra pearls as a Christmas present? Ah, yes, please. I mean, uh, you'd be bowled over, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. I think people are starting to think about what they might want to wear like that the, there's there's more chance of people going out this year for christmas and you know just wanting to party and wanting yes, to well we can to this feel year, a bit dressed we? up a bit fancy a bit special yeah you know? if you know somebody who's got got like a, a big birthday coming up or you know that you want to get them something a little bit different i mean there's no way anyone else is going to be able to sort of say you know, I've got a coil of pearls. Oh, by the way, and I've got Grand Digerite. Or yeah. if you've got the if you've got the Cleopatra's, then and it's got diamond spaces. Amazing. I mean, I'm I'm still slightly reeling that I was allowed to have all of these in the same. Oh, well, kit. I mean, lucky you. Um, <laughs> the one the the, the Yakoya and Grand Digerite kit has sold out. Um, we have still got the beautiful Cle uh, Cleopatra pearls. I love the Cleopatra pearls. I love, I love the, the fact they tessellate them. together. Yeah. Um, now you you can buy the strand on, on its own if you wish. But you pay more than what the entire kit is, where you get two additional strands of beautiful canary yellow diamonds and sterling silver components. Um, we're also going to put two, uh, uh, on our screens two millimetre spacer beads as well. Do you know what? I think, I think they'd be quite lovely with, with a... Um I mean, if you've got different sizes of spacer bead, you can do a graduated kind of top to these tassels. Nice. So you can have sort of like a four, three and a two mil at the top and it kind of tapers it even more. So that adds to the sort of the tassel shape. Mm -hmm. It looks fab. So I'm nearly there. I have to make all of them, otherwise I can't. I can't show you how to attach it to the top because it's it's an all-in-one all right. motion kind of thing. <laughs> so is it five? So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of um, wildfire. If I can get it off the reel. And then I think I've probably actually made these a little bit long, but you'll get the idea. So I'm just going to feed this through. Underneath there are some little loops. And what I want to do is feed the thread straight through, no needle, just straight through, and then through the very end of one of the tassels. So it's a little bit of patience to make sure it goes through. Move on. Don't drop it, don't drop it. There's the first one, and then once you've got it on, you're going to go through the next little loop right next to it. Almost not breathing at this point. <laughs> yeah, holding your breath. Remember to breathe, Han. Remember to breathe. <laughs> okay, and then again, I'm just going to pop that through the very end chain link, and then come back to your little tassel top and pass the thread through the next loop along. This is one of those things where I probably put my face really close to it when I'm doing it at home. So bear with me. That will go through there. And then the next one. Just passing this through. like that and through there if I can get that through almost almost there trust me it's worth it's worth the time <laughs> it's worth the wait because it looks so lovely when it's all put together don't stress, we'll have them watching you. Okay, okay, that's good. And then one more. If I can get that through there. Come on, go through the loop. I'm literally holding my breath trying to get these through now. <laughs> I 
thing is you're doing that at, at arm's length as well, aren't you? Yeah, so. it's it's one of those. It's it's always easier when you're at home because you can get your face really close to what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and then it makes it a lot easier. Okay. One day I'd like to see like Hannah you like this. <laughs> That's the kind of face I would pull. I'm almost like that at the moment, though. I've, I've, I'm, 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 I'm slowly becoming my dad, I think, with my the glasses. And I, I've started to do that thing where you screw your face up. Yeah, I'd, yeah. See things? <laughs> to read, yeah. I'm not sure why that makes it any better, but... Um, I don't know, right. yeah, because surely narrowing in your eyes would make it worse. And, oh, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, when you've got them all on, so, so what I've done, I've basically, I've added a chain between each of the loops okay with just the same piece of thread go all the way around and then you're going to tie yourself a nice secure knot and it it kind of doesn't really matter what color thread you use but this is the gray one just i just thought it'd be less visible if, yeah. if the tassel did move for any reason and then you might want to add a little dab of glue or you might be all right just to trim it and then when you hold it the right way up you have this amazing, quite quite heavy, but but it, oh, it's so got this beautiful, beautiful like that. movement to it. Yeah, so this one's longer than the other one that I made, but I I really like that. I actually think if you had a couple of those, they'd make amazing earrings. Fabulous as well, earrings. But, but, um, I'm not suggesting buy buy two of the kits, but just if anybody's seen that component in anything else. But I just I just really like it like that. You know, I, th I think they look fabulous. I love the combination. I can't believe I've had a coin of pearls. You're a lucky girl. And in the other kit, there's diamonds as well. I know. You had two strands of a coin of pearls. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're a very, very, very lucky girl. So there we go. Amazing. Well done, everybody that managed to get hold of those gorgeous kits. Um, and make sure you do take a photograph of your lovely creations and send them into the Wall of Fame so we can admire them too. They're I'd absolutely to them, stunning. Yeah. yeah, I would too. Now, if you are working with the coin of pearls, an absolute must I think we'd all agree when it comes to luxury pearls and well, pearls in general, to be truthful, especially if you're working with, say, a beading thread or a silk, um, are your wire end tips also go by the term wire guardians. So um, they look like little pairs of earphones, don't they? Little they do. Earphones. Yeah. Um, here you go. You can see on the photograph. Now, any professional piece of jewellery will either have French wire or wire guardians. Yes. Uh, that necklace that I was just describing that my dad bought has got French wire. Now, I prefer wire guardians i actually think they're far easier to use i think yeah i think they are easier because you haven't got to choose the length yeah because well yeah, yeah if you're using the french wire you've got you've, you've got to get exactly the sort of the right yeah amount to them when it's folded it sort yeah. of looks right it, compared to the the string that you're working with whereas yeah. it's a pre the pre-done for it. you yeah. and you have uh, basically you feed your silk through one end uh sort of wrap it around follow the gully of your wire guardian down through the other and that stops that uh, uh or prevents i should say uh the silk or the beading thread from actually uh rubbing if as you can imagine by the clasp is where it's going to get the most action if you like and that's where it has the potential um of a uh, fraying um silk is a natural component in particular so you, yeah you do need to sort of Add longevity to your design with your wire guardians, but it looks that much more professional as well. Now, these are 925 sterling silver. Um, I'm going to be adding some of these to my order um, because I've got a few strands of pearls that I want to, uh, I want to literally strand. There's only 30 off. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Even, even if it's... Um I mean, if it's not pearls, I mean, it might be just that you've got something else that you want to knot on silk. Yeah. Like, I would still absolutely make sure that you've absolutely. got the guardians because it, it, it does. It just stops the friction between the, the, the clasp and the, the rest of the, the piece of jewellery. And that's where all the wear and tear comes in. Absolutely. They give you yeah. that professional finish. So, yeah, I think, they, I think the idea was they were designed to go on pearls as an alternative to French wire. But you don't have to use them so i'm going to use ann and sue's one of ann and sue's necklaces as an example so if i show you just here so um they've just they, they've crimped it towards the ends but if you had wire guardians you wouldn't actually have that exposed beading thread can you see that yeah because um, the guardian would go through the the end of the loop wouldn't it yeah absolutely so um i mean they're beautiful and look at that perfectly finished but if you wanted to if, if you imagine that beading thread just there was actually a silk or a fi uh, or, or a yeah. natural fiber yeah. then 
that area itself can fray and eventually break. So it adds longevity to your designs. £5.99, that gets you a full pack of 20 of them. Um, you'll need two in a bracelet or two in a necklace. Yeah, it's not exclusive to pearls. You can actually use your wire guardians with anything. Well done. Lavinia, hello to you. Mandy, hello to you. Cheshire, RuPaul, Linda, Cambridgeshire, Angela, Susan, D. hello to you. Uh, Devon, Sheila, Mandy, new customers. Okay, uh, we're running out of time within this hour, but I've still got one of my all-time favourite gemstones to bring you. A gemstone that would look amazing with your Akoya pearls. It would. And yeah. if you're lucky enough to see uh, Cry Surprise, it's probably going to be in one of your more expensive jewellery establishments. We'll talk some more. Cry Surprise is your deal of the day after this. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi everybody, Managing Director Scott here and I've got something incredible to bring you. So, myself and Wayne went to India not too long ago now and we found some of the most incredible cuts of gemstones that we've just never seen before. And I thought, myself, I've got to bring them back to you. And it's taken a little bit of time, but join me on Monday for Gems from Jaipur. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. I've just clocked that's you. 
<laughs> I don't know, I'm all over the place. I keep cropping up all over the place. I was like, I recognise, I recognise the graceful movements of that advert. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's our lovely Hannah. Amazing. Um, <laughs> I tell you, I'm so smitten with this gemstone. Um, Chrysoprase. An absolute vision in green. But never mind my words. I found an article that uh, those of you that know me know I'm a big fan of the jewellery editor. And, and the jewellery editor has more exposure to high-end jewellery than the likes of Bonhams and Sotheby's. Wow. Yeah. Gosh, OK. So, so if you want to read or learn about a gemstone, I would always recommend looking at the jewellery editor first. Um, Anybody can access it. This isn't one where you have to subscribe to or anything like that. But so, for example, if you entered in Chrysoprase Jewelry Editor, you'll find this article as well. Um, but it's poetic. How they write is so poetic about the gemstone. And clearly, the author has the same passion for this gemstone that many of us do. So Chrysoprase, the stunning green gemstone with soothing properties. The word chrysoprase rolls off the tongue like a William Wordsworth poem, which perfectly describes the gentle beauty of chrysoprase jewellery and watches. It is poetic. It's poetry in colour. Stunning. Like mm. There's a lovely lilt to the word chrysoprase. It just kind of rolls off the tongue like it belongs to a William Wordsworth poem and the stone matches its name. Chrysoprase varies from a soft sea green to a darker piney shade. The word comes from the Greek chris, meaning gold or yellow, and praise, which refers to the colour green. The darker varieties of chrysoprase are sometimes called praise. One of the more valuable varieties of chalcedony, chrysoprase contains small quantities of nickel, which gives it a green colour. Although there is a smoothness to the stone, it is actually made of minute crystals so small that they cannot be seen um, as distinct particles, even under normal magnification. Chrysoprase is found throughout the world. Some of the better known deposits are Queensland, Australia, Germany, Poland, Russia, the United States and Brazil. Often the nickel inclusions will be made uh, will make unusual patterns in the stone, making each one unique. There is something very soothing about chrysoprase jewellery. With its green colour, it is often associated with nature and prosperity, particularly in matters of the heart. It seems appropriate that one of its metaphysical properties is healing a broken heart. The colour makes you think of apple orchards on summer's day and long walks on country roads. Yes. I could see that. Totally, mm. totally. And here it is, this visual, striking, distinctive green gemstone that really, in my eyes, there's nothing even remotely close in terms of similarity. No, it's such an unusual colour, isn't it? It's maybe really striking. Maybe imperial jade. But then that also makes sense for, uh, and gives us understanding for why the Chinese market will often pay a huge price tag for this gemstone. But look at that lovely design. You've got your golden polar bear and the chrysoprase pendant, um, 300 pounds. Could you create something like that? Yeah. If, if you get the hold of little bear, yeah. I think you could make that or you could do an alternative, That's maybe a little sweet, bee. He? He's lovely, isn't he? Just perched on. And if you think about maybe your glaciers, like, a, a, like an iceberg, they have this glow about them, don't they? So I love where that yes. designer um, was going with this. I can show you some more beautiful designs. A necklace here by Jordan Clary in Nevada. Looks like a Paraiba tourmaline nestled at the top there. Just, again, high-end gems. High-end gems. This was a photograph within that article of the jewellery editor. I've got more pieces we can show. I mean, look at those. Piaget, rose passionate earrings in white gold uh, with pear-shaped rubelites. I mean, oh, my goodness me. And chrysoprase surrounded by the finest quality of diamonds. I love those designs. I love that contrast between the rubelite um, and the chrysoprase. Yeah, and then with diamonds almost making up like a cameo. Look at this for a stunning ring. I got, this is from uh, um, uh, Fred Payne de Sucre ring in gold and diamonds uh, with an interchangeable cabochon of chrysoprase. 
How it's look? Shop. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I don't know, but I, I wouldn't want to change it. I think that's lovely as it is. But this is an ideal photograph for me to show you the quality of the green, the level of translucency that you're seeing in this cabochon. And now I'm going to ask you to look at the quality of the green. Can we look at the pendant? The quality of the green and the level of translucency that you are getting with your Christ Appraised Deal of the Day opportunities. It's gorgeous, yeah, isn't it? I mean, unbelievable. It's just, it's just singing, isn't it? It's, yeah. like it's, got, it's like it's glowing from the inside. Totally. Bear with me. Hold that thought. Because this is how we should be looking at Christ Wow, Appraised. look at this. On a white background. <gasps> It's just such a gorgeous colour. Look at it. Amazing, isn't it? It's absolutely unbelievable. Look at that. Now I'm going to start with Chrysopraise. Dave has also been on air, spoken... Of, and I'm, can I do that before we, go, we, we open the first auction opportunity of your deal of the day? Because Dave... Um, uh, was it Tucson? I think it was Tucson. Earlier on this year... He spoke to one gem trader that specialised in chrysoprase and he was uh, discussing exactly this gemstone, exactly this opportunity. And uh, the trader showed him a few articles, showed him a few different designers that were actually working with chrysoprase, the likes of your Dior. I mean, take a little look at that photograph. Look at the colour of those strands, literally on front covers of magazines, chrysoprase, it could have been any gemstone, um, but chrysoprase strands. And Dave was aiming to purchase a strand of Chrysoprase to maybe make an, an amazing necklace for our sibling channel. It didn't manifest because look at the big heavyweight jewellers that are actually working with yeah. this material right now. Piaget, that looks like a rubelite again. Tiffany's and Co. Working with your Chrysoprase. There we go. There's within the Tiffany's and Co. Uh, magazine. If you want to see that bracelet, look at the colour. Look at the colour. We've got literally a split, sh uh, a split screen before us. Look at the quality of the colour in the Tiffany's magazine and in your amazing, amazing collection today. And if you want to see that, that bracelet under closer inspection, I think we've got a photograph of that as well, haven't we? Well, no, this is the strand that Dave wanted to buy until he saw the 3,000. Wow. Uh, I can't remember if he said dollars or pounds, but that's at wholesale. That's, wholesale. That's mega, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's a staggering price point, but it's justified because Chrysoprase is really beautiful. It's that striking green that the, 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 the jewellery editor wrote about only a few moments ago. It's almost otherworldly, isn't it? Totally. You know, it's such, a, such an unusual, striking, glowing stone. I love it. I think I need some of it. I love Chrysoprase. I, I reckon it's yeah. one of my favourites. On the surface, uh, the 16.4 tonne freak of nature isn't much to look at, but veteran sapphire miner Jimmy, uh, Jenny and Jim Elliott say this semi-precious stone is one of, if not the world's biggest boulder of Australian jade. Oh. Do you know what they're referring to? Australian jade? Chrysoprase. Oh, Chrysoprase. Oh, they refer okay. to Chrysoprase as Australian jade. The Marlborough area uh, is world famous for chrysoprase and the Elliot specimen would have been one of the best. Chrysoprase is usually found in thin bands or in bits and pieces. The Elliot's, Elliot's initially tried to sell the boulder in China where it could have been carved and turned, turned into jewellery. But the logistics of getting a mammoth rock overseas was too great. And anyway, we've got to preserve these things for Australians. It's important, says Jim. They're talking about a vast boulder of chrysoprase, and, and, uh, which, was, which was discovered. The reality is, in those microscopic little crystals that the first article actually spoke about, there's the boulder. Wow. There's that it's boulder enormous. itself, yeah. Amazing. From the outside, uh, from the outside, just literally looks like a big pile of dirt, doesn't it? But on the inside, you've got them on those beautiful, striking gemstones. And the article themselves, this, uh, you know, that's literally how it was written about. Couples Australian jade boulder. That's just likely world's biggest. It's phenomenal. It's yeah, beautiful. Absolutely but it's enormous. this amazing. 
it's this amazing treasure that they were uh, that they were actually uh, 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 excited about. Now, if you wanted one, just one individual round, there's a beautiful uh, pendant from David Morris, the London jewellers, local to us then. Fortuna, small pendant with with Christ appraised one thousand nine hundred pounds. It's wow. pretty. I mean, it's lovely. But it's not a full strand, is it? Look at this colour, it's natural. Certified, completely and utterly natural. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's the creaminess that you see within Chrysoprase. It's that intensity of colour. It's the largest size of faceted, round Chrysoprase that we have ever had. Ever, ever, ever had. We've had smaller strands. In fact, we had a smaller strand not so long ago, didn't we? And it pretty much sold out. If you're looking for a big statement carrot weight, look how it is. Look how it sits against the decolletage. It literally radiates and glows. Completely and utterly natural. If, like Hannah and I, you're completely transfixed and hooked on this yeah, gemstone I now. I, I, need, I need to get some, I think. This with the with the, with the aqua pearls. Oh my gosh, absolutely stunning. Oh, really, really stunning. I love the way it glows. Like just when you're holding it like that, if, if to see you like across a room, I think like, no disrespect, but the first thing I'd see is the is the necklace totally. because of the colour. It's just like wow. It is one of that? those grab you know, attention yeah. grabbing genuine gemstones that's completely and utterly natural. The only time you really see colour like this is normally where a gem has undergone I don't know some form of irradiation or treatment. You know, like a green onyx yes. has been dyed. Yeah, yeah. Love it. I love green onyx. Gorgeous. This is all Mother Nature's doing. So there's no enhancement to this whatsoever. In a few moments' time, we are going to open this auction. I have a limited quantity because naturally Chrysoprase, and at the beginning of that article, high-end jewellers work with this gemstone. Piaget with the Rubelite. Uh, yeah, I mean, gosh, I mean, and Tiffany's as well. You Tiffany's. Know, it's, it's just they're, they are the, the top names, aren't they? Big names. And they could, let's be honest, they, they could have chosen to work with an Imperial Jadeite, couldn't they? They could. They yeah. could have done. They, they, I think they've got a fairly unlimited budget, those buyers. They very, chose very deep price of praise. <laughs> yes. Now, I want to show you one strand that we found elsewhere, which is lovely, but this is what we, we're used to. Because Chrysa Praise is ordinarily, uh, you get these fine layers that, again, we read out during that article. So to have an amount, a proportion of the host rock is not unusual. It's lovely. Yeah. It's Chrysa Praise. It's not a solid, natural colour. Are you ready for this? This is limited. The biggest faceted rounds we've ever had, and the auction is open now. Go, 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 go. This with your uh, with your Akoya pearls would just be insane. Stunning. I mean, absolutely insane. I, I really love the 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 rubelite um, combination with yeah. it. That, like, that sort of strong pink really sort of bounced off this gorgeous colour, didn't it? I mean. I mean, maybe, I think there's loads of things you could add to this. I, I like greens with purple, so I'd love to see it in, um, with things like amethyst. Oh, amazing. Or, that would or maybe, be lovely. I don't know, you could go for a real sort of zingy orange, something really Orange strong. would be lovely too. Yeah. Really I, lo I love the idea colors. of literally colour contrasting this with yeah. some, uh, some, some really vibrant colours. It's beautiful. And like you said, even from sort of across the room, it's a gemstone that it does absolutely command attention. Yeah. Um, big collectors in straight away. Jewelers actually getting involved straight away. It is, it's not a shy and retiring gemstone. This is not one of those that is gonna sort of, you know, happy to be sort of sit in the background. This is one of those that pops, it stands out, even from, you're probably about three meters away in terms of the actual uh, camera itself. Now, first price point. We've seen a strand at the beginning of this year. It was January going into February this year. The only strands, which make a comparison by all means, that we saw, it was Dave himself, that we saw in Tucson buying at wholesale $3,000. There it is. Plain rounds, beautiful color, amazing translucency. But don't you think yours holds its own in terms of the... Definitely. I love the fact we've got uh, like facets on there as well. I mean, yeah, like, faceted and graduated. Lo that lovely twinkly effect. 
because of it. I mean, look at that. It's just so gorgeous. I mean, $3,000 is a lot of money. It, it, it is a lot of money. Yeah, it really is. And that's wholesale. So what would that be at retail? Oh, gosh. We're at £249. So we're what? I can't do the maths on that. Less than 10% of that price tag. And we are no way near. No way near. Next price crash. I've got it in different cuts. As you can see, the beautiful jewellery that our lovely Anne and Sue have created is all from this one single parcel. Look at me, live on air, I'm just reaching for all the cry surprise, desperate to put, put it, it on. Yeah, put it on. Look at it against the, the skin. Oh, amazing. And, and this is the only rounds, I believe, is that right? Of our, of our new selection, this is the only round strand that we have. They are the largest that we have too. Look at that colour. It's insanely so vibrant. Gorgeous. It's stunningly beautiful. Again, look, 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 if you were to think I, about... Just that one for you. Please. Sorry, there you go. <laughs> this is red carpet worthy, it, isn't it? I mean, it, it really is. You, you look so, so expensive in that. You really do. Like, I like, love that. It's my like, husband, where are you going? My husband would agree <laughs> with you there. He's like, she is expensive. <laughs> um, but yes, but not if I'm getting my, my price appraised from your deal of the day hour. It's absolutely... Absolutely beautiful. You know, years ago, um, Angelina Jolie walked down the red carpet wearing those amazing emerald, Earring. emerald earrings, yeah. didn't she? Absolutely yes. incredible emerald earrings. And she looked stunning. She had the most gorgeous tailored gown, very simple. It was all about the emerald earrings. That's what this gemstone can deliver. Intensity of colour. We're at £99 for 65 carats of uh, faceted chrys uh, chrysoprase in graduated rounds. That is not your price tag i know you said these were limited roscoe how limited's limited we only had 95 oh okay but that's 95 more than we've had before this is uh, we've had more jade out than we have quite have price appraised yes yeah. most locations are actually mined out wow there's very I mean. little price appraised coming from the ground certainly in australia anyway we're at 99.99 and we are not stopping there. Today, we're gonna to take this under 50 pounds. If you want that impact of color, look no further than what's on your score. It's so low. Ross, it's so low. 39.99 literally glows from distances away. There is no other gemstone I can think of, whether it be a green or a blue or a red or a pink or a yellow, no other gemstone that has such a dramatic, a dramatic impact. Look at that. It's really striking, isn't it? Imagine it's a black spinel. Oh. It'd be very, it'd be very um, sort of, what's the word? Kind of like, it's still glamorous, isn't it? But yeah, uh, for me, if you were to put this with black spinel and pearls, very 1920s. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we often often talk about the, the, the black with the green and gold for, for Art Deco, oh, things beautiful. like that, yeah. So beautiful. At 39.99, this is the only... I'm, I'm joining you on this strand. Desperate to get hold of this lovely strand. And I would probably, if I, got, if I managed to get hold of your kit, I'd probably team it alongside the Akoyas. I'd de definitely put it with the Akoyas. It's I'm, the biggest I mean, carrot weight. Fabulous colours together. They oh, are. beautiful. Mm. Now, remember that strand I showed you at $3,000 at Tucson at the beginning of this year? And I said that we're already less than 10% of that price tag. What are we now? I can't do the maths. It's not far off. One? I tell you what, let's make it one. That's just... One percent <laughs> of the price that we saw at wholesale, at wholesale, at Tucson, at the beginning of this very year. Well done, Anne, Lynn, Alison, Maria, Linda, Angela. None of you will be paying $39.99. Um, here is your deal of the day opportunity. It's the only faceted rounds that we have. They're the largest that we have. The glow and intensity of beautiful colours, just, um, it's unparalleled, isn't it? I mean, it, I've never seen anything quite like it. It's absolutely stunning. We're dropping that price. We're going to take it to a 1%. It's less than 12 months ago that we saw it at retail in a strand. Do you think Dave and Jake actually bought those Chrysler Preys?
They didn't. I can tell you they didn't because it would have to be part of our Larie collection. Yes. And, it, and obviously we work off tiny margins, but even then that's going to be a five grand necklace. Yeah, as a finished piece. I mean, uh, yeah, easily, easily. Easily. If I, any other jeweller, then that would be times 300% yes. at, at the very yeah, least plus that. Like <laughs> that's the difference. This is what's so... And they can only get two. I've got 93, or rather I had 93 opportunities. These are faceted graduated rounds. You are working... You're, you're working with the same ingredients, the same levels of rarity and luxury that, that Piaget do, that, 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 that Tiffany's and co do, but without those price tags. D and Alison, Linkshire, Helena, Rupal, sorry, Lynn, Maria. Oh my goodness me, no. Oh my gosh, what's he doing? Oh, well, a fix back on the screen. I know, last week, Dave brought a Chrysoprase tram to wear. It sold out, I believe. It was a slightly smaller carrot weight than what you have right now. Ten carrots. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> smaller sizes. This is that same Australian sauce. Same parcel. There's no logic to this whatsoever. <laughs> Maybe because, I don't know, Just that was like Dave it. that literally got that price. That's Dave's phone that took that photograph that we're referring to. $3,000. We're going to match his price, even though this is 10 carats more and they are bigger in their size. I think all chance of me actually purchasing this strand just went out the window. Yeah, out the window. Say, yeah. If you were with <laughs> Dave and myself only, uh, only last week, I think it was, it was, a, it was a mad, mad, mad deal for Chrysoprase. This, this gemstone, which I think someone texted in saying it's like kryptonite, the colour. It yes. literally glows. Oh, maybe that's what I've been thinking of, you know. It's just that kind of otherworldly kind of glowing It doesn't thing. look like yeah. it should, but it should no. form on this planet. No, it doesn't. It's amazing. And I it's natural. It. Natural, natural. I love green onyx. I've always been a big fan of green onyx, but it's died. It's died that way. Nothing yeah. wrong with that whatsoever, and that's why it's more um, affordable. This is certified totally and utterly natural Australian jade chrysoprase. How awesome is that? That I mean, it's just stunning, isn't it? I mean, the fact that you can get so much on that strand, it's graduated, yeah. it's faceted, and it's that an incredible colour. I mean, look at that one. You've got one that's really, really kind of jelly-like almost there. Yeah, you're talking about the translucency yeah, there. Look uh, amazing. That. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Natural, natural, natural. Loads of multi-buyers getting involved on this one. Linda's got three. Surrey's got two. Helena's got two. London's got two. Cambridgeshire, Janet, Dorothy, Lorraine, Surrey. Uh, London's just bought two. Valentina, well done to you. Um, I can see Anne, David, Susan, London, Lauren, Cheryl. Hello to you, Jennifer. Maker, Maker, Susan, Jane, Irina, Helen. Janet in Buckinghamshire's just got two. Anne in Hampshire's just got three. I love it. And this is the only... Only strand of faceted rounds that we have, the only one. Um, hello, Dee. Thanks for the price drop. Uh, can buy more now. <laughs> I just feel I can. I can almost visualise our Roscoe literally doing the mic drop in there right now <laughs> for his price drop. It's mad, though, Ross. That is absolute madness. Clip. Do you do a little wave? That's Ross's version of a mic drop. There you go. Yeah, there it goes. I'm so uncomfortable <laughs> with things like that, aren't you, Ross? He's like, what are you doing now? <gasps> Look! If you've got some black spinel at home... It, w it would look stunning, actually, wouldn't it? Oh. Really gorgeous. And all your precious metals. It's going to complement all your precious metals. Hello, Alison. This is my favourite gemstone always. It was the first piece I ever made with Jewelry Maker products um, and did it with rose gold jump rings and chain mail. Wow. Ah, lovely. Oh, Absolutely lovely. Do you know what? I hear you, Alison. I love all green gemstones, but I think, you know, of all your greens, I would normally have said Zavarite Garnet, but I have to say my, my passion of chrysoprase is up there as well. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, OK, I've got to move on just because of quantity. Shall we do? So if you love these earrings. I do love those earrings, actually. I keep looking at them. They're cool, aren't they? Yeah, they're really, I mean... So simple but elegant and incredibly beautiful. These are super limited, brand new, 
Uh, here we go. There's that one, some in there as well. Look at that colour, seriously. Look at that colour. It's, it's crazy that that comes from Mother Nature. It, I mean, I love that. I love the fact that it's, it's a natural thing and I mean, oh. it, there is so much more to our world than we oh. realise quite often, isn't there? Yeah, well, uh, you know... Hidden treasures. Absolutely. This is huge in its carrot weight. And again, look how beautifully translucent they are. Um, amazing natural colour. You've got your checkerboard faceting on both front and reverse. You know, the, the translucency, exactly like jade. They, you know, it's not... It's not a coincidence that they refer to it as Australian jade. They're talking about the, the, the you know, the comparable colour to imperial green jade. Also, the comparable translucency that you see with, or the, uh, the, uh, the aspired yeah, jade. Yeah, you That coveted it, jade. Yeah. Um, that's what this actually has. This is the same strand that you're seeing on Adam's recording, just different light sources. Remember here in the studio, gemstones, especially of an intense colour like this, we're not looking at them at the most favourable. That's the reality. This is the worst that they're going to look. Wait till you get them home and you literally see that beautiful colour. Nobody is paying 129. How many did you say, sorry, quantity? 45. Linda, well done. Multi-buying. Alison in Suffolk, straight on in there. Well done. You could use these with your gallery wire. You can use them with your bezel strips. You can use them with your sea beads. 39 pounds and 99 pence. Again, they'd look lovely if you got them with pearls as well. You could do like multi-layered looks and just have an occasional one like sort of dotted around and then yeah. maybe little rounds in there as well. You could, oh. Oh, you could make some fabulous pieces of jewellery, couldn't you? That's a chunky old like um, cocktail ring, isn't it? Look at that, just yeah. one. Use one as a big statement stone, just like that. We, should, we had that ring earlier on, didn't we? Yes, yeah, with the, the interchange. I've been thinking I'm, about that. I, I, it, uh, must have, it must be sitting in a, like a magnetic bezel or something. Maybe. So you can take that out and swap maybe. the stone. Click maybe, click in and out. But look at that yeah. colour. Gorgeous. It's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Set in what? Diamonds and gold. Look at the amount of... I know it's not the same cut, but you get the idea, don't you? You can see the level of quality and the intensity of colour. Now, there's loads of you there. I've got... I had 43. Oh, we want to sell them out today, says Roscoe. He's a, oh, you, you've, put, you've tipped him into one of those moods again. I don't come on here just to sell one or two, Al. No. Especially when there's 45 within the vault. I want to make sure all of them actually go, um, are in your collections. I, uh, can you imagine? Can you imagine there being like a... We, we, we talk about the jade fever. Imagine a Chrysoprase fever. Oh, I mean... <laughs> oh. I just think it's beautiful. I mean, I, I love the fact that you could team it with so many different things. You, like, you could make it something really fancy and, and like you're going out of an evening, or you could make something that you just ch like chuck on, like a, like, you know, like a stretchy bracelet, but beautiful. it would still look fabulous. Even like the simplest of jewellery, with it, like because of the colour, because of the shapes, it's striking. I love it. I yeah. absolutely love it. And like you said, you can really colour contrast it. Yeah, you, can, you could, absolutely. You can tone it down. You can maybe just use one chrysoprase, couldn't you, in, yeah. amongst, um, in amongst some of your other gemstones. Um, what about sort of the Elsa Peretti Diamonds by the Yard, that inspiration, actually having sort of big, big, you know, big pops of chrysoprase dotted in between. Twenty nine ninety nine. there were just 43 opportunities. Dee, Maria, Anne, Lynn, Catherine, Sandra, uh, Anthony, new customer, Susan, Karen, Patricia, you've just got your... Eunice, Cambridgeshire, hello Teresa and Lorraine. Make sure you check out. These will be an on-screen sellout today. Um, thank you, gorgeous Dan. Gorgeous Dan just handing in some casual pearls, you know, just because. Why not? Yeah, just I mean, they do look gorgeous together, don't they? Look, they're just it's the the creaminess, I think. Oh. They're just so beautiful. Love it. Yeah. You can get still get hold of this strand. It's part of Hannah's kit. It included canary diamonds. Just saying, casual, casual, casual. Throw that in, yeah, and yeah. some sterling silver. <laughs> Can you imagine the elite jewellery that you're creating just there? Amazing. Okay, I'm going to keep those acquires beside me. Um, that's on the verge of selling out. Well done. Shall we do the cubes? So that's this piece. There are only fifty of these. I love it. Apps. This was our, our most popular strand that we actually had with Dave the other uh, the other day. Um, I think because you've got those equal lengths. Yeah. 
the light can hit the heart of the uh, of your chrysoprase. Look. I think they're no, oh. yeah, they're probably my favourite shape of the ones we've got today as well. But it's hard to choose, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they're so fab, aren't they? I just, it's just nice to have something a bit different, isn't it? So the the fact that it's an unusual stone and then it's cut slightly mm. differently as well. I'm just visualising. You're say you're at a gem fair. Yeah. Say you're you and Dave, are, uh, you know, are literally in Hong Kong, which is where he's on his way to today. Yeah. And you're walking past rows upon rows upon rows of beautiful gemstones you're seeing all your rubies your sapphires yeah. your emeralds your rubellites your parabas you're seeing all of those you're gonna spot a chrysoprase aren't you uh, yeah i mean honestly I, with you having it like that against against the, the chest there and then the earrings and then you've got because you've got dark colors as well mm. i i think the combination looks like it's so striking. The jewellery really does go, hey, look at me. Oh, Adam, are you trying to make up for what you said earlier? <laughs> um, uh, it, it is one of those gemstones that looks a million dollars. Absolutely. Yes. That's yeah. why, you know, every single piece that I've shown you is, it is with gold. It's in platinum. It's unique. It's distinctive. It's vibrant. It glows. 29 pounds. No way. 29.99. Chrysoprase, again, we saw it at the beginning of this year for $3,000 at wholesale. Could you make a simple beaded necklace? Could you attach, could you, oh, so look, 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 one stone with a little polar bear perched on top. I, that is sweet though. Oh, yeah, I do like the polar bear, it's cute. <laughs> he is cute, isn't he? 300 pounds. 300 pounds. It's cute, isn't it? It's really cute. Three hundred pounds for one single stone. Actually, if you do love that design, oh! If you do love that design, I love these. You said you like the cubes. This is my yeah. favourite strand. They're in fact, so in fact, funky, I, aren't they? I, I ordered it. I bought this strand. Look at that. Hello. I love it. <laughs> the huge. This has been on air once previously. <gasps> oh, Roscoe, you've just been flicking through all those designs. Let's just show it. Beautiful. Can we? There's the polar bear we've just seen. Then there's this by Jordan Clary. Then there's these by Piaget. Then there's the ring. Then there's this. Piaget alongside turquoise, is it? I love that. So nice. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. A chrysoprase necklace. Uh, it's total good with gold, weight. isn't it? Yeah, it, really it looks amazing with gold. With gold. Look mm. at the quality there. That's why I'm showing you these. Look at the quality of the translucency and the colour. 12,500 euros. That's a lot. It is a lot. Mm -hmm. Big carrot weight. Big carrot weight. I love this cut. This is the strand that I should be, I might be able to pick it up today. Um, that I actually purchased a couple of days ago. Absolutely beautiful. Faceted to their own individual beauty rather than being dictated to um, as, uh, as in terms of calibration. You know, if this, this beautiful irregular tumble needed a faceted just there to sort of maintain that beautiful colour and that, that, that wonderful translucency, then that's precisely where the facets will be. It is one of the largest carat weights that we have in our entire Chrysoprase uh, vault. It's, there's no designated vault, the area within the vault. Look at this colour. Are you ready for your deal? I've bought this strand too. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. And it will go perfectly if you wanted to mix it with all your other beautiful strands of chrysoprase, be that the rectangles, be that the cubes that you've just seen. Look at that. It, it is one of those gemstones that you just want to go all out and indulge with. Love it, love it, love it. Hannah, how would you treat strands uh, uh, chrysoprase with this kind of cut? Would you use them slightly differently? Um, well, I th I th I'd probably try and um, see bead bezel around them. And, right. and then, so you kind of create yourself a little framework of, of probably, again, I'd, I might be tempted to go for gold. Initially, I thought I might, I might be a silver 
with this, but having seen it with gold, I'd want to see it like that. And then you'd get maybe sort of six, well, probably seven of them. Yeah. And then you and you just have like little um, sections of sort of gold beading between, and then and then one every now and again, and then down to a one on a, on the end of a drop. Oh. So it's kind of like a Y shaped. Um, sort of necklace but but with little bits of gold in there and then I think what that would do is it, it would turn it into like little windows yeah and and then you'd really focus on each stone beautiful and I, I think that'd be fabulous yeah you need to make that piece I'd love to make that piece <laughs> now we have the finale that's it that's how that's how limited this gemstone is globally we're really lucky here and I'm talking sort of in front and behind the screens right now we are so fortunate to be able to get gemstones like this because the reality is there was two strands there. That's it. That's it. And I don't know about you, but I'm priced out. I can't buy, I can't buy price of praise no. for $3,000. Uh, $3, I, I don't think many people would, you know. But even we aren't exempt from a gemstone's rarity. That little showcase, that's all we have. Price of praise, that's it. We've got more paraba in our vault than we have. Chrysoprase. We've got more Alexandrite probably than we have Chrysoprase. This is our finale opportunity. It's the only strand of rondelles that we have. You're looking for the same characteristics as what you are looking for in jade. Natural colour, so type A, mm -hmm. if you like, if we're to use those yeah. specifications. Yeah. Tick. You're looking for translucency tick texture well it spoke about those sort of microscopic fibrous crystal mm. formations if they are, aren't of fine quality then you wouldn't see you wouldn't see that beautiful glow 55 carats of certified natural type a chrysoprase from western australia the australian jade as they refer to it as this is it. That was the that was the showcase that I can bring you. I don't have any more. The finale piece. Even our sister channel don't have a huge amount of chrysoprase. We're going to bring this to you. Let's do it under 50 firstly. Let's do it. But if it's a finale strand, then you know that we're not going to stop there. So, for example, it was the rondelles that, that were included in Anne and Sue's beautiful necklace that I put on. It's the, it's the rondelles that literally sort of follow around uh, the curve of the decolletage. We're under £50, but for our finale deal, I want to introduce Chrysoprase to as many people as I possibly can. Because I guarantee, like Liz, who texted in a few moments ago, I think you're going to come, become completely hooked on this gemstone. Yeah, I mean, I'm already I'm there. I need, I need some. It's stunning, Hannah. I know. Well, I can see that. Absolutely stunning. Whether you go with pearls, whether you go black spinel, whether you go with, I don't know, a, a neon appetite, whether you go with... That's so lovely, isn't it, that combo? Beautiful. Mm. In a minute... Sorry, Ross, did you say that? How many have we got, though? <laughs> How many have we got? There are 50 of these available. We need to see on the phone lines if I'm going to say it out loud. We're going to take this under £20 today. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But we need to see you there. We need to see you there. If it's a finale deal, we've got what? How many? You might see, by the way, because I, I, a, a customer said, you said that was the only, um, the only uh, that's, the, that's the, the, the entire content of your Chrysoprase uh, deposit. It pretty much is. We might on our website have maybe one or two strands. Literally one or but two, that's it. but yeah. that's it. That is it. In 18 seconds, we are going to deliver and take it under £20. Certified natural, Australian chrysoprase, with all of those wonderful traits and qualities that we aspire to. Remember the words of that article. And again, you can absolutely get hold of that. It's from Jewelry Editor. Um, uh, and they are privy to some of the finest examples of, gen uh, uh, of coloured gemstones in the world. They've seen more fine jewellery than the likes of Sotheby's and Bonhams. That's the reality of that. 
and they wrote, they felt inclined to speak around an article of Christ's appraise. It is poetic. With stunning green, a stunning green gemstone with soothing properties, the word Christ's appraise rolls off the tongue like a William Wordsworth poem, which perfectly de describes the gentle beauty of Christ's appraise jewellery and watches. It is stunning, absolutely stunning, but it should never be um, at under £20. Pauline, Lynn, Cambridgeshire D, Dorothy, Margaret, hello to you, Merseyside, Susan, Pauline, Caroline, Lauren, you've got yours, Brenda, uh, Worcestershire, congratulations, Sorry's just snapped up three. I only had 50, I only had 50, and once they're gone, they're absolutely gone. Um, and we're not saying that we'll never see it again. Of course, we'll endeavour to. Um, the conversation was had at Tucson at the beginning of this year, but what's the point in even... What's the, what's the point in entertaining that conversation if there's only two? Well, exactly. And also £3,000. Yeah. 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 That means that would be a Larique piece of jewellery on our sister channel, and it would be have to start at five grand. Yeah. It, by the it, time you... Very considered, wouldn't it? Yeah. By mm -hmm. the time you actually transport it, by the time you pay your taxes, by the time you... Um, have a piece made up into jewellery alongside your 18 karat gold. You know, you, you, yeah. you're going to be talking about that, aren't you? Really, really, you know, high end and, and then almost unobtainable. Yeah, then, you know. exactly. Exactly. Hence why we didn't buy it. Well done. Well done. Well done, everybody. Um, OK. Sorry. So that's the end of your Australian jade, as they refer to it as. I did promise, though, that we would do some close-out deals on Burmese jade. A couple of weeks ago, we learned that the, mark, uh, that the, the, the mine in Burma, which had been unearthing beautiful Burmese jadeite for centuries, centuries and centuries and centuries, the mine is now closed. Now, that's only going to have one, one impact on us, and that is the price per carat is going to skyrocket. But even without that knowledge, it was already doing that. You know, uh, China, uh, very affluent, or certain areas of China, very affluent, got lots of new, what they describe as newly rich. This is a gemstone that um, has been within their history, within their heritage for thousands and thousands of years. But Sally Hewer actually said that with the closure of the mine, the price per carat, where it's already increased over the past year or so by 700%, it's going to be astronomical moving forward. So maybe we are the generation or part of the generation that can't afford this gemstone. So after all that information, after Sally, Bernard and a few other uh, um, traders that don't just supply us, they supply some of the biggest jade houses around the world. We're going to take that information and we're going to do what we normally do with something really important like that is we're just going to throw it out the window and carry on doing our amazing deals what we do and anyway. say let's yes. just close out. <laughs> close out on type A jade. Um, some of which, by the way, I have the high goo. Um, which one do you want me to start with? Oh, this is the gradients, isn't it? Oh, cons oh my goodness me, it's a full metre long length. Gosh, that's loads of it. Yeah, that's two full necklaces without doing anything to it. Stunning, absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. So remember those two jadeite necklaces I've shown you in the past? I think that was at Sotheby's and they were quite conservative in the price they realised at uh, just over £2,000. Um, this is certified type A, completely and utterly natural, no enhancement whatsoever, unobtainable right now. Um, you know, a, a few members of our team, so Jake Thompson um, and Dave and, uh, and senior management are literally en route to Hong Kong. What gemstone are they? They go every year, but uh, there'll be a, a gemstone which they're particularly seeking, which they're on the hunt for. What do you think that gemstone is this year? It's what's on the back of my hand right now. Beautiful type A, Burmese jadeite. We've got meetings. I think Dave said he had about 12 meetings planned trying to source um, a, an opportunity of this gemstone. It's our number one seller here at Jewelry Maker. There's no, no, no if, buts or maybes. It's our number one selling gemstone here. And yet we're going to do closeout deals. A full metre long length strand. I've got 39 opportunities. They're big, beautiful translucency, amazing textures. Remember when we first, when we first launched Jadeite? In fact, let me come back to that sentence. 
Close out deals. How many have I got, Ross? 39. I had 200. It's a metre long length. We could easily show the thousands of pounds, couldn't we? We could say, look, Sotheby's, here we go. There's two necklaces, um, uh, literally knotted together. No class, no gold, anything like that. 2,000 uh, pounds. But we're not going to do that. We're going to show you the launch price here at Jewelry Maker for 540 carats of Taipei certified Burmese jade, where we sold triple figure quantities. This is the price tag. Perfect for your malas if you wanted to. Norma, earlier on this morning, your beautiful Taipei jadeite pieces that we admired on the Wall of Fame. Two, no, hundreds, hundreds and hundreds sold at £199. It's a, it's a metre length, isn't it? There's loads of it. I've got 39. They're eight millimetres in their size, 540 carats. So if I go a pound less, less it's, technically it's a closeout deal because we work off tiny margins. How about today we take £20 off that price Ooh. tag? Yes, please. It's a bit of a treat. Yeah, absolutely. Type A. So now we're already lower than launch. £179. I mean, that's amazing. For a metre long length. A metre. Yeah, I mean, you, you could have a whole marla, couldn't you? Yeah. That would be absolutely amazing. And probably a bracelet. And, yeah. Um, but Hannah, you and I have been here since, well, day dot, really. Long time. A long, long time, a yes. Long time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, a strand of jadeite, when we first launched them, were well, that length. Yeah. Weren't they? And it was £80, £90? Well, yeah, if not more, depending on, you know, whether it's a fancy shape or faceted or anything like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. Now, look at the amount that you're getting. <laughs> Loads of it. And we're at £179. You've got beautiful intensity of natural green. I've got the final 30-something. Um, we're going to take it under £100. There we go. First come, first serve. When we launched Jade back in 2012, I think it was, or 2013, I think round about then, because I started about. at 2011, and I know yeah. it wasn't long after that. Yeah. Um, but we were desperate for it. We were over the moon, skipping, jumping, dancing at £90 a strand. Type A grade. You're getting a full metre long length. I tell you what. <laughs> Instead, just because, Ross, Ross, are you feeling lazy today? <laughs> He's not lazy, by the way. Never lazy. <laughs> just take, are we just going to take £100 off that price tag? £100. £100. Wow. Off making this a huge closeout deal. Huge. We launched it at £199 and literally hundreds of people purchased it at £199. Just to get an idea of the amount of jewellery that you can make from a metre long length of Taipei Jade. That's without any additions, without any sterling silver clasps or spacer beads that you've had on the yes, show today. Yeah. I can make five full stretchy bracelets. Of Jade. Of Taipei Jade. Beautiful. Brand new, lowest ever price point. Um, look at the split pay, 39 pounds and 50 pence. You can get it home today for £39.50. You know, you could just put one jadeite on top of a pearl in some sterling silver and make uh, and definitely be commanding, really, the price of the strand. It's just phenomenal, isn't it? You know, the amount of profit you could make on something yeah. like this. Because most people, they might not be as educated as our lovely viewers, but if you were... So, for example, um, you know, talking to some of my fam my, my friends, they, they know of jade. They yes, know how expensive yeah. jade is. Um, but they won't know what kind of price point to expect. So educate them. Educate them. £79 pounds for two, two eight mil rounds is good. Yeah, I think Is so. a great price. You've heard from Susie herself, one of our guest designers, who actually, uh, you know, for generations, her family have been travelling to the jade markets. And she was saying little tiny pieces would be that price tag. They would be. 
I mean, this, this is it. It's so highly prized. And the fact that we've got like amazing, amazing quality and then a length like that is just like phenomenal. Yeah, it's that. beautiful. And then, and then we do that with the price. It's just, you know. Only today, though. Close it's out very deals. Naughty. Launch at £199. Hundreds of them sold at £199. And believe me, you got a great deal. I had 39 um, at £79, they're not hanging around. Well done, Sandra, Lynn, Suja, Linda, Maker, Maker. Hello to you, Peter in Alicante. Hello to you, Gloucestershire. Hello to you, Mary, Hampshire. You're there. London, congratulations. Simple knotting with those spacer beads that we had earlier on on your Akoya pearls with the wire guardians and the luxury clasp. Uh, I mean, yes, please. Yes, please. I mean, absolutely beautiful, wouldn't it? Stunning. I mean, and it's so simple to put them together as well. You don't, you don't have to do anything that's particularly taxing as such. You can just yep. thread them on with spacers. You could add your clasp and you, uh, you're away. I mean, beautiful. Look at that. It's just so luxurious, isn't it? Well, can I just put, maybe? Wow. What do you think of that? Mm, no, I don't. I don't you know. To be honest. I, I, I think to be honest. The thing with me, it's like with the with the Chrysler price, that like the colour is such such a vivid one. I'd, I'd, want, I'd want to either that or balance it so something else that holds its own against it. How about that? I though? don't want you to lose the beauty of the, of the other the other greens in there. So th this no, no, all good. Like That's why you're the designer stunning. and I'm not. How about with your high goose strands that are coming up yeah, as well? Amazing. Also, close out deals. The final four, Julie, Linda, Janet, Christine, Mary, Gloucestershire. Well done, everybody. We've launched this strand in the past at £199. I've got the final uh, four remaining opportunities. It is a metre long length of Burmese, the mine's closed, type A jadeite not type b and type c which moving forward we're gonna have to get used to yes we are we'll gonna go. have to get used to because there won't be any of the a left no and even actually do you know saying that sally hewer was saying that we might we're a generation that might be, not be able to get jadeite never mind type b and type c any varieties of jadeite it becomes so precious doesn't it once it's gone it's gone exactly and then it's just those who were there at the right time yep that will be able to then hand it down through the generations. Absolutely. Amazing. The final two. Congratulations, everybody. Um, and if you love your type A jade, I, I still do have. Um, oh, my word. I still do have a couple more opportunities to bring you, including this is going to, uh, this is mind blowing. Um, we said it about the Samsara. This is the other piece, which is an absolute, well, they're all works of art. But I'm going to show you quite unconventionally the side profile first. Because um, most of our master carvings actually have got quite a depth behind them, um, uh, quite a depth. So this is quite shallow, meaning it's maybe a little bit more wearable. It's yeah. going to press the, the neckline if that's where you choose. It's huge, 95 carats. And when I tilt it forward, can you, Dan, could you, can I borrow your phone or do you want to pass me my bag? It's over there. Um, you get this beautiful, beautiful bloom, flower bloom, which is uh, um, associated to, thank you, um, associated to uh, beauty and youth, Very I nice. believe. Very I nice. believe. Look at that level of detailing. I'm going to show you the quality of this translucency. I've just borrowed, uh, borrowed Dan's mobile phone. Look at that translucency. Wow. Again, wow. certified natural, completely and utterly type A, worthwhile getting your certificate. Of, no, not, not worthwhile. Please get your certificate of authenticity. Because if you do want to sell these on, you will want to mention that it's a type A grade. And without that document, uh, um, you're going to find it much harder to do so, yeah. unless you pay for that, 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 that laboratory testing. Remember the rarity. Remember, that, remember what Sotheby said. This beautiful gemstone created by Mother Nature, shaped by human hands. It talks about that article, which I don't know if we've got it. Um, uh, talks about the artistry that is equally as important to the colour um, and the translucency of this beautiful gemstone. I don't have many of these remaining. I know that for sure. There we are. Approach, approach jadeite jewellery not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art, created by nature and shaped by human hands. But where it talks about that wow factor, Ross, can we show that? Is that all right? It's on that, it's on that PowerPoint. 
Promethea. By virtue of its unique features, jade uh, has played a consequential role in history, from serving as a mysterious object of ritual to adorning the leaders of powerful empires. While the term jade is frequently used interchangeably to, dis uh, to describe both nephrite and jadeite, both are highly prized for different uh, traditions. A gemstone of unsurpassed beauty that at its finest may possess uh, an in inimitable green colour. Jadeite is by far the rare of the two and the focus of this guide. We asked Wen Hao Yu of Sotheby's Hong Kong Deputy Chairman of Jewellery Asia to share his expertise on understanding and collecting jadeite. What experts look for is an, uh, in an ideal stone is a certain wow factor which may seem frustratingly imprecise for would-be collectors seeking a more concrete guidance. However, all of this makes sense when we approach jadeite jewellery, not as commodities, but rather as works of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. Just as it's impossible to measure the splendour of impressionist landscapes by the canvas height and width or the ratio of its colour, the beauty of jadeite in all its varieties and complexity cannot be classified by a system of prescribed standards. Here is that wow factor. Absolutely. Here is that work of art that they almost write about. Hello, Gloucestershire. I have this L, and I'm amazed by the delicacy of the carving, so thin between the rings and uh, the ring and the fingers. Absolutely. I mean, th th that's the thing. Look, look at that. The shallow delicacy of this. It's almost Chantilly lace carving. And then the fact that it is beautifully floating almost with these very delicate, minute attachments. The trick, you know, the complexity of carving something like this by hand that's as hard as steel blows my mind. We're at 199 pounds. The lowest price that this has ever been. It's launched with Dave um, at 199. The flower carving, you've got, actually, you've got symbolism in the circle of heaven. Yes. You've got symbolism in the flower for youth, uh, for youth and beauty, steeped in history and meaning. Today, should we take this to a brand new low? But we need to see you there. How many have we got then, Roscoe? 20. Okay. If you've longed for this beautiful master carving... All done by hand, a, a, a material that is uber rare, as hard as steel, and it's literally an abrasive manner carved to these wonderful miracles and works of art. If there's enough of you there, which currently there's not, no way near. You don't have to check out. You just need to join us on the website or the phone line so we can see you there. If there are enough of you showing interest, eh, just give us a little bit more of a push to take it even lower even lower currently nowhere near enough people on the phone lines we need okay okay here we go there's a few of you dialing through now we're going to just give you 60 seconds okay we need another 10 people another 10 people to join us mary linda kath and we're not talking just about five ten pounds either we're talking about a big jump a big price crash. This is fairly bold on Ross's part, considering the fact that, you know, we are desperate to buy this gemstone over in Hong Kong right now. This is the... It's very brave to be reducing this price. But he says, no, if there's enough people there, I'll do exactly that. Exactly that. We need five more names, though. Rachel, I can see you there. Need five more people to join us on the website or on the phone lines. You don't have to check out. Just show our lovely, uh, our lovely producer Roscoe that you're interested. Maker, you've just added it. Now I need four. I need four more people, and we will drop that price tag. We'll take it to a brand new low. Zoe, well done, Zoe. I can see you there as well, my darling. If you are interested in getting this beautiful, beautiful piece, a work of art with that wow factor, be it imprecise, whichever uh, sort of frustratingly imprecise uh, concrete guidance to your type A jadeite, does it have that wow factor? I think so. Three bidders, Susan, Anne. I'm going to put 60 seconds back on your screen. We want to take this lower to a closeout deal. This is how we say, look, that's why. The, our, our lovely audience were joining us on the web, um, on the phone lines. We said we'd take it lower if they joined us. It's never gone lower than 199, though. 
Janet, you're there as well. We need two. Two people. Help us out. Help us out. Two more people to add it to your baskets. David, I can see you there on the phone. I need one more now. Literally one more piece. Uh, one more co uh, collector. We will drop that price tag. And we're not talking about 10 or 20 pounds. Sorry, I'd, uh, sorry, I meant to say five to 10 pounds. How much are you dropping this by? Oh, okay, few. Yeah. Oh, I panicked then for a second. I was like, oh, what if he does take it to it <laughs> by 20 pounds? Oh my goodness me. 129 pounds. Wow. You've, you've just got 70 pounds put back into your pocket that I'm fairly sure we did another type A jade out for, didn't yes, we? Yes, yeah, I think we did. Yes, wait, wait, yeah. wait. That strand, that long metre long length strand of type A jade out rounds. Do you still have it, Dan? What's that, sorry? The type A jade out rounds, that metre long length. Yeah. Because you could literally just knot this. Earlier on this morning, at 8 o'clock this morning, Norma showed us her amazing jade out and pearl pieces, didn't yes, she? Yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, you could make. Oh, yeah, it's going to be phenomenal, isn't it? As a, as a piece of jewellery. It's going to cost you £210. But what, what's it going to be valued at? Is it going to be anywhere near that price tag? I think not. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. Oh, yes. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Whatever choice of silk... You want to see the reverse? Yeah, of course. Do you want to see the flat side? There you go. Look at that. Perfect totally smooth. and utterly natural. Beautiful smoothness. You need to be checking out Patricia, Julie, Maker, uh, Gloucestershire, Ye May, Janet, and Susan, Zoe, Rachel, Kath, Mary. Um, we can't go a single penny lower. It's never been any less than £199. Um, we've been <clears throat> very bold and drop that price tag, not just by a little bit, £70, which is massive, absolutely massive. Patricia in Middlesex, you've got yours. Gloucestershire, you, you can do it. Ye may, you can do it. Janet, you can do it. Pembrokeshire, Susan, Zoe, Rachel, Kath, Mary. I've got nine chances remaining. Um, so lots of meaning behind. And that is, that's half of, the, half of the fun, I think, with our type A jadeite carvings, is actually reading about their meanings behind. Because one thing I can do, tell you, and I'm not an expert, You've got the circle of heaven um, in that almost sort of donut mm -hmm. yeah. uh, sort of exterior. You've got a really beautiful flower um, in the centre, which I believe is symbolic of uh, beauty and youth. How nice is that? If that's like heavenly youth or eternal Maybe. youth or Maybe. something like that. Beauty is lots of things. It's stunning. It doesn't just mean aesthetics, does it? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it could be, it could be a beautiful person or beautiful attribute. Soul. Yeah. Yeah, mind. Gorgeous. All of those things. Gorgeous. There's loads of different meanings behind it. I love that. Um, four remain. Well done. Make sure you do check them out. They're lovely jewellery makers. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I'm looking just to my peripheral. Is that a jade component that's in your kit? I'm not sure if it is. Okay. I, I, it, you, mean, you mean this one? Yeah. Looks very jade-esque. Something that might work with your jade at some point. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Mm, maybe not, maybe not. Um, amazing. Down to the final two of those. Congratulations to each and every single one of you. Okay. Um, Elizabeth, you've just taken one, so we're down to the final one. Okay, now you've got two beautiful high goose strands that are coming up as well. We've got them in the two different sizes. Um, the, the level of complexity for a high goo is, is, is amazing because you've got that almost donut shape. The, the actual hole in the center of a high goo needs to be a fifth um, in terms of its measurement to have that symb uh, symbolism and meaning. Um, but even beyond that, that's, that's normally how they're cut. You've got the drill holes running through, um, running through the heart. Um, of the gemstone. Now let's do one of the most symbolic carvings, the Pixu. The Pixu. So a lot of our collectors have all got hold of their Pixus. And you'll have to jog my memory on the Pixu. It's, he's a symbol of good luck, isn't he, and protection. Um, he eats gold. 
He eats gold. He I didn't eats know that. gold. So you'll notice, oh. actually, with your Pixu, he's got money coins around him. He lies on a bed of money coins. So he's, um, he, yeah, he's a, he's, he's a symbol. Oh. He's a symbol of luck, um, of protection. And like I said, I am no expert. There he is. There it is. Uh, power of the Pixu, the fortune beast. The story of uh, Pixu, um, Pixu's ability to attract wealth for his master also explains his ability to accumulate great wealth. One version uh, of the story is Pixu had an ancient, uh, had an accident, accident sorry, um, <laughs> on the palace floor. Oh, bless Aww. him. Poor little Pixu. Uh, the enraged jade emperor scolded Pixu so loudly uh, that he never defecated uh, defec oh. again. Poor little Pixu. Um, the jade emperor condemned Pixie, uh, Pixu uh, to, uh, to only have a diet of gold, silver and gems. With no way to process these riches, Pixu who retained all he ate. His master became exceedingly wealthy. Pixu uh, has a reputation of being fierce creatures. The large fangs uh, visible in their mouths are used to attack demons and evil spirits, draining their essence and converting it to wealth. Pixu also guard against disease caused by these evil spirits. It is written that Pixus uh, patrol the heavens to keep demons at bay and to protect their owner from all harm. It is believed that for their ferocity devoted Pixu would always and constantly guard its master, even after he passed away um, from this life on to the next. It was also believed that Pixu would help their masters ascend to heaven uh, by flying up to the heaven on their backs. Oh my goodness Amazing. Me. So incredibly loyal, the fortune beast. Wow. Poor, but also I feel sorry for the Pixu now. I Pixu feel sorry now. for Pixu now. I know, I bless him. That. He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it, Aww, but there we go. But he's so cute. He is very, very cute, <laughs> but, but apparently very ferocious. Um, but here we go, only a diet of, uh, of silver and gold and gemstones. Look at that beautiful detail. Look, you can see, um, you can see his fangs just here. Um, if I just turn him round again, there's the underside, there's his little feet, his little toes. Aww. You can see the little toes. There's the money coin that he sat on just there. Can you see yeah, that? Yeah, I can see that. So the fortune beast itself and there's the drill hole so the idea is that you can actually hold where the picks you like so if you wanted to but it's very discreetly drilled so uh, uh, if, if you don't want to wear it as a necklace then it becomes sort of a work of art in and around your home um, one of the most symbolic and like I said I am no expert on things like this I'm very much learning alongside you as well here's the little Pixu we launched this again with Dave love the detail we are going to match his price tag on this one the levels the detail the, uh, the, the fact that you've got his tentacles you know in that sketching earlier on you can see it you can see it on the shoulders almost uh, uh, of his legs you can see it on the curl of his tail you can see it around uh, so the, the jawline of the Pixu all that is captured so beautifully within this type A jadeite carving we're at 99.99 type A very aqua color um, a bit lavender yes absolutely totally natural type a grade 99 pounds and 99 pence the fortune beast let me get the ready gosh look at that He looks more sinister like that, doesn't he? Does. He does. You can really see the, the definition of his, of his face, his eyes. So the, cool. The, the ferociousness. So cool. Look at that. Well done. The fortune beast. Right, let's do the two strands of haigu, shall we? Now, a haigu, I, I, I think I was lucky enough to be the first person to launch a haigu. It was before Dave actually was, uh, was appearing on mm. our shows. And I found, I have um, a book or rather I had Dave's got it now actually um, the gems and crystals book from the Smithsonian Museum that we brought to air and I bought it through Jewelry Maker um, and it was if you if you have that book as well you'll see there's a write-up on what high goos actually are high goos are almost like a donut shape they can be decorated they can be engraved uh, or not um, and this is the high goo or the circle of heaven as it so translates 
Um, it was believed to continue and carry uh, its wearer to uh, life beyond. So, circle of heaven. Jadeite means heaven. It literally the translate, word itself. Uh, translates mm -hmm. to heaven. Yes. And the Haigu symbol was placed on the chest and waist of de deceased loved ones and was believed to give uh, to, co to continue their life after death. Oh, so, nice. incredibly symbolic in Chinese culture. Um, now, I, I launched them and they were literally just individual Haigus. But you've got much more than that in this strand because they're high goos with a drill hole, meaning that you can they're, wear yeah. them. High goos as beads, so you yes. can incorporate them in your in your malas and in any. So you like haven't. Necklaces. They're not going to be on a kilt, if you know what yeah. I mean. If you were just to feed a chain through the centre of the high goo, it that turns high, it sideways. It's going to turn it, it slightly. Yeah. This will literally sit on your decolletage. So mm -hmm. straight away, this is how my mind's working. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. That's twenty high goos that I can give to my nearest and dearest on a sterling silver chain. Yeah. How amazing oh is that? I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, that, <laughs> if, you, if you separate them out like that, then yes, they're going to go an awful long way, aren't they? Yeah. You know, and I've shown them on uh, 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 um, Pillar and Stone. Pillar and, uh, Pillar and Stone have a high goo with one single amethyst ram brilliant cut set in the centre. It's like £12,000. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine your cut gemstones. The collection that we had earlier on this morning... Imagine the, one of those nestled in your high goo. I mean, that would be fantastic because you could make it... If you just use one, yeah. you've got one of your stones set into the middle. You can still get your head pin through the, the, um, the drill hole so you can have a tassel underneath it and then use it as the focal point of, of a necklace or something like that. Perfect. Earrings even. Absolutely. Gorgeous, yeah. I only had ten already getting snapped up. The high goo itself is great. You can literally just do a lark's head knot. You can literally feed it through a chain, but the chain will have to go through the center of the high goo, meaning it won't sit perfectly flat on the decolletage. If that's your aim, then you need strands like this. 20 individual type A natural Burmese high goos today at £199 or £49.75 across four monthly uh, four monthly split payments how unbelievable is that you know when when we had i'm thinking about britain's next gem when we had those lovely ladies in the studio yes, they yeah. all they gravitated towards the oh, jade yeah, they didn't did. they yeah they, they were quite excited. three out of the four that i was with gravitated towards yes. the jadeite oh now my goodness me again consider they're master carvers. Anybody that cuts jade will be one of the world's leading gemstone cutters. You know, uh, comparable to sort of your Ida Oberstein. I know it's not the same thing. They cut sort of your, your rubies, etc. But uh, it, they know, they've grown up with how to, uh, how to carve and cut this stone. Imagine that, but on a smaller scale. Is that easier or harder, do you think? It's going to be harder, isn't it? I think it? it's harder. It's going to be harder. You're going, to lose, you're going to lose mm. more. I have a slightly bigger quantity. Again, certified natural type A Burmese jade, 120 carats. They're not small by any stretch of the imagination. They're, to, there's te, they're 10 millimetres in their size. I have 40 available opportunities. 40. Whenever we have high goose, they're on our screens, and then they're gone. One of the most, his like your, your Pixu that you saw, one of the most historic and meaningful carvings that you can see in Taipei Jadeite. But like I said, they don't normally have that drill hole um, opportunity. We're going to take this strand under £100. And I'm not talking about 99 Oh. There are 40 opportunities, though. I think this size is probably really, you know, if you're going to make bracelets and things, it's, it's much more suitable. I mean, the, the other yeah. ones are quite substantial, aren't they? So you might use one as a focal point. Um, but these ones, because they're that, that lovely sort of size, they just sit very nicely together, don't they? Yeah, they literally follow yeah. the curves of the body, don't yeah. they? I bet follow you could get the curves. a tiny little seed bead inside the high goo as oh, well absolutely. and have those spaces as well. Well, yeah, we, we, we do those gemstone mm. trays, don't we? You could literally put one of those on. Now, I'm going to give you a 60-second clock. 
the last type a jadeite auction opportunity before our managing director steps into the studio to launch an amazing collection from jaipur the drain uh, the raindrops collection we're going to take this to a brand new low a brand new low Already lots of you joining us on this, though. You could literally symbol them, uh, single them out and use them as individual feature pieces, individual carving. Yeah, you definitely could, yeah. You, I mean, you could team it with your pearls. You could you could team it with all sorts of things. Again, Put a little button pearl in the centre. Yeah, I quite like the idea of a little pearl in the, in the middle there. Or, I mean, as you say, if you have any of your, of your um, gems that we had from earlier, where, like loose stones, where mm. you separate them out and have them... Um, you know, just on a head pin as a pair of earrings. Yeah. And oh, that yeah. added little flash. You could you could put one either side, couldn't you? So if it spun round, you would you would still have the flash Perfect. of the gemstone in the middle. We should be at ninety nine ninety nine, but today we said brand new low deal for you all. Oh, crazy. It's, it's not just a little bit, is it? You're right. It's not just a little bit. I'm not a silversmith, and I absolutely am in awe of so many of our lovely jewelry makers and guest designers that do silversmithing. You know, but you could literally just feed a sterling silver wire through that, through the drill hole, yeah. nestle a gemstone with a bit of glue in the centre of your high goo. You could. And you yeah. are giving pillar and stone a run for their money. Oh, my gosh. You yes, know, you, you are. That's what they've done. They've literally put an amethyst. It's not even, you know, the deep flawless diamond. It's an amethyst in the centre, which is beautiful. And it was like £12,000 for one single high goo. Uh, granted, they're bigger than these ones, but it's still the same to a type A Burmese beautiful genuine gemstone 49.99 devon allison julie linda ella karen london new customer mandy hello to you uh janet maker another maker on the phone lines there is a little bit of a queue building on the phone lines about 30 seconds but it is absolutely absolutely worth the time that you are investing i could probably count on my uh, on one hand the amount of high goo strands that we've actually done here at yeah. Maker this last year and I've, I've seen a few as individual pieces but yeah. not, not one off like that yeah literally one-off opportunities um and they were what 40 did you say ross yes so they're not going to hang around for very long you know that uh, Cambridgeshire, Christine, Janet, Sharon, new customer. I know there is a queue on the phone lines. Our call centre are um, absolutely earning their crust. If you press your option one key, then we can guarantee you one. We can definitely guarantee you one. So Cheryl, um, Maker, another Maker, Mandy, I can see you there. Valerie, I can see you there. And if you press your option one, we will guarantee you that one. Speak to our fantastic call centre. I genuinely don't remember the last time I actually brought a high goo strand. Because it's like to do the high goo, the meaning immediately there, the story mm -hmm. behind the high goo, the circle of heaven, that 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 immortality, um, that. Uh, continuing life after death and not only that the connections it believes to keep uh, you connected to your lost loved ones wearing a high goo which yeah, i so, love that idea so that's nice so it's like a memorial as yeah. well then yeah i mean well we we talked about that before we've had little um forget me not spaces haven't we and just mm. the, the concept of, of tying something like that in there as a little memory as a little nod to somebody that you've you've lost and you care about then i i think that's lovely because well, we've, we've all got people that yeah. we've lost and loved and, and we've loved it yeah it's enduring meanings. it's something you can keep and you can pass the story on with the piece yeah. of jewelry as well love you know, it love it love it love it to your loved ones mm. yeah We'll leave the yeah. final five with you. There are loads of you there. Please do not abandon your calls. Our call centre will get to you. Um, in fact, I can see you being answered now, surely but surely. So speak to our amazing call centre and they'll get that on their way to you. Amazing. The last of the Type A Jade closeout deals. There's still so much to bring you and I'm really excited about this next collection. So um, a few months ago, I think it was, uh, Wayne and Scott went over to Jaipur and to say they would be bombarded by uh, suppliers looking for them to hoping that the, the jewellery maker would buy um, their, their treasures. Well, this collection, I'm not going to take the story away from Scott because I know that there is one. Um, this collection, let's just say, caught both of their eyes and it is launching today on your screens. They are mesmerically beautiful. Some of the finest faceting I've ever seen in a strand. And it's coming your way next. <laughs>
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi everybody, Managing Director Scott here and I've got something incredible to bring you. So, myself and Wayne went to India not too long ago now and we found some of the most incredible cuts of gemstones that we've just never seen before. And I thought, myself, I've got to bring them back to you. And it's taken a little bit of time, but join me on Monday for Gems from Jaipur. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hello. I'm excited. Hello. Okay. Do you know, I think this is the first time we've been on air together since... It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes. When, whenever Wayne puts me in, it's never. It's always with Carol. I know. Should I be trying to say something? Yeah. Trying to say something. <laughs> Should I be offended? You're starting to think I just didn't want to stand here yes. with you. Yes. So, no, no, no. No, no, not It's me, me trying to not be on air. That's what uh, it is. Well, I'm so, so pleased that you are. And I'm... This is the first time I'm seeing them in person. They're amazing, I they? knew the story. Wow, Scott, and I can totally see why you're excited. Yeah, so uh, Al mentioned earlier on, so myself and Wayne, we went to Jaipur in May now, before the birthday event, May is right, I believe. Mm. Um, and it, it's the first time I've been. So in the whole time I've been at Jaipur Maker, off and on, the first time I've actually been to Jaipur. Incredible place, amazing place, team out there. Hello if you're watching, I'm sure they are, because I told them that we're on. Incredible team out there, Aman, Charmil, the team, absolutely amazing. So they, our day, we were only there for three days, so it was tight. We were in, a, we were in and we were trying to get out. No, no, for no reason other than the fact that me and Wayne had to get back for other things. Um, and we had a lot of things that we saw. A lot of things that were shown to yeah. us, a lot of things that have come up. The coveted collection that you've seen, that yeah. was part of me and Wayne in India. Um, and this was one of the things that they brought to us on the second day. And myself and Wayne were kind of kept talking about this and these cuts and what we could bring to you because we know that shapes and variation is is everything to jewelry maker yeah. and to a jewelry maker um and we're so used to seeing rondelles rounds and we thought 
instantly. Instantly, these are like amazing. They're completely different to anything you've ever, we've ever seen, I've ever bought before. Totally. Um, I mean, we, 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 Hannah just did a demonstration um, earlier on this morning where she created, we have these beautiful kits with diamonds and, and, and Akoya pearls. I mean, these are the, literally the perfect ending for tassels. Oh, amazing. Oh yeah. my goodness. I, so me not being a jewelry maker, I was thinking, what would you do with them? How would you make them? And I thought, that's not my, that's not me to think about that. That's, really? let's get them, let's bring them back. And then <gasps> I can't wait to see, one, what the guest designer is going to do with them. And two, what you're going to do with them when you get them. We managed to talk about price. We'll talk about price when we get a little bit later. The, the price that I think we can do for them are absolutely incredible as well. The price points are amazing. So I think you'll enjoy that tick. That was one tick for me. Um, we only could get 100 of each of them as well. So it wasn't something that we could get, uh, no, you get enough masses. to go for, unfortunately. So, But I guess that's down to the actual cutting of these. You know, something like, I'm thinking about a briolette, which we've done, we've seen before. These aren't the same as briolettes. Yeah. I guess something like this is much harder to cut. Yeah. So that's probably what equates to the quantity of them. And instantly what the team said to us, the team said, you'll only be able to have a small quantity. They only had a couple that they could show us. Um, I took a video of everything that they had there, which was some of the preform ones as well. And they were like, again, as you said, Al, because of the cutting that goes into doing this, there's quite a lot of wastage. So they were saying, oh, Scott, you won't be able to get the prices that I know you want to. You won't be able to. We're yeah. going to have to bring them. So I was like, do everything you can, team, anything that yeah, you can do. Yeah, you can do so it, they are. And, 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 and actually, the name, I believe, so we took some uh, shots out there, we brought them back, and then the social media team had put them on our Facebook page. So I believe the name has actually come from you guys, the audience as well. So we oh, thought, yes, I remember we that. thought several times, like, what should we call them? Because we didn't want to just call them drops. Drops felt no. too wishy washy for what they actually were. Yeah, I agree. And I think, um, so raindrops, raindrops. Is the, raindrops is the one that's called I remember, I, think it's really I remember nice. that, that, you know, that campaign almost. Yeah. Um, uh, they're just absolutely beautiful. And, and the choice of gemstones as well. Yeah. I assume that would be something that the lapidaris would have to consider because obviously certain gems maybe couldn't be cut in this manner. Um, but they're, they're high-end gems. So there was one that took our attention straight away because it was a pink gemstone and we instantly thought, oh, it's rose quartz. It's, it's rose quartz, of course yeah. it is. It, it, won't be, it won't be the one we think it is. And instantly they were like, oh yeah, it is, it's, it's that. And we're like, okay. You think it's okay? Yes, well, I think yeah, I, I think I am. I think I, we, you know, we, we need to work together more often. Yeah. Are we on the same wavelength? I reckon, I, think I, we I are. think we are. Yeah, so I did just mention again, I'm terrible with talk back. Apologies to you and everybody else. Ross mentioned something about pre order. I think that sounds like a good idea <gasps> as well, doesn't it? Yeah, hang on. There's okay, we're gonna do pre order, um, and then. This one here, we've just been, oh, we've yeah. just been, I think that's a different cut. So we saw, so whilst we were there as well, we did see a, there's a slightly similar but different cut, which uh, if we get to it, we'll get round to it or bring to life. But we'll pop them on these two sides here. There's okay, so if I pass there. that one over to you then. Okay, amazing. Um, everything's going on pre-order there. There we go. So you can shop ahead with the brand new launch of the Raindrop Collection. It's Stunning. So shall I guess? Yes, you pink? guess, Al. I think you know. I think you know. I think we're there. Morganite. It's not Morganite. It's Morganite. When they turned and said Morganite, I was, I was really. Uh, it's been on pre-order for twenty seconds. Three have gone on the Morganite. Not surprised. Tourmaline, five. They'd be beautiful together, actually. Oh, <gasps> uh, Scott, they're stunning. They are beautiful, aren't they? Amazing. And again, as I say, the, the first thing when we saw them, was we, we, uh, we were just kind of gobsmacked, taken away back then, because it's not something you often see. And again, we instantly just thought cost, the cost will be just something that we we're not, can't we're bring to you. Out, yeah. We wouldn't be able to bring to you. Or something that, because we actually, on day one, that's where we um, saw the gemstones that were going to go into the coveted collection. So we thought, oh, okay, it could go as part of that. And then, after a few conversations, managed to uh, bring what we're bringing to life today. Again, look at that garment. Oh, my goodness me. It's beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. Now, we're launching this brand new cut. Why not with Morganite? Why Where do we not? go from there? But well, well, straight away, I, I am curious about this, Scott, because Morganite is not an inexpensive gemstone. It's one of the no. most expensive, of your, as you know, uh, and I think most of our viewers know, um, of the Beryl family. When it's Morganite with l this level of clarity, whilst maintaining that, cl that, that, that colour, 
Wow. I know. Absolutely amazing. And again, I don't think we see enough Morganite. It's something that, it sounds strange, it's, it's in my top five gemstones. I always like Morganite. It always reminds me of when I was first at Jewelry Maker. And we used to, when we got a parcel of Morganite, we were like, this is incredible. How have we got this? Please. And the phone lines used to light up. You were overexcited. It was amazing. It yeah. was always a great showcase whenever we did it. So I thought, if we can launch the so, Raindrop collection with Morganite, then why don't we? How exciting. There are, what, a hundred of these. That's it. Yeah, only a hundred opportunities. What's, what's the sort of uh, the lead time to something like this? Is it going to be months apart? So unfortunately it's taken us, as I say, we were there in May uh, and what we now, we're in November. November. So um, if we do, if we do manage to be able to source them again, I, I know for now that we can't do them at the prices that we can because we've already had an opportunity on a few different gemstones. Okay. Uh, a blue gemstone, which we all know. Okay. Uh, but the price point on that one is nowhere near what we'll be able to on these today. Okay. So I know that if we do be able to, we will able to get them back, they won't be at these price points. But the lead time is, is minimum four months for okay. where we are. Minimum. Moment, so minimum so four months. grab it whilst you can. The perfect, Hannah, I can say, I'm just thinking about your demonstration earlier on. Imagine these on the bottom of your on, on the tassels. Of the tassel. they, they'd be fabulous because you know what we said about having like sort of the the pendulous sw swing of the, the the weighted gem at the end they they have the the sort of like the um tapered shape as well yeah gorgeous so, so they absolutely lend themselves to being quite 1920s castles 1920s flapper girls that kind of thing. again hannah you've been with us for as long as i have long time but you yeah. stuck around you didn't you didn't escape like i know i, did. I know <laughs> <laughs> um, we pulled you we back, you have, back. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> you haven't seen anything like this before have you that's an oh that's a the, so the only thing I've, I can ever remember is we had some jadeite, um, like a pack of either four or six, mm -hmm. and it was it was a similar shape but not quite the same, more of a gourd shape. Yeah, that's the only only thing I've seen like it. The team, the, so the team yeah. in India were in, yeah. They when we were there, so obviously quite long days. You're doing probably six, seven, eight, twelve a day. One of the days was because we're trying to pack everything in, and they'd save this to the end of that day because they were like. We know there's something that you and Wayne are going to love. And um, Wayne was a bit dubious. Sorry, Wayne. And I said, <gasps> just throw instantly, I was like, instantly, we've got to do it. We've yeah. got to happen. We've These got to do it. Dubious. Wayne's dubious because Wayne's very savvy. Wayne's thinking. Instantly, Wayne was thinking, they're, gonna be, they're not going to be the right price. They're not going to be the right price. And yeah, I said, yeah. Wayne, we'll do it. We've got to do We've got to try them. So, yeah, I see, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm really glad you, look at that, sorry, I've stopped myself mid-sentence, look at that level of clarity. I'm so glad you have, because like you said, there's never been anything like this no, before. No, no. And, you know, they are, like I said, very, uh, they remind me a little bit of the Empire State Building. Yeah. With those beautiful angles. Yeah. Amazing. It's very Art Deco. Art Deco is a perfect way. Again, I quite like Art Deco stuff in general in art. So when I saw it instantly, I was... Me too. I, was, I think maybe, probably actually makes sense as why I was drawn to it. Um, okay, so there's already some people with it in their baskets. We've already had 10 go already. Um, and you don't even know the price. No. So I'm this is the part home. that I find fun. Um, I shouldn't find it fun because then after I tell myself off when I walk out of here. But we'll start at a <laughs> you're price not alone in we'll that. start at a price that we we shouldn't even be starting at but you're normally you're used to what we do um ross let's 29.99 to start you wasn't expecting me to say that straight away no, was you no i was thinking about 70 that 80. feels like the end price yeah that is the end price surely well i've said it now well 29.99 is where we're starting 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 through drill, these are through drill. Does that make a difference as it, well? Yeah, in so, easier. So with, with the tassel, then, and all you'd need is head pins. So you don't you don't have to find any complicated way of attaching it. You just literally thread it on, and then make a little loop at the top, and then you can attach that <laughs> the to action. the chain. If only or you saw you the want. action. <laughs> Put a it on. Ready it on. That's exactly what you do at home. That's exactly what you do. <laughs> New language. Yeah. It is. You knew what I meant, though, didn't you? <clears throat> so, so yeah. So you thread it on like that and then you and you make a cluster of them you could do you know the bubble style bracelets Beautiful. and things like that you could have a little flourish of these like maybe three or five on a um well like a um, a jump ring or the the ogle bit of the toggle you know the round yeah, bit. yeah. quite you, like using those as, as um sort of connectors so you'd attach them to the small um, bit and then thread it on and you'd have this little sort of burst of color amazing maker in cardiff's got two mm -hmm. maker in devon's got two uh, quite a few more guys there. Alison, Lynn, Karen, uh, Margaret's got four in a basket. Thank you so much for trusting us. Twenty nine ninety nine at the moment. And the one thing I would say, Elle, is 
I want people to get this home. I want them to be able to make jewelry yes. with it. I want them to, please, on our social media channels, show us what you've made with it, because I do think this is something that's going to come alive in jewelry. So enter the Wall of Fame. We do that every, uh, draw that every Wednesday. Um, but please do, on our social channels, please do let us know what you think about this cut when you, once you've got it home, because I think it's amazing. It's I love gorgeous. it. But I saw it in Jaipur and was blown away by it, and I'm seeing it again here and thinking even more things about it. Um, Ross? Um, can we have a clock, actually, Adam? I'm calling from the floor. Let's do it. Let's I'm, do it. I'm pretending we're in charge this side of it now as well, Elle. <laughs> I like it. This is exciting. I can't believe you're going lower than 29.99. So there's about 30 that have gone already. Yeah. We only had 100. And there's about uh, 20 in baskets. So the, the big thing for me is I, every time I'm ever on air, I always want to make sure that I can get whatever I'm selling to you or showing you or showcasing you um, home for you so that you can see the amazing things that we're doing. Do you know, do you know, but Scott, this is Morganite and it's £29.99 and that in itself, and that end of sentence, that in itself is unusual, It doesn't feel it? right, no, exactly. It doesn't feel right to have the cut, the quality that you've got there, the wastage that would have been in making that cut and a Morganite for £29.99. Yeah. But we've got 14 seconds and then we... Are you going to do it? We don't go up from this no, point, do no, we? No, that's not, not, that's not what we work. Love this. It's going to be forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, <laughs> you can pay a bit more. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, three carats too, for that beautiful precision. So Ross mentioned something, and quite often when somebody says something, I end up end up taking it as my own story. So uh, let's half that price then. <gasps> that feels right. Fifteen pounds. It feels so wrong. I don't know what you're talking about there, Scott. It's Valerie, L, Margaret's got three, Lynn, Maker, Allison, uh, the bas uh, people who had it in their baskets are now checking out. That's over half the stock gone now already. It's so wrong, but so right. Feels right, doesn't it? Yes, it right. absolutely. <laughs> oh, the potential, the potential, the potential. I'm thinking about, you know, we talk about sort of waterfall earrings as well, don't we? Big chandeliers of fabulous, genuine oh, yeah. gemstones. Yeah. At that price, Scott, we can be completely indulgent. I think that's what the multi buyers are thinking about, though, aren't they? If you've got twos or threes of them, you're thinking overindulgent. You're going, you're going all out. Chandelier earrings, Christmas yeah. party. Yeah, yeah, Perfect. absolutely. Do you remember, do you remember Alison Tarry and uh, Monica Soltes have both made little little characters out of seed beads. You could, you could absolutely use those for sort of like little fairy wings, like the adornments around the edge of the fairy wings. And that's why oh, she's a designer. That's why the designers they're really here. cute. Or, or part of like a little for. sort of like fairy's tutu or whatever. Tutus. I, because they're so twinkly, aren't they? They they're really beautiful. are. They really are. Do you know what? I think you're going to regret just getting the one strand, to be honest. So do shop ahead and oh. have a little look at the other, the other gemstone cuts. Yeah. So... Um, here we go. Let me just. Oh, 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 it's clicked under. You got it. You got what it. about that? Oh my goodness! Mixing the gems together. Oh, I can okay. see why you've been talking about this for so long. I know. Uh, this is one of those moments where I didn't want to press this button already, but I feel like we need to. Um, can we have thirty seconds? Mixing it up. Yes, but why? You're at fourteen ninety nine. For Morganite, end of story. That's what I'm here for, Al. Morganite they only nuggets. wheel me out for the for the collections and the deals, and that's what I'm here for. Morganite nuggets. Morganite nuggets. I know. I know. I know. You know? Can you imagine a brand new launch of a cut? <laughs> Sorry, team in India, for seeing what's going to happen. Oh in a dear me! I bet they are watching. Literally. They're not going to enjoy. They're not going to enjoy the words that are going to come out of my mouth. In oh a second. dear. I'm sorry. Oh I'm sorry dear, to you oh all. Dear. And also, can I just say, when we come off air, I'm probably going to need to place that reorder. Okay. This feels like. I think it's. Can, and be then, can it be at this price? Um, under ten pound, nine ninety nine. Ross, I'm sorry, it's happened. I've said it. I you can say those words if you want, Al, because I don't feel like I can do anything else no, now. No, because now I feel like it. Like it's just. It's going to have to happen. Okay. Well, it doesn't. But okay. It doesn't. But I feel like it does. I'll say it then. Come on then, broad shoulders. Ross has said, I'll tell you what then, you might as well announce to everybody at home that the entire collection is going under £10 as well. Was it meant to be an under no, £10? No, no, <laughs> no. That's, a, that's, a, that's an instant response right there. No, this was never supposed to be 9 99 Categorically no. Categorically no. Have a little look at the website, all the W's at jewellerymaker.com. So that means, yeah, you know, the, the tourmaline, those beautiful chrome tourmalines, £98? No, under 10 
iolite, garnets, amethyst and peridot, aquamarine, amethyst, multi-aquamarine, and your amethyst and citrine, they're all going under I 10. I can tell you right now, when, I, when we were sitting in Jaipur, our intention was never for this to be 9.99. <laughs> um, but, you know, things change when you end up in the studio. Yeah, you, you get just, You get caught it's, in the moment. It's a weird and bubble, isn't then it? Anne, Kerry, Alison, Margaret, yeah. Valerie, they start adding things to their baskets, and I think, it's a very we weird, go. surreal, wonderful bubble. I know. And um, then all of a sudden, the words <laughs> under £10 come out of my yeah, mouth. And, for Morganite. Yeah. For Morganite. And then we've only got 15 left. Yeah, exactly. So they're going to be a Sorry. sellout. Maker wanting five, Bedfordshire wanting five. You've got to check them out if you want those quantities. There was only ever a hundred of them. Um, and it is looking like to be, what, about four, did you say four months running? Minimum. Oh, yeah, minimum four months. If we if we was to place the order when we come off here, to be able to produce them, it would be around four months to Do be able know, to make the cuts. I'm just bowled away by the clarity and the quality of that Morganite. But then I guess if you've got a cut like this, that is as exciting as this, you're only going to be working with the finest grade. Totally. Yeah, you're not going to use with your no disrespect, but the opaque varieties of morganite. You're going to want the one that the morganite which has that level of uh, clarity. Look at the core screens. I think that says it all. There's a frenzy on the core screens. There's a frenzy. There's a slight queue on the phone lines. Yeah. Where are we going next? I'll let you oh, get the next one. Um, oh, do I get to choose? Of course you do. I chose the morganite. Uh, yes, let's do iron. You, you bought it in earlier on. I did. I, 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 I did. Makes sense. I'm not going to lie. I thought this was tanzanite. So the blue gemstone that I mentioned that we have had, because uh, me and Wayne went back and said, could we have this, this, and this gemstone? And uh, they got to the point of uh, sending us uh, a suggested uh, price point for a tanzanite. Yeah. This and would be... I, I, they're nowhere near being able. So the cost price is the price that we sold the last one for. Right. Okay. So, the ten pound. The cost price that we've been offered. So right. the price that we've been offered to be able to purchase it for. Yeah. Is the price of what we uh, that we did the Morganite for. Okay. And a little bit more. And a bit more. So, so if you want that quality, yes. I reckon that. I don't think that's bad. I didn't, we didn't think it was too bad, but that at that point our intention wasn't to do the collection for nine ninety nine. Well, there's that. There so, is that. Um, <laughs> there is. Oh, Wayne's oh, in no. there now. Oh no! Here he is. Look at how <laughs> here he is. He goes all the way here to he India. Is. Well, he sounds like a bear <laughs> with a sore head, doesn't he? Wow. Um, nine nine. I love the iolite. I love it. It's beautiful. Wayne's only just got over that trip. Let's say that. That's all that matters. It's beautiful. Look at that. And I think with it, with this gemstone's natural pleochrosum, you're going to see that in abundance with all these gorgeous facets. Oh, brilliant, to be fair. How amazing does that look? Jennifer, Anne, Gabrielle, Susan, Christine, Alison, Maker in Merseyside. Thank you so much for trusting us. People with it in their baskets as well. It looks perfect drawn up like that, doesn't oh. it? So pretty. Over half the stock's gone already. Yeah, it's going to be a sellout. Do be quick. Uh, this is the only with the uh, the darker it's like the blues. Color, color in it's that amazing. Is incredible, yeah. Absolutely yeah. amazing. I think I like's the next big blue. You know when Tanzanite so, uh, runs out, which is inevitable at some yeah, point, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think I like's going to be the next big blue gemstone. And again, no, we don't often see I like. No. It's not something we see a lot of. It's not something that we do showcases on just because, you know, Wayne being able to get the, the prices that you would want and that we need. Yeah. So, yeah. I, <laughs> 9 99 Maybe, maybe, maybe you just Wayne needs to pull his finger out. Yeah, maybe. He's in, he's in the gallery. He's shouting things in our ears. It's fine. <laughs> he's there, you know. He's not, he's not happy about that it. That body language. Oh, I'm not happy. <laughs> not a nice body language, is it? Arms <laughs> crossed. <laughs> upset. Just, just, mm, I'm not happy. Great, <laughs> right, Wayne. Well, uh, you know. <laughs> well, the financial director waves at us. I know, us yeah. I think I'll be yeah. taking somebody else to Joypool next time. <laughs> Wayne's, the way Wayne's acting in there, eh? Which one next? Amethyst? Yeah, that, that is That was beautiful. my pick. Was it? As in, uh, yeah, I, I again. Stunning. Oh, my word, look at that. You could literally just... Just restrand it like so. I know, straight away. Again, staple in the jewellery making. The 12 years jewellery maker have been here. Amethyst, always something that's loved. Definitely. I was at the Simply Christmas and Creative Christmas event. And uh, Hannah, how much were we 
everyone was always drawn to amethyst, weren't they? Yeah. The back wall was full of gemstones. Yeah, they, they, I think it's something that even when you're a child, you understand like from a very early age that amethyst is a purple gemstone. Yeah. And, and I think it's one that most people learn about early in life. So always. It's, you, know, you have like a... Um, Sort of a, like a kind of a relationship without like mm. uh, with it without realizing yeah. you, you have just it, because there, it's familiar. There was yeah. a lady there, wasn't there? I forget her name, but she was teaching us all the different varieties of amethyst. Ah, she was, she was just going through. She was like chevron amethyst, dog tooth <laughs> amethyst. She was just going through each one of them. I was thinking it's fascinating, and, and I agree. You just know it, don't you, straight away? Um, I think Mark used to always say that when he did the craft events that. 75% of his, his display was amethyst yeah. as his biggest seller. Yeah. Um, these are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at that richness of colour. Hang on, you've made an announcement, even though... I know. Shouldn't have said that announcement, should we now? Mm. Do you know the moments where talkback goes quiet? And yeah, it feels, they have gone yeah. quiet. It's very disconcerting. Yeah, it's disconcerting. Isn't it? It's hard as a presenter when that happens, isn't it? It's, like, it's <laughs> really you, weird. You just get that internal feeling like, yeah, this what's fear. Happening? What have I done? What's happening? What have I done? We said those words now. Thank you. Uh, these are such beautiful shapes. Love, love, love them, says Sharon. There we go, Scott. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. There we if go. If you'd like to see some more, please do let us know. We've said that price point now, haven't we? We have. There you go, then, Ross. Deliver... Press that button. Bit, Unfortunately. Literally, literally on a little featherweight head pin. Uh, I mean, you, little rat you could do it on, like, individually, or you could have... Like, I, I like the idea of clusters of them, so, so you get that sort of, like, almost like a firework of colours, oh, and it'll nice. move as well. If you have, had, like, a piece Ooh, of chain and lots of little rat loops with them, they'd look fabulous as earrings, wouldn't they? Like what? Sorry, Adam. Again, that's lit up the phone lines. 99 Angela, Claire, Sarah, Maker, Maker yeah. again. Uh, Maker in Somerset, Lynette, Janine. Lots of people with it in their baskets as well. Over half the quantity has gone. Uh, if you didn't see the first part, we did say we could only get 100 of each of these. So um, not something that we could get a lot of quantity of. The eye light has sold out. Um, there's only a few left of the Morganite. Yeah, I'm not and surprised. And the amethyst now, over half the stock's gone. Uh, Ross has put them on pre-order. So if you do want to grab them, um, I made the commitment that now I regret that they... Well, Al said it, so I blame Al. Um, <laughs> that they're all going, <laughs> that they're all going okay. under £10. That's all right. So, um, yeah. It's fine. I did look at you and say that you could do that, though. So, it's all right. Yeah. I don't mind. I'll take it. Mm, That's all yeah. right. I've got broad shoulders. It's you okay. know, it's, it's fine. Who's going to tell me off? You. Me, and I was there. <laughs> yeah. I witnessed it. So, you you yeah. are part of this yeah, crowd. I am. Um, amazing. Absolutely love it. The phone lines have literally gone nuts over this. Text in. You know, yeah, share, share, you know, share your feedback to, uh, to Scott and Wayne, who's in the gallery right now. Um, beautiful raindrop collection. Is that sold out, did you say? Very close to. Very, very close to. Ross, which one do you want us to do next? You yeah, go pick. you choose, Ross. This one. Oh, it's so pretty. Ooh. You've got... Hang on. I know. I was thinking the same thing, like, yeah. You've got some golden beryl or heliodor. Mm, yeah, yeah, a bit of heliodor A bit of goshenite. Seriously? What a multi-aquamarine strand there. Right, hang on a minute. If you're, doing that, if you're doing that price again, I'd pay that for that one I know, stone yeah, on its own. that stone is incredible. That yeah? One. Wow. I would happily pay that for that, that one individual stone. I think that's the best thing about when you get your... Pack it home, whatever you've bought. You just open it up and you just get mesmerised by certain things. I, I've spoke to a lot of jewellery makers who sit there and to spend three, four, five hours just looking at what they're searching. Just, just sifting through, just yeah. going, this is incredible. Look how pretty they are, especially when you do bunch them together because oh, you really see they are that amazing bunch beautiful, together. beautiful, beautiful clarity. Yeah, incredible bunch together. Yeah, amazing. But again, that's, uh, you know, the fact that you have this really exciting brand new card... They're not going to be working with sort of substandard uh, gemstones. It's going to be sort of the elite quality. Not at all. Oh, look at... Look oh, here we go. Look, he's I trying know. to get Wayne's say. Wayne, he's happy let now. us know if there's any new cuts you want us to do. Setting himself a task, isn't he? Setting you himself a task. You think he but bigger? Ooh, OK, yeah, I like that. Very nice, yeah. It might be a bit more yeah. of an investment, might be. Yeah, yeah. Not, what, I don't think we'll be uh, mentioning the under £10 on that. No, definitely no. not. 
Uh, Gloria is saying, super chuffed with these, Scott. Uh, fin I almost said fishing then. I finishing like fishing pieces. As well. <laughs> uh, finishing pieces and more, much more to do with them. More, please. Yeah, don't use them for fishing, Gloria. No. But thank you, thank you. If you'd oh, like to see them larger as Wayne had mentioned, then please do let us know. Yeah, and I, yeah. Gloria, I know you've got some fabulous pieces and I know you buy some beautiful gemstones. So they are that little finishing touch, aren't they? they? Yeah, they really are. And I think that's the thing. You could put one on the back of the necklace as well. So you know how oh, some people nice. have like their own little trademark, a little symbol. You could oh. have a little gemstone on the back that's and that nice could idea. be your thing. You that's know? a really nice idea. That is really like a lovely little, idea. Yeah, finishing a touches. Yeah, a little finishing touch. Roberto Coin use, um, your, oh, they want to see black spinel. Oh, that's a good one, actually. That is a good one. Onyx. Very Art Deco then. Go with some green Onyx. Green onyx, not and white, not white onyx. Yeah. That's no. okay, special. That'd be hard. Uh, hmm. That's a challenge. Put that challenge to Wayne. Zircon, zircon would be zircon good. Zircon be amazing. Zircon would be amazing. Turquoise. Yeah. Not under ten pound. We're mentioning things. <laughs> it's not gonna <laughs> Wayne stitch, no? Wayne's stitching us up here though. He's saying gemstones like next up. He'll be saying diamonds, and then we'll be yeah. like, um, oh, we can't do this. Ooh, yeah, that'd be lovely, can't do though. that. Yeah. They're a diamond. Buy them, yeah. yeah, for that price point. Yeah. There'll be about a thousand pounds <laughs> for, for two, unfortunately, but right, we'll try. Stick to the zircon, then. Yeah. Zircon's yeah. more achievable, isn't it? Um, mm. Oh, oh, no, it's not achievable. He's just saying things just to making us white topaz. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Swiss blue. Could we get Swiss that? Swiss blue, London blue. London. Ooh. Amazing. All of those. Ooh. Here we go. Love it. Watch this okay. space. Again, look how over busy half the stuff's gone of that one. Uh, you got Lynn, Lynn, Julie, Beryl. Vivian, Vi oh, I can't even say that name. Vivian. That's Vivian, but Vivian. then I struggled to be able to say Vivian. Like Sorry, Vivian. Time, don't worry. Uh, and make it over to Aquamarine Let's do from the a multi barrel, um, uh, multi Aquamarine this to This is stunning. Which is clipped up. Absolutely stunning. I want to get some of these. Oh, yeah, these are amazing. With the Morganite earlier on, if you got oh. that, or the eye light. I'm going to twist them together so you can literally see the, you know, the Morganite is very limited, Ross is just saying in my ear. Oh, it's that perfect, perfect summer's day sky blue, isn't it? Oh yeah, actually that is. My Again, when we were in India, there was there was two or three that just took our eyes away, and the aquamarine is exactly the one that did. The aquamarine, the aquamarine morganite, the iolite. Are these? What about what about our Indian team? Which ones were their favourites? Um, our man was a big fan of the. Um, oh, is there a tourmaline? There's a tourmaline. There is isn't a tourmaline. There? Yeah. Our man was a huge fan of the tourmaline. Because again, he knows the perceived value of tourmaline. He knows where the value is on tourmaline. So he, yeah, he. Wayne is confirming this as well in the year. He's like, shouldn't be under ten pounds. I know. <laughs> well, know. well, sorry, Wayne. That's just something blue for you for a wedding for next year as well. Oh you yes. Know, married. Oh. Just a little bracelet. Lovely. Look, just just a hint. Beautiful. I mean, like I said, we had a coy of pearls earlier this on. This is very popular, isn't it, Al? Yeah. Instantly, oh, I looked then before the price a ton was even of on. People on the phone lines and on the web. Don't leave it in baskets, because 100 can literally disappear oh, in seconds. in seconds. Yeah, especially when we've got multi-buyers there. There's someone who's got three, four. There's a five there as well. Yeah. So once that five, then that ticks that and that 100 instantly. Amazing. So in Amazing. Well, we had the Cleopatra's Akoya pills on uh, this morning. Oh, yeah. Um, which I absolutely love, because oh. they tessellate together. Yeah, yeah. So you, these could almost be nestled within as well, couldn't they? Yeah, I mean, it's all fabulous. Anything anything goes with pearls, in my opinion. Yeah, so, true. I mean, if you've got a little bit of spark, and, and a lovely fancy shape, okay. then you can definitely. I just something. struggle to find anything that doesn't yeah. work with a pearl. Yeah, absolutely. That's anything true. Yeah, that's true. Um, I do like the idea of black spinel in these. I think that would be amazing. Yeah. Black spinel. Yeah, that, I'm um, already thinking that we we yeah. Let's get that one sorted when we can do that one. Instantly. Black spinel, green onyx, uh, zircon, a tanzanite, tanzanite, topaz. Uh, Again, text in. What would you like to say? Yes. Let us know. Let us know. Tell us on social. You name the cup. The raindrop collection is your collection. Yeah. We saw it in India, but you named it. So, yeah, please do let us know what you'd like to see next. Perfect. On top of a pearl for earrings. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. So it already. becomes the graduation. Thank you, Anne. Yeah. Nice Amazing. idea there, Anne. Love this. Uh, would love these in a clear quartz and black onyx. Good, 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 Jan. Nice. Good idea, Jan. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Write this list down, Wayne. Yeah. Are you, have, you got, have, you got, have you got a pen, Wayne? Write them down. Is it? He's on it, he says. He's got it in his head, he says. He's got it in his head. <laughs> the <laughs> final view brave. of your aquamarine. They're absolutely beautiful. And they're this kind of, 
a, a much more 1920s briolette, because briolette was quite Victorian and it was like curvy and yeah. sort of more, much more like a full drop, whereas this is much more angled, mm. much more sparkle. There's a lot Love of sparkle it. to it. Love it. This next strand's incredible. Oh, that's over there, here. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and we're actually coming, we haven't got that many more. No, 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 we haven't. We've got one more over this side. And I've got two more over this side. Ooh. Are we, are we saving the one that Wayne won't let us talk about to the end? I am get. Yeah, I think we've got to save that one to the end. Yeah. 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 Do you want to keep yeah. that over there so that if yeah, Wayne why not? does come in and There is two it. other secret things for the keen eyed over here as well, which if we get to. This is pretty. This is so pretty. What is it about these gemstones that aren't even remotely related, but just works? I know, I know. Again, it's one of those things you think purple and green, no, but. It works perfectly. They do, don't they? It works they? perfectly. Again, drawn our eyes straight to it when we saw it. What made you decide India. to do multi gem strands? So I, I don't think we see enough multi gem strands. Yeah. I don't think we've I don't think we've brought um, as many as we used to to the air. So and I think also it already instantly thinks of design ideas. So it gives you the design yeah. idea by putting colours together that are mutually kind of matching. So yeah. When we were out in India, there was quite a few multi gem packs that we thought and parcels that we yeah. thought about bringing to you. I think I think it's a lovely. Well, I guess you know, the amethyst and peridot works perfectly does. together. They and do. also the way that they are matched up as well is perfect. Again, to the eye, it's really nice. Yeah, beautiful. Abs isn't that the Wimbledon colours? It is. It is the Wimbledon yeah. colours. Wimbledon colours, yeah, a little reminiscent of uh, of summertime. Um, love it. Absolutely love the two together. Pims and strawberries on the side oh, instantly. Yes. You can see the photo nice. already. There you go. <laughs> Bit of cream. Sorry, us, this is more accurate. It's like that, isn't jug. it? Jug. <laughs> jug of pims, yeah. The jug, I not the little glass. The little glass. I was, I was pretending she'd gone for the little glass. Let's be, <laughs> let's be honest. Come on. We've got the, we've got She's the, got the picture. It was more so the two. <laughs> Waiting for later. Nine ninety nine. You're loving them. They're beautiful. You could do so much with them. You know, I, I love your idea of it being almost like a um, a feature in your collection, almost like your your branding. I yeah, suppose. Yeah, I mean, ob obviously you'd, you'd have to multi buy them, but maybe you could make a collection, and then each one of those has, has yes. a little one on the back Lovely. or something. Or you could do seasonal, so you could have you know your spring collection or something. You you might have the aquamarine, yeah. and then you. You might, I don't know, or maybe the peridot or something, and then summer might Love be it. a different one, really you nice. know. And Genius. Really kind nice. of make it a, a feature. Well, text in all of your lovely ideas. Was it Anne who said earlier on, just one on the top of pearls for earrings? So much potential. I think min minimalistic jewellery is a big thing for now yeah. as well, isn't it? It's been, it has been for the past kind of like year, six months, eight months, has been like small statement pieces. And I think these, whilst they're small, they pack a punch like that. And it, it is a big statement thing that you look at. Yeah. Um, so I think they're amazing. Well, it's like, if you think about maybe, I don't know, uh, I don't know, a, a solitaire gemstone. And think think Harry Winston now, yeah. way beyond my budget. You know, they have little tapered baguettes, don't they, of diamonds, mm -hmm. which which that's what this yeah, can be. Yeah, totally. They're like your tapered diamonds in the jewellery maker world. Um, oh, this is beautiful. I know. Oh, Again, sorry. another oh. colour graduation between two gemstones, but amethyst and citrine after the amethyst and peridot. Well, the siblings. Oh, and you've got bicoloured citrine in I this too. I know, you've too. got a few. Oh, that's ones. gorgeous. That mm, might be my favourite, you know. Citrine's having a resurgence, isn't it? I've always loved citrine. Have but you? yes, it's a it's a it's a happy gem, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, I think I think it's um it's a comeback gemstone. I think sometimes gemstones have moments yeah. of peaks and troughs in yeah. terms of like I don't know whether that's in the emotions that are going around Maybe. in the world or in outside, but I think citrine's a it is. You look at it and smile, don't you? It's you like do. A, it's all that beautiful liquid gold. Um, when you've got top grade citrine like this, you get an amazing clarity. That's almost borderline Madeira colour, though. I know, I know. And if it was Madeira citrine, that's uh, definitely wouldn't be under ten. No, definitely <laughs> not. It's or not all right part. anyway. But we've already you said it. You wouldn't get Madeira citrine nuggets under ten pounds. No. no. Under ten. Sorry, I'd almost forgotten momentarily that that's what you took these two. <laughs> That's what, I like that. That's what you took these two, and then you. the look across. That's what you took these two, Scott. Yeah. Your fault. Just saying. I'm so sorry. Don't be I actually sorry. didn't say the words, so you know. It's I'm, all good. We're passing it over. It's so good. <laughs> and when you come to de-strand these, I guess they would go so much further because we almost become a little bit blasé about strands. But when you take them off the strand, you realise you've got this huge parcel of beautiful exactly. cut gemstones. Exactly. I think again, instantly for me, you get them home, chop chop the strand up, then you've got this amazing parcel and array of different Love cuts of it. gemstones and just
put them back together. What about making little flowers? Could you do little flowers? Yeah, I mean, they'd, they'd be very good as, as, as like petal shapes. So like if you did a tiara twist, you know, um, yeah. Sheila and Linda with the, the bridal work that we've seen in the past, and it, you literally just get like a 0 0.4 wire, mm. go straight through and fold over, and then twist it so that it's suspended at the end of the wire, and then you, you build your flower like that. Beautiful. And Gorgeous. I guess they tessellate like Cleopatra's pearls. Yes, yeah. So you could almost have them in the Gemini position. Amazing. Lovely. Loving that. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Look at the multi buyers on this one. I All know, around yeah, the world. Laura, Maker and Devon, Joyce. Uh, that's that's going to America right there. Off isn't to America. It? See Cleveland. Love Thank it. you so much. Two going to America. Amazing. Um, Teresa, Angela, Brenda, Mary, Amanda, thank you so much for trusting us. Thank you for enjoying the uh, the raindrop collection. You will be the first people to get it. First time to air. First people to get it home. And please do let us know what you'd like to see next. If you'd like to see them bigger, slightly bigger shapes. If you'd like to see a smaller strand, but even bigger. We'll, you know, we'll task Wayne with everything that we can possibly do. Something's just come into my head. Okay. And I can't believe we haven't suggested this. Oh, you probably have. Jadeite? <sighs> oh, is Wayne still in that gallery? <laughs> he's just, uh, folded his arms again. What did he, so just he's, say? He's, he said the words "no chance." <laughs> that's you know that's um, an honest feedback, isn't definitive. it? To a question, that's yeah, a, it's, yeah. Very, it's very definitive that's... answer to a question. Yeah. Um, um, okay. Can you imagine enough. the wastage on that? Al? Yeah, true. We'd have somebody there picking up the wastage. <laughs> 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 we could. We can try. We can ask the question. Oh, great idea. Oh, Paul. Oh, but can you yes. imagine? Ooh. Ethiopian. Oh, I like the idea of that. That sounds nice. Faceted. Ooh. Now we're over your side now. We are, aren't we? I pinched this one, didn't I? Is are we this doing that? Again? Are we Wayne's... doing the green I, tourmaline? I thought we were doing this when Wayne wasn't here. Is he not? He's, not, he's Ross, still you, there with his arm crossed. Can you kick him out, Ross? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Adam, get him out of there, Adam. One of the heavies. One of the heavies. Get him out. Get him out of there. <laughs> Set. Oh. Send him home. Mm. He's not moved. His, his, his feet are <laughs> firmly rooted to the ground. These are beautiful. Okay, why uh, why is he kicking up such a stink about the green tourmaline going under ten pounds? Then um, I don't even need to say anything because already half of them are in baskets yeah. and half of them are being checked out. Chrome tourmaline as well. My first experience of chrome tourmaline was in an, in a Lorik piece of jewellery. Yeah. So they're like thousands. That's okay. It's totally natural today for under ten pounds. Yeah. Let's do I it. Know. Let's half do the stuff's it. gone now. I don't think you'll be. I don't think this will be on your hand for often. No. This one's already earmarked for somebody. Can who's we do this in room waiting. light? Ooh. No, not for under ten pounds. Wait. That was my Wayne impression. The, sec the second stage of this collection will be with Wayne out here, and unfortunately, none of this will be ten pounds. <laughs> 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 Goodness me, nine ninety nine. Natural in its colour as well. Remember the last time you did a green tourmaline strand? Exclusively green. Yeah. Oh, if ever. No, I can't remember. I can't remember again. I, you know, since have I've been we? back, I can't remember. No, we normally just do multicoloured tourmaline. Wait, it's a question for Wayne. Wayne, have you managed to do a green tourmaline showcase? More recently, how long, how long ago was that? About a year and a half ago. Did we? Well, I'd love to have done that. They were insane, he said. One of those things that probably escaped you again, Al, like Maybe. me. Maybe. Not allowed to be on air together. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. Clearly. Don't want us on air together. <laughs> no, Unfortunate that's occasion. what it is. That's oh, well. it. Is, it. is that a Wayne decision? Yeah, Wayne. He Must always be. says, he always says, don't, don't go on that shift side. That's what <laughs> he says to me. <laughs> <laughs> 999 um again 100 which is uber exclusive you know when we talk about i don't know uh, uh, say when harry winston or or uh, um the asher cut was first launched and we're talking about uber exclusivity mm -hmm. and limited edition i bet they weren't as limited edition as 100 oh no 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 their limited edition is two yeah. No, well, no, no, no. Well, no, now, Asher's pretty much every well, single diamond cut around the world does the true, Asher yes, cut. Yeah, yeah, very true. Yeah, You've no. only got 100 today. Yeah. No, you wouldn't get this sort of level. Tenor. Yeah, no, you're right. No, you're right. You're right. I'm taking it back the other way. Yeah, you're totally right. <laughs> Let's recess myself back there. Yeah. And um, uh, that's over the half cycle of that. Yeah. So, Al, you've got the last one there, haven't you? Have I? Garnet. Oh, I love the garnet. So I think it's going to be very popular. Yeah, I do. I, yes, I agree. I think if you've got any of these, you need the garnet because it will work. It will complement every single one. 
like that green tourmaline it would be amazing with again tourmaline. garnet's one of those entry uh, it's kind of entry gemstones that everybody yeah. knows loves and the color in this as well that deep rich color it is beautiful absolutely beautiful oh it oh. so works in the garnet yeah it really does so works we need more amazing. garnets then like specitite i think so oh varieties nice. of garnet but a hessonite garnet in this yeah, it'd be stunning, wouldn't it? Love it, love it, love it, love it. Are you doing that? Uh, yeah. Single figure price tag, again, crazy. Absolute madness. I love the garnet. It's hard to choose Ooh, a here we go. It's changing. I think this might be the customer's favorite. This one's not gonna last long either. Over half the stock already gone. 9.99. Yeah, this is stunning. Uh, this with some pearls. I know we've said it loads yeah. of times, but I think- Garnet and pearls. Yeah. I can instantly see that, Hannah, straight away. So yeah, yeah. Nine ninety nine, a hundred. Yeah, there's three rows of names. There is a bit of a queue on the phone lines, but our call centre will get to you. It's gorgeous. It's going to be an on-screen sellout. The first of the collection. So you're right. This is the customer's most popular. This is. It seems like the customer. Well, there's only ten left now. I think. Look at that. If I do a quick mass there. Specitite, <laughs> Wayne. Oh. Shouting gemstones. Shouting gemstones. Wayne's just saying no just, to everything. Just Not a good me today, today, is it? Good mood today, is it? No. Yes, Al. Thanks. We'll just do it. Yes, Scott. we'll do it now. Thank yes, you. I'll make him buy it. Thank yes, you. it'll happen. Zavarite. If Al wants, Zavarite. I, I think I think why Wayne keeps saying no is is because we've done nine ninety nine. <laughs> it's his arms. He, his arms. He hasn't stopped crossing his arms. No, yet. they're still no. crossed. Uh, great suggestion from Sarah. Could we have this in Amazonite, please? Ooh, Ooh, that's got that's a yes. You're onto something there. What about malachite? Ooh. That's not going to be in the what, Malachi. I know, Wayne. We know it won't be 9 dollars <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but what about Labradorite? Oh, so, cool. when we were there, Al, yeah. the team had shown us the raindrop collection. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't the raindrop collection at that point. It was a new cut that they wanted to show us. And there was another kind of subsidiary to it another step forward that they'd managed to put forward and th we've only managed to get two of these so this is only two so options that we could bring exclusive. in this is this is another kind of they wanted to pitch it as another level i think there's each to each side some of them okay. are amazing some of them are incredible these are slightly different yes there's a it's slightly more kind of um curved. i would say curved cut and a little bit deeper as the cut yes again we've only had two of these two different varieties it's been labelled as part of the raindrop uh, collection, but it's kind of like, I wouldn't say version two, V2, but they're kind of more arrows. Yes, but circular arrows. Yes. Like conical, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah. Cones, yeah. Little like Christmas perfect, trees. Christmas like a Christmas tree, tree yeah. ice cream cone mixed with an arrowhead. Again, it feels only right that you name this collection. Absolutely, I think that should be another social media thing. So for these, these weren't intended to be in today, but they've crept in just as an example of a few of the product development things that we're looking at with the team in Jaipur. Um, and this is a Perido today. Again, this is outside of what we were talking about before, so it shouldn't be under 10, but let's, um, let's. Uh, <laughs> who's let him in the gallery? I know. <laughs> Makes I, it. I know. You know. <laughs> I, I often say he's, he's, he does sound like a bear. A grumpy bear. A bear? Yeah. No, blah, blah, blah. If you ever met Wayne, he is the least grumpy person you could probably ever it meet. Is, it is true. He's yeah, not grumpy no. at all. In he the gallery, he turns yeah, he a bit just, grumpy. He just turns grumpy, yeah. <laughs> he turns grumpy at situations, but generally not. Um, are you going to do it, though? Even though these technically aren't the raindrop collection. It feels right, though, doesn't it? There's only two strands. There's two strands. We managed to get 100 of each again. And this is just an example of, you know, what we can also bring and what, if you would like to see, then we will. Why not, Alan? We said it earlier on. You yeah. said it, but why not? 9.99 then. They're so cool, aren't they? They are beautiful. I, I, I want to say Christmas trees. They look like Christmas trees. Very festive. We're feeling that feel now, aren't we? Yeah, totally. I Something very exciting coming up on Friday, isn't there? Friday, 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 Friday. You're not, Friday, you're not, you're Friday, not involved. You, yes, you're I here. Am. I am involved. And you're not in the special group yet. No. You're not in the crew. What? What's the crew? Stay tuned for Friday, guys. What is that then? Friday's big. Is it? Friday's gonna be huge. Well, I'm here on Friday. It's gonna be huge. Is uh, it? I'm huge. excited. I want to know the secret. Wow. I'll only tell. I'll only give the secret away if Mr. Crossed Arms in the gallery wants me to give the secret away. 
Um, can we, Wayne? Can we give the secret away for Friday? Under Wait. ten pounds, nine ninety nine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Loads of you there. Hello, Jenny, Dawn, Helen, Sean, Brenda, Meath, Multipliers, Devon. Hello to you, Anna, Pauline, Chrissy, Virginia, Angela, Pauline, Meyer in Paris. The, the, you're loving this new car, and I guess Absolutely it's something it. so different to, uh, to, to to anything we've really seen before. No, nice. because Briolets tended to be through drilled, didn't? Not through yeah. drilled, top drilled. Uh, no. Hey. They, 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 they go straight through the middle, so yeah, through, that's through, yeah. No, so you'd have your, your, well, I think we did both, to be honest, but most yeah. of the briolettes that I used to yeah. see were that shape and drilled that way, as opposed to that way. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah. yeah you're right, so, that's my right. it makes instant sense. reaction yeah. to the briolette. So, so much more versatile, actually, having them that direction. Oh, <laughs> Going back to that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my opinion, anyway. I, because yeah. you can literally just pop them onto a bit of beading thread, or or yeah, if you if you want if you want to um, that's one now. thread through them, then then you want the sideways drill. If you want to use them as like a, a drop, then 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 straight through is easier. Yeah, and just use head pins. That's lovely. Tourmaline again. Uh, Should be nowhere you know near said, that. You know we said about black spinel. I know. This has got a spinel vibe about it. Not black, obviously, but it has got a spinel vibe. I have no favourites, like my children. Um, but this is... <laughs> That's <good>. <laughs> <laughs> Someone good. always asks you what's your favourite child, don't they? Yeah, do you know, they always you do. You listen back and they'll say, did Scott just say... <laughs> no, he didn't. That's all right. Then, they then. always say that, though, don't they? What's your favourite child? Is that, yes. That's a bizarre favorite, of course. question, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Really bizarre. You've surely been asked that. I've been asked that far yes. too many times. Yeah. No, no, I don't have one. <laughs> certain days. <laughs> Different on certain Depends. days. Yes, one day that one. not allowed to admit hey. it even if you have. Hey? <laughs> not allowed to admit it even if you have. No, no. that's true. <laughs> but this has definitely got a bit of a, a multicoloured. I mean, it's tourmaline. Wait, 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 wait. This is petro tourmaline. I know, I know. Put that so, petro in front. Oh, my goodness me again. You're not going to do what I think you're going to do. I think we are. Ross has pressed the button, he's taking charge. Wayne's had enough. It's time for 9 99 Ian is not happy about it. Livid. He heard that I said he can go home and he's gone. Livid. Yeah, he's no, what I've, yeah, checked, he's, he's, he's checked it. He's in yeah, the car he's gone. already. Goodbye. He went happy about that. 99 Oh, they do look like perfect little teeny tiny Christmas trees. They are. This they is, do, is again. They? You make it like a whole little sort of crystal forest, couldn't you? Oh. The shades <laughs> of Christmas trees. It's lovely. And you've got the gold as well for the star on the top. Oh, Stunning, it's a lovely absolutely lovely stunning. Um, I could genuinely count on one hand the amount of times I've actually had petro tourmaline. Um, yeah, again, I don't think I've ever. I've never been on air and brought it to air. I don't think I'd ever even produce a day as I produce. It's a, a really, really tourmaline. sort of distinctive colour saturation. If you yeah. research it for uh, re research it, sorry, research it, research, research it. it um, it's a really distinctive colour. Look at the collectors getting involved on this it. one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for trusting us. Thank you so much for messaging in. Thank you so much for naming the collection. Um, yeah. It's been absolutely amazing. I've really enjoyed bringing it to you. Myself and Wayne hopefully will go to Jaipur again next year. Maybe not Wayne, you know, after his arms crossed. So <laughs> might take somebody else. Um, yeah. But we keep trying to bring as many things as we possibly can to you. So please do enjoy. Adam and Ross have put themselves forward already. So I think Ross, is, I think that's a great call. You know, Although, no, to... no, 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 you're not. No, you're not. Cause I can't... Uh, that means you want to go as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, a team go. The whole team, that'd be good. Produce fun. a show from India, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yes. Create a show from India, live from Jaipur. That'd be good. That would be good. We get our eyes go. That's brilliant, Ooh. isn't it? In the vault in Jaipur. <laughs> that sounds like loads of fun. That Thank brilliant. you so much. No, you're much, welcome. Scott. No, you're welcome. We love it. We absolutely love it. Masterclass after the break, isn't it? Yes. Hannah, what are we up to? Um, we've got this very new, fancy, fangled little uh, component. It's a sort of a yeah, celestial so design. Sounds I believe amazing. they were made for us. Um, yeah, very, these would very look lovely exclusive. with your masterclass. Yeah, I, wait, looking forward to it. There you go. There you go. So, lovely so celestial the little oh, very nice. they, I think they've been made specifically for us because we asked if we could create something that looked like the planetary uh, rings. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Beautiful. Well, there you go. Love that. Pop a few raindrops in there as well. We work perfectly. Yeah. Away you okay. go. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for all the lovely messages. And uh, yeah, I think that's. Well, join us after this. I'm out of it. It's over to the masterclass. It's Scott. Bye, everyone.
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> oh, sorry, just uh, we do have a laugh. We do all have a laugh, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, Hannah. Hello. Oh, so beautiful. It's so cute, isn't it? So I don't know if this, I don't know if this was Alice's idea originally, or if if it was kind of a, a group effort or not. But I know, I know she said that um, we've never had them before. They've been made like sort of for us. Um, and We're talking she, about these, kind of, these like, halos. Yeah, so, so, so Alice, she's, she sent me a picture of a concept that she had in her head that I think she'd shared with the, the buying team, and then they've sort of pulled it together. Um, so, and then she'd literally got little, little things and superimposed them sort of together as a bracelet or together as a necklace and said, could we make this? And, and this is basically it, you know. I, I, I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and it's and it's it's such a simple idea, mm. but with something that we've not seen before. Gorgeous. Okay. So we've done sort of halos, but not a halo yeah. with a little a little star on yeah, there so, as well. Yeah, so it's like a like it's a self suspended. Um, I mean, you could probably see it better on on the actual pendant. But, okay. But you, you can't. Oh, I see. Can you? Can you? So see? it goes that way. Yeah. So I, I wonder if I can. How am I going to show you? Oh, this? it's like Saturn. Yeah. It's like the planet I, Saturn. Tilt it in such a way that you can see, like there's, there's kind of, how am I going to do that look? Okay. You sort of see, it's sort of like it's suspended within, within the uh, component itself so that it looks like one of the rings around Saturn or something like that. Um, and, it's, and it's all part of the kit. So, so that, that central stone has got two drill holes in it. Oh. So then you set it into the, into the component and then you set a peg into the gemstone and then you can use that as your pendant. So instead of it being a pre-created piece, you actually are part of 
you know, making the actual components. Saturn's my favourite planet. I've, ne I've never been. Is it nice? No, I've not been. Um, I've not been, but I just think it's pretty. It it's is just lovely. really pretty, isn't it? I really feel, pretty. Yeah, I feel like I've, I've, I've hung that sort of badly yeah. now, so you can't really see it very well. But No, don't worry. We can, we can turn it. There we go. Just it and turn oh, it. Oh, they're beautiful. They're so cute, aren't they? And you said a while, I think it was during this show. Now, we are actually going to start with this very kit. You said earlier on that, you know, the little petite pieces of jewellery are so on trend uh, at the moment. Massive. Anything celestial as well, anything that could be um, a stacker, anything that's kind of dainty um, but, but has a bit of an impact to it. Yeah. So, I mean, this has got like, ama amazing little sterling silver components all the way through. I don't think anybody else has got that kind of thing where, where, where the gemstone is suspended within the halo. I mean, yes, we've had other halo beads, but you, you put the peg through and you sort of you sort of force it to be there. But this, because you're you're setting it before you then create your necklace, um, it floats, and I love that. It's just so different. Isn't so it? clever, so clever. Um, Ross, what are we taking this kit to? Remind me. Oh my word! Well, I, I, I've brought this length of chain, which is sterling silver, to air. And I knew he was going to deliver on a great deal. It's 925 sterling silver. Yep. If I hold it against the decolletage, you can see you get that. Really beautiful infinity link. It's so twinkly, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. This on its own, at the price that we're taking the kit to, is amazing. Brilliant. Brilliant. Is absolutely amazing. So you've got a full metre length of 925 sterling silver. Um, with the the infinity link, which is super duper easy for you to attach jump rings and things to, you don't have to be a silversmith, do do you? Yeah, you don't have to be a silversmith. Um, I I am going to use a little um, an awl, um, just because it depends on the, on the on the on the gauge of the uh, jump rings. But I you're going to poke. I'm going to use it like a pokey tool, and I'm going to just widen some of them because it's sterling silver. It's malleable, so you can adjust the size of the links so that you can thread things into it. Amazing! I, I know what you're going to do. Yeah, I can. I can imagine what you're going to do, and what a clever idea. Um, here we go. So you get a meter of your infinity chain. Then you're also getting your jump rings, which you get six of. Then you get your lobster claw and your your peg. Peg. Yep. You get all your little star nine two five sterling silver charms, which are so pretty. They're all they, stamped as well, aren't they? Yeah. Got the nine two five in the reverse. And then you actually have almost. I'm going to call it the Saturn. Yes, yeah, I mean, that's it's, satin it's like pendant. Satin. It, it is beautiful. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but it's got the two drill holes, and it doesn't matter which on. which one you put the, like, into that component, as long as one of the uh, as long as the other drill hole is accessible to put the peg into. I'll do my best. Can you see? Well, <laughs> there we are. I'll do my best to hold it that way. Right, so yeah, so you can see that's got the little peg. Yeah. Okay. So that little peg, you that you then put a little bit of glue using your hypo cement with a with a, a precision nozzle into one of the drill holes in your gemstone, and then which you, is a beautiful and moonstone. Then you, uh, and then you hook it into there, and you've got to uh, position it in such a way that the other drill hole is accessible from the top of the component. And the way the way I did that was with some prick prick um, tack or blue tack blue or something tack, like yeah. that. I can kind of, if I if I show you how this one was while it was gluing just kind of like that so the peg that that you can see from what Elle's got is underneath it so that there's glue inside the gemstone with hypo cement use a bit of like blue tack or something that just so you can support it and then make sure that the other drill hole is accessible because that that peg becomes the bale and that's how you get the floaty effect yes and then so that that um you have to be careful which way around you set that peg because the, the chain has to go through it. So you need to, if you imagine, you have to line it up so that it's pointing at the stars on either side. And then you know it's the oh, right way around. Oh, Alice has called this kit as well, Planets Align. Oh, that's lovely, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it amazing? 
Love it. I love this. You know, it's that solar system story. It's, it's so gorgeous. I think that's a little moonstone, isn't it, as well? Yeah. It's, it's a, a gorgeous rain moonstone. Rainbow moonstone. So you get all that lovely sort of colours mm. and things in there as well. It's such a delicate. It's so, do you know what? It's so, it's so Alice. <laughs> it's it so really her. is, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it is. It's yeah. absolutely stunning with the st a lot of sterling silver as well. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, the whole thing is sterling silver. It's well, amazing. That necklace, which you've obviously got surplus chain, so you, yes, you'll have I've, more than I've, enough I've, chain. I've used half of it and it's quite a long necklace so. yeah so i mean that necklace on its own should probably be about 150 pounds i'm imagining i mean yeah but it's 925 sterling silver you've got rainbow moonstone and a lot of precious metal as well we're not even stopping at 39.99 are we not okay no v very special the one that for the for, for the infinity chain on its own look at that that's an amazing price point today because there's more sterling silver in your infinity chain to your curb chain. Oh, uh, yeah, there's loads of it. It's so, t I mean, I love the fact it's so twinkly. It really goes with like the, the rainbow moonstone and the sterling silver and the and the, just the whole thing twinkles like the night sky. It's brilliant. I love it. I, I hope you wear this. It's very you, uh, actually. If I'm allowed, I will, yeah. <laughs> you should. Yeah. You should. It's absolutely gorgeous. Twenty four ninety nine. I mean, that's like luxury Christmas gifts. It's, it's stunning, yeah. I mean, I, I, I love it anyway. I love, I love the concept. I love the gemstone. I, I love, I love stars as well. So yeah, the whole thing. Well, there's just, so much meaning behind the it's stars. It's just so pretty, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you know, you, you know, lots and lots and lots of. I, I think I did a, um, I think I did a presentation once upon a time, Hannah. I won't do it, obviously talk about it now, but you know, the meanings behind stars and constellations ah, and okay. things like that. It's been around literally for hundreds, one hundreds of years. Yeah, you know, it's hopes, dreams, wishes, goals. All sorts, all sorts. What? Oh no! <gasps> That's beautiful. Oh, wait, 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 what? Wait. Everything, all that 925 sterling silver, the only way to get hold. And he dropped the price of, and then put the clock there. I know, it was meant to be. I think, what was it? What was Then you do that the other way around. <laughs> oh. He's having one of them days. Oh, it's. it's what is it? It's. Uh, Ross gone rogue, wasn't it? He Ross has gone rogue. rogue. Yeah, he's that's an absolute what it was. rotter. He's not really. He's not really. <laughs> he's lovely. lovely. He is lovely. But he's gone rogue again. He has gone rogue <laughs> completely and utterly. Oh my goodness Look me! How pretty that is. You could even divvy out those stars, couldn't you? You don't have. You could have maybe one with the beautiful moonstone and, and obviously the yeah uh, um, the halo, and then you could have the little stars maybe in. I'm just thinking the girls would love that. Yeah, I, I mean, mean we're look, you've, too got, small, you've got so but. much of the chain left over. You could absolutely, absolutely make you know like a, a chain with the stars on, or yes. a couple, of, a couple of bracelets with the stars on actually, because you could have three on each one. Nice. And you've got, I mean, it's like a metre, so you've got at least half a metre. So there's plenty to make two. We weren't Definitely. meant to be going any lower than twenty four ninety nine. What is he doing? <laughs> so cheeky. You'd never. Yeah. I, I mean, if I've never made a single piece of jewellery <laughs> in my life, I. I know with your guidance, Hannah, I could do that. I could. Um, I would never in my wildest dreams imagine that that necklace would cost £20. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? But I'm, I'm just, I, I, I'm quite stunned, actually, because it's such a lovely thing. I feel like I want to just position that in the middle somewhere. Because it moves. It is quite Vivian it is, Westwood. It is, very, it is very Vivian Westwood, actually. Yes, because she does that. Her, her, her branding is quite similar. Vivian Westwood? Yeah. With, well, with planets, well, she, she, I always think of crowns and things with her as no, well. No, she's but... got like that. She's got like Saturn. Oh, like. okay. She's kind of got what yes. it looks like, known the as the globe. globe. Yes. Yeah. Oh Check out. I'm out with his Vivian Westwood I know. knowledge. Oh, so stylish. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. 1999. <laughs> I was happy at that. I was happy at 24.99, but 1999 for the Infinity Chain. I think is absolutely amazing. It's absolutely Christmas presents all the way. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Make sure you do check out those baskets, lovely jewelry makers. And we do have another amazing kit. I tell you what, let's do that now, so you can sort of shopping, be shopping along, um, alongside one another. This includes. Oh my goodness me. That's aquapraise. That yeah. So this is why I said I didn't think it was um, the jadeite, but from a, from a distance, it was kind of is it? It's aquapraise. 
So I have added um, a couple of little oh. stardust spacer beads in there that aren't in nice. the kit. They're, they're from mine, but um, yeah, it's it's just you get the little you get the, the stars and the moons and the, all all of the gemstones. Beautiful. You get yeah, you get the sterling silver in, uh, for the length of bracelet, including including the extender chain. So if I I oh, I'll turn it round, you can see it all then, can't you? So you get this length of chain at the reverse, just here with the lobster claw. That comes literally complete, doesn't it? One yes. one solid component. There's your extender chain with the nine two five sterling silver. Um, you're getting aqua praise just here. Um, and all that sterling silver in the halo. You're also getting appetite and sapphire wasn't it sapphire yeah <laughs> oh wow all the sterling silver plus your little stars and your hearts plus the jump rings plus the length of chain for your bracelet now should we a little 60 second clock on your screen how many do i have of these available a hundred for the gemstones on their own we should not be under 20 pounds no for the gemstones <laughs> and the sterling silver? Definitely not. We should definitely not be under £20. But that's exactly what we're going to do, Hannah. We're under £20. Aren't we're going to take oh it under gosh. £20. That means you can get both of these. You've been spoiled today. I, I feel like I've been spoiled quite a lot recently. I've had some amazing kids. <laughs> You're two amazing yeah. high end, high end hours. I mean, and this, this one's bespoke for us pound, as well. £40 this, pound for yeah. both of those. This is like the. the the brainchild of our buying team and our and our on our team upstairs. They are put, awesome, aren't making they? Making something happen because they can. Because they can. Because they're because clever. Because they can. Yeah. Super clever. It's happening. It's going under twenty pounds. I love the bracelet. I love the bracelet. You know, if I was to see these both of these items in like a boutique jeweler, I would probably struggle to choose between the two. I think you'd have to have both. Well, because at this like, price, we probably could. I mean, I, I think that I think they're fab anyway. But it's quite nice to have something that's not not necessarily matchy matchy, but of an ilk, you know, of yeah. the same theme. Yeah. So it's all kind of you can see it goes together. Do you know? And there's a the quirk. Maybe you've twist. got two sisters or two friends or or, or, or cousins or, or daughters. Yeah. And you want to give them the same piece of jewellery, but with a variation of. Yeah, different characters. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Absolutely love that for the, for the gemstones on their own. I mean, when we talk about just the, the, the aqua praise, here is a gemstone that is within boodles, within uh, um, within um, Levion, Levion themselves. Unreal prices for you today. There is a queue on the phone lines. Please do bear with our amazing call centre. They will get you. I promise, 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 promise. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. So, Hannah, how, what are you going to demo? Um, I was going to show you how to make the necklace. Perfect. That's all right. Yes, love that. Kay. Amazing. So, I wonder if I should just um, borrow that to explain the, the gluing and stuff again. This one? E either, just so that I can show you what I mean about the attaching it. There you go. I won't actually glue it because um, what I would say is when you're, when you're gluing it, use hyper, hyper cement so you've got the, the nozzle that will fit inside the, the drill hole on the stone and then when it's in position and it's supported by a bit of um, blue tack or prick tack or whatever leave it alone let it set properly because okay. you have to you have to rely on the peg as the bale so it, so it needs to be yeah the it's the it's the white version for Ad, it was I, adam asking what, what i've never heard prick. of prick tack either. it's and they like prick stick they yeah. do their version of, of blue tack but it's white right it's okay. that stuff it's Works all right. the same yeah <laughs> that's just what we got so um, I'm just going to try and find the other drill hole so you can see. So there's one there. And then if I use a little needle, try and find it. There's the other one. Like that. So can you, can you see that? So it's got two different drill holes. So one of those, you need to make sure you've got glue in both of them. And then you need to make sure that it's sitting inside there on that peg. But when it's in there, you need to make sure that the other drill hole is accessible so you can attach the, um, the peg that's separate, which for now I haven't got, oh, we could because it's already attached, that's why. So if I just, without gluing it, I'm gonna tr just try and show you. It's quite tricky in these lights to actually see it now. <laughs> so there's one of the little holes there. I reckon if I can line it up, 
it is it is a little tricky but um it's worth it's worth it in the end it's worth the effort right so that's in there and then i'm just going to look for the other the other drill hole so you can see it there you go don't know how close you can get but so it would be sitting on the peg and then the other drill hole needs to be lined up so that when you put this peg in it's almost like joining the dots between um, the two stars so this is why I've used like a, a blue tack or something just to make sure it's all in the right place while it's gluing because you, you want it to sit so that it's going to sit properly on the chain kind of like that yeah so when, when, when you've got it in the right place then that's when I, I've sort of uh, I popped it into some some tack like that so that it can dry properly and then when you're sure that it's all secure like that and you can suspend it from that peg that's when you're safe to then make your, your necklace so I, I would definitely glue it and then leave it overnight kind of thing okay so with the um, chain that you've been given I've cut it in half you probably don't need that much and then that's going to sit in the middle and then you want the, the stars to be kind of equidistant either side. I do want my stars aligned to go with my planets aligned. I'm just going to use, so this is an awl, um, and I'm going, to, I'm going to widen some of these little links. So I'm just going to use the awl, and I'm going to just push it in and twist slightly and do it from both sides. And then what happens is that will force that link open slightly. So once it's slightly bigger like that, you can then get your jump rings through. So if I attach um, one half of the uh, clasp, which one do you get with it? That one you get with it. And I'll borrow that jump ring for the other side. So just going to open this, pop the, um, the little ring that's already there. We'll go through and then the link that I've sort of forced open slightly is then big enough to get your jump ring through so if you start off just on one side like that and then what I'm going to do is thread on my uh, little planet like so and then I'm going to have to stretch it out it's probably it's probably too much chain for you to actually see but if so imagine this goes off to the clasp at the other end so wherever you want this to sit you then need to separate your links out and make sure that it like to the eye they're, they're kind of lined up that looks nice just like that i too. mean it's, it's cute on its own anyway isn't it like that mm. but it kind of doesn't really matter where you start as long as as long as both sides line up so i'm just going to pick a link and then again i'm going to use my awl and i'm going to sort of force it open slightly so it's just gentle movement and then from both sides you're just trying to open that link up enough so that you can get your jump ring through it so if i go like that so i know which one it is okay and then i'm going to take one of my uh, jump rings and a couple of pairs of flat nose pliers and just open it like that i'm going to pop on a little star and then I'm just going to hook that through and I'm going to bring that back together again so you always go slightly past and then back to the central point just to make sure it's completely in place right again every time you do this make sure you line up the ends of your chain because it's going to make a difference when it's um, when it's worn so the other side you're going to do exactly the same thing, but you want to count roughly how many links you've got just to make sure you're in the middle. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's sitting on the tenth one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that the right one? I don't know if it's nine or ten there. I'm going to go, I'm going to take a punt on that one. And it will move about, so it, it doesn't have to be exact but it depends if you're a bit OCD and you want it to be <laughs> so I'm 
So I'm just going to, again, just widen that link enough so that you can get a jump ring through on the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay, just going to hold that so that I can see which one it is. And again, I'm going to take my little um, jump rings that are part of the kit, two pairs of pliers, just because it saves my fingernails. And I am bad for that. I really should not use my nails as pliers, but you sort of do after a while. Uh, I do use yeah. them for loads of things. <laughs> I think it's just... I was chipping paint off of my nails yesterday. Uh, yeah, that's Literally it. Literally the afternoon after I'd had them done. Oh, I did that with gardening once, and I, I took the thumbnail colour straight off again within probably a couple of hours of having it done. <laughs> yeah. She did call me a plonker, but fixed it for me. <laughs> Can't help it, you know. I just, no. Things have to be done. <laughs> Okay. If it wasn't for work, I wouldn't have my nails done. Yeah, I, I don't know if I, if I would. I didn't used to, but um, I quite enjoy having them done now. Right, so once you've got to that point, it's easier because you can just count links then. So that was uh, nine links between the, the, where the pendant sits and where the jump ring goes. So I'm just going to count another nine links before I add another one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... And if you think, like, if you remember this particular chain, each link is like a little, almost like a figure of eight, but not quite. I'm just going to open that link up a little bit. Don't want to force it too far, but this is the beauty of sterling silver. Because it's sterling silver, it's malleable. You can shape it, and therefore, we can bend it to the, what it's we want it to do. Yeah. Okay, popping on another, another little star, and then hook that through, and then close it back up again. There we go. And then again for this one, you don't need to you don't need to measure it up now. You just need to count from the the previous star on that side. So I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine links through okay so a gentle gentle opening of that link and again it's, it's all repetitive it's just something to do just spend a few minutes don't try and rush it just do it gently and it will look amazing I promise you I'm just going to pop this one on. And there's nothing to say you couldn't have um, other charms on here either because, I mean, the whole chain is this um, infinity link. So you could absolutely go along and add other things to it. You could add wrap loops and gemstones. Actually, if you wanted to make it match with the, um, with the bracelet, then you could have, um, you know, like, you don't have to use them all in the bracelet. If you bought both, you could put some as um, drops um, on here. Did I have the... I thought I'd missed the star then. Losing the plot. <laughs> get in there, get in there. So we've just got two more to go to make this lovely little sort of celestial design. I do think I might make it a little bit shorter, actually, the chain. It's personal preference, isn't it? You've got like a, you've got a meter, so you can make it whatever length you want. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there we go. Push that one through. Is that one fighting back? A slightly narrower link. I think that might have been stretched at some point. There you go. But you do, you do just, it's just a little gentle, gentle wiggle and it'll open. And it just, it just enough so you can get these through. Okay, I'm going to pop that one on as well. It's quite satisfying actually to see this coming up. Okay. There you go, just lining it up. Make sure it's, uh, you just need to make sure that the um, jump rings are, are aligned and um, closed as well, because you don't want them to, to fall off. You don't want to lose the little stars. She says, having lost a little star, there it is. There's the last one. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm just going to count for nine on this. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's that one. If you don't have an awl, I was just thinking you could probably do this. Knitting needle? Oh, yeah, well, I was thinking with like uh, maybe a knitting needle, maybe maybe even something. A bit I more spiky. Uh, well, I was going to say like a nail, but I don't know if that like is quite as good. I, I wouldn't s suggest like a pencil because you'll end up, you'll just get all the, um, the graph graphite all over the chain and it won't be very pretty. But yeah. I mean, awls, I, I don't know. Do we have any of them in stock? Um, awls. I know they always fly out. They, do, they always, always buy out. I, I'd like to say I did that intentionally, <laughs> but I didn't. Totally didn't. Oh. They do. Or, have we? Oh, we got some. There we go. We'll put them on there. Because they are super affordable. They're, what else do you use your all for? Well, anything that needs a hole in it, you know. If you've, if you've got some um, things like shell pearls, sometimes get a bit mm. clogged up and you need to just clear the, the drill hole slightly. If you've got an all, you can do that. You can you can use can't them for. You, can't you knot with them as well? You can pearl knot with them. Yeah, absolutely. Instead of a T pin, you could use that and then just bring your knot together with that. Mm. Yeah, they're really useful. They're definitely worth having. There you go. Well, they they're very simple graphics. All. <laughs> yes. All. <laughs> no messing around. We're not going to sugarcoat it. It's an all. It is an all. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, and that's all we've got to say about yes. that. Yeah. Literally all we've got to say about it. It's a wooden handled awl. We could have said that, couldn't we? You know, it's not a plastic awl. I mean, yeah, there's clearly no frills, you know. No it's frills. Just, it's an awl. Literally. Right. In the absence of, a, of, a, of another little jump ring, because I've yeah. used it on the other side. Oh, do you got, want a jump you, ring? Have you got... Dan! Hang on. I might, have, I might have one, but I don't know if it's too thick for the... That's Plus my bad. I, I, I whipped it away from you. Sorry. <laughs> I reckon I've Nan, got something. Nan, have you got um, that kit again? It's all right. It's all right. I, I just need one of the I jump think, rings. I think I've got one here. Yeah, but you want it to match, don't you? Well, I think they'll forgive me. I think you get the idea, don't you? <laughs> I reckon that one's fine. There you go. Look you are. Dan's on it. He's going to pass you a jump ring. Can I pinch one of those? Of course. Thank you very much. Very kind. His swimming pool eyes. His swimming pool blue eyes, yeah. <laughs> he, goes so, he goes so nervous, doesn't well, that, he? I, well, that's because we, we call him we gorgeous every always time. Always tell him he's lovely there. and it makes him very self-conscious. It's not a bad thing to have said, though, Definitely is it? Definitely not. I hope not. I mean, you know, we're not hopefully traumatising him by telling him he looks nice. Maybe the fact <laughs> are we? That, maybe, I don't know. Maybe the fact that two middle-aged ladies are saying it to Oh, him young man. <laughs> it's one of them, isn't it? Yeah. He's probably like, there's people I know watching this. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> Uh, so, da -da! look how beautiful that is, Hannah. It's so cute, isn't it? Amazing. But you can see, so so it's just suspended. So this one's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, slightly more angled. I from love the way it. Of, from the way I've glued it. I love it. I'm gonna have to get this kit because I want to make Willow another. They're it? so cute, aren't they? She would love that. She does. Tiggy's just that little bit too, too little. Um, amazing. Thank you Thank so you. much, Hannah. I tell you what, we've got literally a, a few moments to squeeze in some last of stock of your kits. Do you know what? <clears throat> Don't tell me you brought them. I did. You are super duper organised. <laughs> um, here we are. So we it might be a bit tangled up. So I use some of these at the front of necklaces as yep. well as at the back of bracelets. This is really cat's cradley going on here. There's one. There's one. There you are. Well, we're starting with, with, the, with, the, with the blue and the white. These are cut glass. Uh, silver plated Can base you see metal. That? Is it... um, they only launched last week. They're so cool. So cool. And they absolutely flew, Hannah, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, I mean, I, I think they're, they're lovely. I re really like them. I, I love the fact that you get that lovely sort of pop of colour, don't yeah. you? Yeah, they're so cool. We couldn't decide which one was our favourite, could we? No, I know. It's difficult, isn't it? There you go. It's they're all tricky. a bit tangled up, but they are there. We get the general gist, you can get, oh, there we are. <laughs> 5.99, that's three pound per, uh, per glass um, slider. And they are silver plated as well. So yeah, there's a base metal, but you've got a silver plating over the top of it. Yeah, you get to do things like, can I just yeah. swipe? Sorry. Swiped. I'm swiping. Duly swiped. There yes. we go. Just so we can show everybody how beautiful they are in finished pieces. They look amazing, don't they? Thank In you. necklaces or bracelets, 
three pounds each make sure you check out those baskets We've got them in different colours as well, different pairs, so you are guaranteed to get two of them. It's not £5.99 each. It's £5.99 for the two. I know, bonkers. Absolutely <laughs> bonkers, isn't it? Um, sorry, Hannah, I've kind of thrown this one on you, haven't I? That's all right. Right, keep dialing through. What colour do you want? Let's now do Two. the reds. Have the I red and the red. orange. Have I got a red? I love the orange. Uh, also, can I show I, you the, the a... attention to detail? Look, there's, look. A, there's an orange. Orange. There's a there's a red. Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think that's another orange one as well. So. There you go. Here we, are. we can pop it on Do there. What you like with them? <laughs> yeah. Orange. There we are. Rouge. They look so beautiful. They're cute, aren't they? I really like them. Three pounds per slider bracelet. Amazing. And the fact that you've got that attention to detail, if I show that, hold this alongside, look, 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 look at the tails of the, of the slider. You've got beautiful. A little bit of bling even at the end A little bit there, of bling, yeah. a bit of rubbed over setting. Absolutely amazing. Well done. Make sure you do check out your baskets on those. Um, we've also got a green and yellow. Have we got time to squeeze those? I really like the green one. We love the green. We were yeah. obsessed with the green. I swap the blue for the green. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> amazing, here we go. Can I get it to sit right? There we go. Um, <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, make sure you're with us this. Sorry, we got a fit of the giggles. Uh, we know it's true, that's all right. <laughs> There's a yellow one. There's the Lello. Gorgeous. Leave that with you. Three pounds per, uh, three pounds each or five ninety nine for the two. Should we do the purple and the pink? Purple and the pink. Um, I've got a minute to squeeze these in. Ross, the others, he says, I'll load on the web. There is only one more colourway, actually, to bring. So here's the... The pale pink. The pale pink, yeah. Those ones. Oh, there you go. look. And then what's left? Dark blue and the... Oh, there we go. Those How ones. How pretty they are. Amazing. We're running out of time. There is also a purple and a blue, but they'll be locked and loaded Those on ones. the website so you can get hold of them um, as well. They look lovely, don't they? And at five ninety nine, you might as well, didn't you? Might as well make a cheeky add-on to your order. I've loved having your company this, uh, uh, this morning stroke afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Hannah, as always... Such a joy, haven't you? Oh, thanks. I thanks. did say, I did say to Hannah the other day, and uh, and to you guys at home, isn't it lovely having <laughs> Hannah in the studio? It's all the more we're loving well, it, isn't oh, it? Thank so you. nice. When are you back with us? Um, I think it's the twenty fifth, but. Right. Could be wrong. <laughs> I'll see you bright and early in the morning, but do not go anywhere. Cause Zina's up next with Hobby Maker.